You are now rocking with the hottest boxing podcast in the land. True Media Boxing Radio with your host, Coach Malachi Williams. True, true, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up, family? This is our boy, Coach Malachi Williams, in the building, and we back. True Media Boston Radio. We are back. We are back. We are back. Um, you know, I got back in time for this Richards. So this Richardson Hitchens fight. Uh, you know, we are gonna see what's up, man. He's fighting um, a guy by the name of Gustavo Lemos. Gustavo Lemos. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, we gonna we gonna be covering a lot of fights. They got like a lot of the little smaller fights as well. I found some other. Um, fights and boxing matches that hold on make sure you guys can hear me um i found some other fights that are on just different apps as well hold on see yeah yeah okay y'all can hear me i found some other fights that's on like different platforms as well just in different regions i'm going to start covering those fights also you get what i'm saying so you know i mean i don't want to i don't want to be uh you know uh just, I mean, of course, we always focus on the, on the big fight, big fight, big big name fighters and stuff like that, and you know, especially the casuals. I mean, that's that's what they know, and I do get it. Uh, I remember the interview I did with um, Stitch Duran. He said that ninety one percent of the fighters, one percent of fighters generate ninety nine percent of the money in boxing, and I'm like, wow. So when you look at it from that perspective, someone like a Saul Canelo Alvarez. It's going to be treated differently than just a regular fighter. You get what I'm saying? Uh, than just a regular fighter. You know, so uh, Brady Twelve said, "I'm fried right now." Shout out to Demi, shout out to uh, the Demi Coach Ron. Salute, fam. He said, "We in here." Shout out to you, Ron. Shout out to Against the Ropes. Shout out to um, Am I Dead Yet? Salute, fam. Shout out to the lovely Elena. Shout out to um, Knockdown Three Hundred Five Day County and his Bi. People are going to be rolling in slowly but surely. You get what I'm saying? They're going to be rolling in. Shout out to the dog on Kendall Price in here. You get what I'm saying? G5 salute. Philly Fly Boxing salute. Um, salute to you, fam. Yeah, I, um, I, uh, I, um, I just sit back and, you know, shout out to my sister Lisa Bell. Salute, Lisa. I just sit back and I think about it. I'm like, man, um, shout out to Henry Brown dropping that $2 super chat. He said, shout out to Coach and the gang. We up in here. Salute to you, fam, dropping that $2 super chat. Um, yeah, I just sit back. Shout out to Tough Glove Boxing. I just sit back and um, I want to cover some other stuff, like the other little smaller fight cards, and like in different regions. You know, because we want to try to cover, uh, cover as much boxing as we can, as much as in my time would permit. Um, you know, so, shit, if it was up to me, I'd probably, you know, um, yeah, we'll probably we'll probably get a lot more, but we'll see. Um, still haven't heard anything about still uh still 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 haven't heard anything about let me see what this let me see if this guy's a troll or not. I think this guy's a troll. We're gonna see what's up though. Yeah, this guy gonna be a problem. I'm gonna just but I ain't gonna I'm gonna just sit back. I'm gonna just sit back and wait till he get out of pocket. When he get out of pocket, I'm gonna invite his ass to the block party. Uh shout out shout out uh shout out to Naquan. What's going on, fam? He said, he, he say, call the fight now, coach. Who takes this fight? Um, as a matter of fact, hold on. Is the, is the fight on now? Because it looks like it went to. 
Oh no, let me see what's up. All right. Uh, so yeah, starting at 8 p.m. Okay. Now we're here. Starting at 8 p.m. It kind of like, I was just seeing the zone in the background. That's all I was seeing. Oh, Pacheco. Pacheco. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Gustavo Lemos. Gustavo Lemos. Gustavo Lemos. Uh, G5 said not yet. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. You get what I'm saying? So I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. Shout out to Elena. Yeah, so um um that's what that I mean that's that's exactly what I want to do. But when my main man uh um, who gonna win this fight? Yeah, I mean, I got, I got Richards, I got Richards and Hitchens. I, I got Hitchens, I got Hitchens winning this fight. So, um, oh Pacheco, I, I like that boy Pacheco. That boy Pacheco pretty good too. He pretty good. You know what I mean? He got, he got a lot to work on. He got a lot to work on, but you know, uh, you know what I mean? I see. Uh, he got a lot to work on. You know, but uh, I see, I see, I see a little promise in him. I see a little promise in him. You know what I mean? I, I see they got I see they got uh, Clarissa Shields out there working. Lisa, you see Clarissa Shields out there? She out there working too, commentating the fight. Okay. Um, Brady Twelve say Hitchens is the dark skinned Sugar Ray. Well, we won't know. We won't know. You know, time will tell if he if he if he the dark skinned Sugar Ray. We gonna find out. You get what I'm saying? When I see him in there with some other competition and stuff like that. I mean, at this stage, you can only at this stage you can fight. You can only fight, uh, you know, fight, fight what's in front of you. You know what I mean? So, we'll see. We'll see. You know how I am. I don't like, you know. We, we'll see. We'll see what it is. We'll see what it is. We'll see how it work out for him. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because Sugar Ray, you got to look at what Sugar Ray did, and Hitches ain't did none of that yet. So that, you know, that that's gonna tell me whether he's Sugar Ray or not. <laughs> <laughs> now if you say now if you say he the dark skin booger ray did <laughs> hey I, I remember hey, hey brady i remember i remember i was telling uh hey brady i remember when uh when canelo was fighting uh Kayla plant right check this out hey brady when canelo was fighting Kayla plant I say, boy, I oh, don't know, boy, boy, Caleb Plant, he, he know that shoulder roll. Boy, he know that shoulder roll. I say, Caleb Plant, he money may mix with a little bit of Sugar Ray. I was saying, <laughs> I said, he money may mix with a little bit of Sugar Ray. And Carmen Serene said, she said, yeah, Sugar Ray Jenkins. <laughs> true, and she true, said, <laughs> true. She said, yeah, Sugar Ray Jenkins. You hear what I'm saying? You know, Sugar Ray Jenkins that work at the local gas station. I was like, man, boy, I tell you, boy, I tell you, boy, this, boy, this right here, boy. <laughs> I was like, man, <laughs> Sugar Ray Jenkins. I was like, man. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, look like, look like. Look, look like I see one of these fools in the chat tonight. We're gonna see what's up though. Um, this guy right here. Um, if you like, if you like uh, Gustavo, if you like Gustavo, my cash app dollar sign True Media uh, Today USA. Whatever you want to bet, just send that money. Send that money there, homeboy. Send that money there, and uh, we'll bet whatever you want to bet. Make a light on yourself. Pacheco, Pacheco. Pacheco 20 and 0, he got some funny ears too. Pacheco 20 and 0, you know what I mean? They're moving him along pretty good. They're moving Pacheco along pretty good. You get what I'm saying? Lamon. 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 You get what I'm saying? It is what it is. Shut this down. I already know this is a troll. Uh, yeah, man. It is what it is. You know what? Though? Before, hey, hey, before we get into the fights, though, you already know. Y'all know what we got to do now. There's a tradition over here. <laughs> Before we get into the show, we have to say all praises due to the most high, the most exalted, the greatest human being on the planet Earth, Mr. Al Heyman. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and thank Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know. Name 
them names, man. They know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The names need to be but they named. Know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Man, I'm just, I'm, hey, listen, check it out, though, man. I'm just, I'm just saying, though, man. You know, y'all know what this is. You know what I mean? So I got, I got, I got some of that, 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 that thigh y'all in that deal. You know what I mean? And then, shout out to my main man, Knock Down 305, against the ropes. Then I got some old thigh y'all right there in that other grinder. You know what I mean? I got a, you know, I got a green one. And I have this one right here, kind of like, you know, Ruby, Ruby Rose or whatever, you know, ta da And then, you know. The old boy, you know, the old boy, you know, I stay, hey, hey, what thing, what thing you can count on? The stickiest of the icky. You want to smoke with the old boy, Rick James? Then the old boy, you get what I'm saying? Then the old boy, you feel me? You see what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, I stay on that there. You know me, I don't, if it ain't, if it ain't, if it ain't exotic, if it ain't exotic, bro, I don't even want it, bro. That's all, you know what I mean? That's all. That's all. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> <That shit. laughs> you feel me? So I got, so I got that. That right. We're gonna mix them two. We're gonna mix them two together right there. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that right there gonna be shit. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna mix them two together right there. You can believe that. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Shit. Then you know what I mean. Got that. Got I got got that there from Vegas. That's Vegas right there. Is that, was that Vegas? Is that Vegas? That's see, this is the Vegas of Cali. Now you know what? This Cali, this free rate, this out of Freeway Ricky Ross's um dispensary. Yeah, this this Freeway Ricky Ross dispensary right here. Yeah, I got I got this out of Freeway Ricky Ross dispensary. Yeah, so I got some Cali, I got some Vegas, I got some I got shit. Nigga, I, you get what I'm saying? I'm talking about that expensive shit too, nigga. I don't you know, I don't know me shit. I don't even fucking play. I pay a top dollar for my shit. Shout out to Dog on Henry Brown. Salute to you, fam. Shout out to Henry Brown, man. Hey! Okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. You say, Coach, have you have you covered um, Rising Russian Boxing? Uh, but shout out to the Coach K. Hey, no, man. You know, I haven't even heard of it. You say you say uh, Rising Russian Boxing? No. Uh-uh. Hey, hey, you know what? Hey, hey, Henry, check this out, fam. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. I'm um, Right now that you mention it. Yeah, this dude right here, he can, oh, man, he can barely take his... He can barely take his dog on thing off his head, man. That man look like a tomato can. <laughs> I hope I, I hope he look like a can. <laughs> he look like a can. Hey, dog, go the zombie have them cans too now. <laughs> anyway, anyway, hey, uh, shout out to Henry Brown. He say, no, I haven't, no, I haven't covered it yet. I haven't covered it yet, Phil. <laughs> I'm just saying, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to make show. I just want to make show. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I just, hey, I just, uh, I just, I just, uh, I just want to make show. <laughs> hey, man, I'm trying to tell you, man. Hey, I just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a like I'm hey, hey, you know, hey, 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 listen, hey, check it out. Hey, 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 you know, hey, you know what they say now. You know what they say. <laughs> I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. You know what they say. But you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, <laughs> Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. Americans, <laughs> Dominicans, Mexicans, tomato cans. <laughs> hey, anybody can get it. Africans, Americans. Dominicans, Mexicans, tomato cans. <laughs> gotta throw that in there. Hey, you gotta throw that in there. Hey, shout out to Tony Boswell. What's going on, fam? Kendall Price, what's up, fam? Facts! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamie from New York, what's going on? <laughs> hey, tomato cans, Dominicans, Mexicans, Dominic, you know, Puerto Ricans, <laughs> Africans, Americans, pork and bean cans. You know, all the cans can get it. Sardine cans. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Jordan. Jordan, what's up, fam? Hey, hey, shout out to uh, Philly Fly Boxing. <laughs> hey, shout out to Philly Fly. What's going on, fam? All right, we got this fight finna get ready to start, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna see what's up. Oh, they got a female judge from Nevada. It don't matter. 
female judge from Nevada, it don't matter. You get what I'm saying? Shit, it really don't matter because the bread, the bread gonna determine who gonna win. Uh, you know, a lot of some cases. Y'all know how that is, so. Yeah, man, I'm riding him up. Like, man, I'm telling you, boy, I'm feeling good right now, boy. Lord have mercy. Man, I'm feeling good. Man, Philly fly, man. Philly fly. What's going on, fam? Hey, I got family that live in Philly, man. I haven't, I never met them though. You know, my mom, you know, my mom grew up in Philly. Part of her life, she part of her life, she lived in Philly. Um, for like three years, for like three years. And, um, that's what my mom, my mom, she, as a matter of fact, she joined the Panther party in Philly. Now that I think about that, cause uh, that, this was 1966, 67, the Panthers formed in 66, um, like September, October, 1966, six months after Stan Lee and Jack Kirby created um, Black Panther, um, the land of Wakanda and all that stuff there. Um, yeah, I want to say 66. My mother was like 22. Well, actually it was before that. She, uh, she, she, she stayed in, she lived in Philly as a teenager for like a couple of years. And then she came back to Florida and then she went back to Philly. Um, and like when she was like 22, 23 years old, you know what I mean? So Brady say, coach, was your mama a boxing fan? Oh, that's a good question. You know what? She, you no, know, she loved Ali. That was her era. Muhammad Ali. Um, you know, uh, her era, because she was born in 44, so her era was like Ali. Her era, her, she, she loved Ali. She loved Mike Tyson. She loved, um, she loved um, Marvin Hagler. She loved, um, she loved Hagler. She loved Sugar Ray Leonard. Everybody loved Ray Leonard, though. Hey, hey you know what? It seemed like all the, all the women loved Ray Leonard. <laughs> hey, she loved some Ray Leonard, boy. Anyway, Ryan one for to get ready to start. There you go. Round one, no started. Okay. We gonna see what's happening. Shooting the jab out there. Okay. Castro, Castro versus Montana. Castro versus Tony Montana. Tony Montana. Tony, Tony, Tony Montana. Castro's in the blue. Montana's in the white. Castro's in the blue. Oh Lord, have mercy, boy. But dog on um. Listen, man, Castro, you Montana, you can't be reaching with that. You can't be reaching with that left hook. Reach with the left hook now. Doggone Castro Rosa Montana. There you go, man. Yeah, man. We're going to see what's on. Nice jab. Nice jab by Castro. All right, we're going to see what's happening. Now, one thing I do see, um, uh, Montana is reaching a little bit with the jab. He's reaching a little bit with the jab. Uh, he's kind of slow. Both men don't really have no speed, to be fair. But, boy, now, okay, okay, Castro got him on. Oh, nice, 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 nice right hook by Doggone down. Um, by, by dog on Montana. Montana got hit with a jab by Castro. Castro boy shooting that jab out there. Double jab. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, they're reaching with the backhand though. You can't reach with the backhand now. Keep the jab out there. Go to the body. Okay, nice jab by dog on Montana. Montana. Okay, Montana hit her with another jab. Another jab, Montana. Montana, Tony Montana. Hannah Montana. You know what I mean? Tony Montana, Hannah Montana. Oh, nice right hook by dog on Montana. Montana doing this thing. Castro, you gotta shoot the jab, Castro. Castro, shoot the jab down the pipe. One, two down the pipe. Bap, bap. The bap, bap is right there. Bap, bap is right there whenever you decide to throw it. Whenever you decide to settle down and throw it. The bap, bap right there. One, two down the pipe. Dog on, dog on Montana. Montana, ooh, long. The Montana threw a jab at oh, Castro. Castro came up throwing bolos. Threw a couple. Okay, nice jab. Nice jab by Castro. Okay, ooh, long hammer. That's a nice right hook to the bottom by Castro. Montana shooting that jab down the pipe, though. Montana. Oh, all right, then. Throw that Montana. Hannah Montana. Oh, that's a nice right hook. But they trade leather right now. Both men trade leather right now. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. Oh, uh, this a ten. This, hey, this a ten rounder too. This a ten rounder. This a ten rounder right here. Yes, it is. Okay. What's the name? Taking that half step back. Dog on Castro. Keep taking that half step back. Montana coming up in there. Now Montana's old. Montana got caught with a two P jack then. Oh, nice jab by Montana. Nice jab again by Montana. Montana got a nice jab when he throw it. Nice jab again by Montana. Now what? He doing? Okay, you see what I'm saying? Montana got a pretty good jab. He timing. He timing the stick down the pipe. He timing the stick stick down the pipe pretty good though. He timing the stick down the pipe pretty good. That's what I see so far. Nice jab again, Montana. Every time he throw that jab. Every time he throw that jab. There go nice but nice left hook to the body by dog on um by dog on um uh, 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 by Castro. Castro, you gotta do something, baby. Right now, ooh, okay, all right, ooh, okay, nice jab by both men. Nice jab by, nice jab, okay. I like that. I like that. Montana, my, Montana had no block Castro um hook. 
He had those blunt left foot, okay. My, listen, you know, man, Montana, Montana, I don't know that. See, Montana, oh, hey, hey, Montana, hey, Montana, okay, Montana said that smiling, man. Okay, I like that, I like that round. I like that round, I like that round. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I like that. <laughs> hey, Angel, <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, 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 Angel, Angel say, uh, Angel say, uh, I, I know, I know it's my, I know it's Montoya, I'm, I, but I'm calling it Montana. I know what it is. Montana sound better. I know his name. You ain't, you, you ain't never, you ain't never seen me, you ain't never seen me do these fight parties before. Cause you, you knew over here. You knew over here. You ain't never seen me do these fight parties before. So just enjoy the ride. Just enjoy it. If you're going to be here, just enjoy the ride. He said, ain't no Montana home, your homie is Mont Mont Montoya. I know that. I'm calling him Montana. I'm calling him Montana, homie. Anyway, round two. All right, we got Montana coming out of the corner. All right, Montana and Castro. Okay, here you go. Bap, bap. Okay, all right, there you go. Right, damn. All right, okay, they're resting a little bit. You know what? I like, ooh, I like, ooh, ooh, they throwing balls right now, boy. They throwing balls. The old nice counter. Nice counter by dog on Castro. Look at Castro. Castro, boy, I see you, boy. Castro trying to hit that. Oh, that's a nice jab by Castro. Okay. All right, Montana, you got to do something, boy. You got to do something, Montana. Montana, what you going to do? Oh, Lord, how much right hook around the guard? I like that. I like that. Oh, but they train leather right now, boy. Boy, lick, lick here. One thing I will say, boy, that's a nice, that's a nice dog on. That's a nice, oh, but he reaches. So you got to start reaching. Castro, you got to start reaching, though, with that back hand, though. He let this hand, Castro let his hands go. Change the levels, going up top, going to the bottom. There you go. All right, Montana, you got to do something. Right now, boy, Castro look like he out hustling you. Oh, look at that. You reaching with the back hand. Got caught with a two-piece. All right, he out hustling you right now. But one thing I will say, okay, Montana, keep he keeps stepping. He keeps stepping. Oh, that's a nice, nice right hook by dog on Castro. Look at Castro, boy. It, it, I, you know what? I don't think he got no power, though. Nice right hook by dog on Montana. Now, I, I like that. I like that. I like that. They train right hooks. The, the, no, the punches coming slow. They coming real slow, though. You can see no punches. Oh, that, oh, that's a slow uppercut. Man, Castro, y'all see that uppercut Castro through? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Hey, Lisa, y'all see y'all y'all see that? Y'all see that? Um, y'all see that? Um, that dog on uppercut on uh, Castro through through. Man, that thing was slow. If oh, that's a nice straight right by dog on Castro. They got Castro. They got Castro. Ooh, Lord help me, that boy. But dog, <laughs> that's a low blow. Oh, nice jab. <laughs> nice jab. Nice jab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice right hook, boy. But in the middle of the ring, let the hands go. Let, oh, he don't win the southpaw. You know what? Okay, he went back. He went back to orthodox. Okay. Castro had to win the southpaw for like two seconds. Oh, nice jab by Montana. Double jab. Nice jab again. Oh, left hook to the ball. Oh, nice right hook by Montana. Put the right hook. Y'all saw that right hook. Y'all saw that right hook. <laughs> look at Montana ain't playing. Montana ain't boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. <laughs> hey, look here, man. <laughs> Nice, nice jab by Castro. Nah, okay, nice, okay, nice right hand by Castro. Tight up, man. Tight up. What you, hey, boy, hey, boy, this is a good fight right here, boy. This is a good little scrap. <laughs> hey, oh, that's a nice jab. Nice jab. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Tight up, Castro. Castro. Well, that's right. Work the stick. Get off the line. Oh, that's a nice two-piece by Castro. Okay. Get him. Okay, okay my daughter got him on the road. Okay, they're in the middle of the ring. All right, it's 24 seconds left. 24 seconds left in this round. Round two. Boy, hey, boy. Ooh, nice double. Okay, nice triple jab. Triple jab by Castro. Ooh, boy, boy, he tried to take your head off that. Hey, boy, I thought I tried to take your head off. He, if you'd have landed that, boy, that might have been good night, Irene. If you'd have landed that, <laughs> Hey, he threw that right here from here to Georgia. Hey, <laughs> hey, he threw that right here from here to Georgia, bro. I'm trying to tell you, boy, boy. <laughs> he tried to take my head off. <laughs> hey, he tried to take my head off. Hey, G5. G5, you saw that? <laughs> Hey, 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 G five. You get what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey. This is a good little scrap right here. This is a good little scrap. True, true. Yeah, I like this. True. <laughs> hey, not down three oh five. I'm trying to tell you, man. Hey, I'm trying to tell you. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to tell you. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, man. Hey, this is a good little fight. Hey, this is a good fight right here. Hey, well, hey uh, oh, I got him, Brown. Hey, salute to you, fam. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shout out to Henry Brown. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, I got five on it. Send me some. I'm Crenshaw and Slauson. He said, yes, sir. 
Where can I send you the link to the Russian boxing? It's full of knockouts. Hey, hey, hear me. Check this out, fam. I don't know if you're on Instagram. Let me, uh, hold on. Hey, that rhyme. Check this out, fam. I don't know if you're on Instagram. Hey, hey, <laughs> check that out, fam. All right, round three don't start. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to send you my, I'm going to send you my IG. Round three don't start. Okay, oh, well, Lord have mercy, boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. It is what it is. All right, um, there it go. <clears throat> there it go. Round three don't start. Boy, they let them hands go, boy. Lord, that old dog on Castro. Castro came out smoking like he smoking in the first round again. Look at Castro. Castro let them hands go. He let them hands go early now. But let me tell you something. Lord. <laughs> hey, look at Hey, look at him. Oh, that's a nice old Castro. Castro trying to work the stick. My thought I tighten up, boy. Tighten up, boy. Don't, hey, oh, that's a nice little uppercut. Oh, he reaching. He can't reach you with the back end. Y'all can't be reaching like that, man. Y'all can't be reaching like that. Hey, boy. I ain't gonna lie. Both of them slow, boy. Both of them slow. But they fighting, though. They fight. They, they, listen. Right, hey, 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 you know. Hey, they, they, oh, Lord, that boy. They going at it, boy. Hey, this is a nice little scrap right here, bro. I can't even fret. <laughs> right. Hey, there it go. Got his head down. He got his head. Okay, there it go. Come on. Tighten man. Listen, listen, tighten up my thought. You gotta cut the ring off on him. You gotta cut the ring off right now. He getting off decent on you right now. He getting off a little bit. Oh, that's nice jab again. Both of y'all trade the jab. Oh, nice jab again. Okay, look at Castro. Castro, tighten up, baby. Oh, that's a nice dude. Both of them trade. Look at Castro. Look at Castro. Castro had them. Tighten up, Castro. Well, okay, okay. Okay, Castro. I see you. I see you. All right. Well, but Montana, you got to do something, boy. You got to do something, boy. Montana, you got to do something. Tighten up. You, you, listen, you got to stop being low. That, hey, that's twice. Castro, you got to start going below the belt. Now, you did that by two, three times in this fight so far. Oh, night jab. Night jab by dog on Montana. Night jab. Tighten up. Tighten up. That was a low blow again, man. Listen, Castro, man, cut it out, man. There you go. Ooh, like, oh, Lord have mercy, boy. They let the hands go. One minute left. One minute left in round three. One minute, but both of these dudes slow. Both of these dudes slow. Lord, that's a nice right hook by dog on Castro. Castro, he caught it on the chin, too. Montana, you can't let him catch it like that no more, man. Tighten up, Montana. Montana, tight. Oh, Lord, Hammers, he got caught with that left hook again. Boy, he let them hands go, though. I will say this. Both men are letting their hands go. Both men are letting their hands go. Dog on Castro. Castro clearly winning this round. Working the stick real good. Working the stick real good. Here you go. You got to shoot the jab down the pipe again. Oh, Lord, that double right hand. Can't follow it up with a left hook. T tighten up, my thunder. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Tighten up. Now, you ain't, yeah, he, he getting off on you this round. He getting off decent on this round. I ain't going to see him in front. The man bobbing and weaving in slow motion. Bobbing and weaving in slow motion. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. I'm always listening. <laughs> oh, nice summer cut by my thunder. Man, nice summer cut. Here you go. Tighten up. Tighten up. Look, you can't be, listen, you can't be telegraphing that right hand, man. My thunder, you can't be telegraphing that right hand. Oh, look, hey, look, hey, look. Look how wide his feet place when he throw them bombs, though. Hey, oh Lord, he talking. Oh, that was a mean little poke there, boy. He the caught you with that, but that might have been a good night. Hey, but it's a good little scrap right here, bro. True, true, true. Yeah, true. yeah this is a good little. Hey, 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 this is a good little scrap right here. <laughs> hey, hey, this fight comical. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Hey, here you go, right here, fam. Hey, Henry Brown. Here, here you go, fam. Here you go. I got you. I got you. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? Hey, this is a good little scrap right here. Hey, hey, um, hey, send the link here. Send the link to my IG. Send the link to my IG, fam. There, there you go right there. Hey, shout, hey, shout out to Alina. <laughs> hey, Philip Fly say, they slower than heavyweight. Man, they so slow, dog. <laughs> hey, send this out. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, you saw the hey, hey, you listen, listen, listen. You saw what Hobo Sam? You saw what Hobo Sam did to Pooch Willie? Really? I say, dude, you saw what he did in this last fight? I said, man, that dude was tailor made for him. That dude was sat in the center of the ring, had no head movement, and was slow as and, all, and was slow as all outdoors. Was slow as all outdoors, man. You know, yeah, but look what he did to him. <laughs> hey, hey, who you fight matters. <laughs> What's gonna be fighting? What's gonna forget to read with the tomato can? And then they use that as a hey, yeah, man. Man, you saw my fighter did that make it. That wasn't no tomato can. That dude, that dude was twenty and old. <laughs> hey, shout out to Henry Brown. Hey, salute, fam. Hey, okay, this, hey, this, this round four, round four, and this a ten rounder too, man. 
Oh, that's a night jab, night jab. Now listen, this is a night jab, man. Night jab by dog going on Montana. I know his name Montoya. I know his name Montoya. Montoya, but you know, I've been calling him Montana so far. We're just gonna roll with it. Um Night Jab by Night Jab by Montana though. Here you go, here you go, right here. All right, now 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 um now Castro ain't really doing that in this round. I think he kinda taking a break. He kinda taking a break. This round four. Oh, he got hit with a jab and a right cross. Lord have mercy, boy. Cat. Listen, boy, Montana, tighten it up. Oh, that's a nice jab by Montana. He said, okay, you don't want to throw your hands. Now, don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. Oh, Lord, that's a nice two-piece, though. That's a nice two-piece. Okay, here you go. He bringing the back in. Okay, he threw, he threw a good little speed on it. Castro, Castro trying to get him out. Montana trying to get him out of there. Hey, listen, listen, Castro. Castro, you got to be, you, you got to. You gotta keep taking that half step out. You, oh Lord, you can't not reach like that. Please don't reach with that backhand no more. But if you reach with that backhand again, you might get caught with some um, pulling back. You might get caught with some pulling back. No diddy. Oh, okay, then who they going at it? Boy, that's a night two P. Night two P. That dog on Castro. Nigga, Castro come. Boy, listen, boy, listen. My daddy, you gotta get your head out there. He ain't got no head movement, dog. His head is right there, center line, right between the letters A and C. He right between the letters A and C. This man, Montoya, Montoya, Montana, he don't even know how to move his head. Get your head off the line, man. Oh, he got caught with a right cross on the chin just then. He got caught with a right cross. Oh, Lord have mercy, boy. Lord have mercy, boy. Castro don't say, I'm tired of getting beat up in that first round, that first half of the fight. Now it's time me to pick up the pace. Look at Castro. Castro trying to do a little something. He trying to night jab again. Night jab again. Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy, boy. They swinging slow. Boy, they swinging slow, boy. Boy, oh, okay. There it go. There, oh, that's a nice body shot by dog. Castro, he uh, what he played. What you complaining to the ref for? The, oh, that's a nice right cross. What nice right cross by dog on Castro? Castro, well, Castro, what you, what that, what you doing? He hit you on the top of the head. Oh, this dude slow. He ain't he can't fight off the back foot. No, oh, nice body shot. Nice body shot. So, okay, that's cool. That's cool. So, oh, oh, oh Lord, not, nice body shot by dog on Montana. Montana, what's going on, man? Tighten up, baby. Tighten up. Nice body shot. I like that body shot. Nice little slow uppercut out because so slow, boy. Boy, that's a slow. Oh, that, he got caught with a slow ass two piece. He got caught with a two piece. It was so slow. It was so slow, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a nice right cross. Nigga, Castro caught him with a right cross and a left cross. Boy, Castro ain't playing. True, boy. true, true. <laughs> hey, 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 get out of the Hey, get out of the <laughs> Hey, 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 D-Town Fuck. Man, Montoya, hey, listen, Montoya, Montoya ain't got, he ain't got no head movement. <laughs> he just, he got, ha, 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 Hey, 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 D-Town Fuck. Man, ain't got no head movement, dog. None. Hey, look here. But this ball been taking the easy matches. Fighting other balls. But the man, hey, the man ain't got no head movement, man. <laughs> Hey, Michael Smith, hey, the fight is on the zone, fam. He, he said, hey, hey, the fight is on the zone, Mike. Man, man, this man ain't got no head movement, man. Hey, he don't know what a bob and weave is. Do you know what a bob and weave is? Do, can, you, can you bob your head from side to side? Like, y'all got to work on that. There you go, round five. This round five. Well, I, I like this fight, though. I, like, I can't even front. I like it. There you go, round five, okay. So, you know, he's pumping the jab a little bit. Dog on Montoya, Montoya, Montana, Montoya, Montana, Montoya, Montana, Montoya, Montana. He's sitting back, but he, you know, he probing right now. Oh, the nice left hook to the body. Nice left hook to the body. Um, my dog on Montoya, Montana. There you go, right there. Okay, okay, tighten up Castro. Castro shooting the jab. Castro, you circling. Now, what I will say, when Castro circling around the strong side, he does make sure that he keeps his distance. So, it's not wise to circle around the strong side. You want to circle around the weak side. But, oh, that's a nice right cross by Dog on Castro. Castro caught, caught, caught Dog on Montoya with a nice right cross. But um, um, when you're circling around the strong side, you do want to make sure you, you keep you. Oh, that's a nice Dog on right cross again. He caught a reach and he tried to take his head off. <laughs> He keep getting that right cross. Hey, boy, boy, nigga, Montoya, Montoya ain't got no head movement, dog. That man got hit with the same punch twice. Hey, hey, the poor cattle, poor cattle right hook. He got put with a slow, it was like a pull, and then, yeah, hey, I come. Lord have mercy, man, the man head right there, man. The man head right there. Hey, the man, the, the man throw a punch in slow motion, he can't get out of the way. <laughs> no head movement. I don't, listen, I don't think he bobbed his head yet. Oh Lord have mercy, boy. This dude. Now he got he got some thumping punches though. I would say that Montoya got some uh Montoya Montana got some got some he got you can tell he got like some thump to his punch. It's slow, but when they get there, it get oh that's a nice, oh that's a nice dog on left jail, right cross my dog on Castro. Castro, boy, Lord have mercy. Listen. 
Listen, uh, Martha, you, Martha, you can't, you can't, you can't be swinging that slow, dog. That's how you getting time with the right. That's how he getting time with the right hand over the top. That's how he keep getting time. That's what it is. He keep getting time because he, he he throwing that. He, he oh, like, oh, okay, that's a nice two piece. Oh, he, he threw that right hand fast this then though. He threw that right hand fast, and if it would have landed, it might would have done something. I'm trying to tell you, boy, bobbing and we now Castro, Castro doing a little bobbing and weaving a little bit. He doing that a little oh, nice uppercut by dog on Montoya. Nice up, uppercut by Montoya Montana. Montoya Montana. There you go, Hannah Montana. You know, uh, you know, Tony Montana. Tighten up. Okay, there. Nice, nice right hook. Nice right uppercut again. I like that. I like that. Tighten. Listen, tighten up, Montoya. Montoya, tighten up. There you go. Listen, boy, that that, that left hook is so slow, dog. That left hook is so slow. That man, listen. That man got enough time. That man got enough time to run to the kitchen, make make a bowl of cereal, eat the cereal, wash the bowl out, and run back to the ring before the punch get there. True, true, true. Man, come on, man. You can't be throwing punches that slow, dog. Low. That's a nice left hook. Nice left hook by Castro. Nice, nice right cross. Uh, left jab, jab by Castro. All right. You know what, man? Hey, I, I, I you know what? I kind of, I kind, I, I kind of like this here. The stickiest of the icky. You want to smoke with the old boy Rick James? Yeah, I kind of, you get what I'm saying? Saturday, May May 18th, Fury versus Usyk. That's if Fury don't pull out again. That's if he don't pull out again. That's if he don't get another injury. You get what I'm saying? Hey, uh, D-Tile Fox ain't but throw your head looking like a speed bag. Hey, check this out. Hey, D-Tile Fox, you know the crazy part about it. This is the crazy part about it. This is the crazy part about the film. You'll get that, that, that you listen. You, hey, you know how these dudes is on YouTube. You know how these dudes is on, 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 on social media. They had their favorite fighter fighting somebody like like dog on Montoya. Yeah, you saw what he did. You saw what he did to Montoya. <laughs> My fighter, the cash cow. You saw what he did to Montoya. <laughs> what I do Montoya? <laughs> Montoya ain't no, that man ain't nobody, man. Yeah, man. See, it's about putting butts in seats. You know it. <laughs> Hey man, you get out of here. Hey man, you get out of here with that foolishness. Hey, 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 <laughs> anyway, this round six, man. Two minutes and twenty seconds left in round six. Right now, man, you got you get you got Montoya Montana. I've I been, I, you know, I call I call him Montana though. Montoya Montana, and then we got Castro. They got Castro, Castro boy. Cast. I think I got Castro ed edging it out right now though. I got Castro up a little bit, probably like four rounds to two. I got Castro up four rounds to two. I ain't been scoring the fight, but you know, it is what it is. Boy, 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 boy dog, tighten up, boy, dog. Boy, Montoya ain't playing, boy. Montoya Montana. Montoya, well, so tighten up. He got a nice jab, though. He do got a nice jab. He just reached with the backhand, and he reaches with that left hook. And that's why he was getting time with the right over the top, because he's reaching with the left hook. And by the time he get his hand back to play defense, he don't got caught with the right hand. That's the problem. <coughs> so, and he got a bob. He ain't bobbing and weaving. You got to bob your head side to side, man. Oh, he got caught with that right hook on the chin. I will say this, boy. Doggone Montoya taking it like a G, though. He taking it like a G. He got caught. Oh, he got caught with another right hook on the chin. He eating it, though. He eating it. But he eating it. Oh, nice. He got caught with a jab. Lord help. Oh, nice right cross again. Look at Castro ain't playing. Castro letting them poles go right now. Castro is letting them poles go. P-A-W-S. Poles. He ain't even playing. Oh, that's a nice right hook by dog on Montoya, though. Montoya, Montana, that's a nice right hook. But you listen, but you landing far and few, though. You landing far and few. He got, you got clipped with a, you got clipped with a looping right hand again with your chin in the air. You got to get your chin in there. You got to get your chin out there. Throw your chin in the air and wave it like you just don't care. Because <laughs> that would look like you're doing. Throwing your chin in the air, waving it around like you just don't care. Eating right hands. You get what I'm saying? Oh, now listen, that slow left hook. But he, that was a nice right, that was a nice right cross. Nice, that was a nice right cross he threw, though. That was a nice right cross he threw. Tighten up my tighten up Montoya Montana. Montoya Montana doing his thing right now. He try he trying to do a little something. something. He losing his round. He clearly losing his round. I swear to God, he losing his round right here, boy. Boy, he lose <laughs> Oh, he threw a two-piece down the pipe, but no one was there. Boy, you gotta you gotta know how to bob and weave though, dog. Bob and weave. You get what I'm saying? 
You got a oh, nice, nice right hook by Castro. Nice right hook by Castro. Castro, look at Castro. Castro got a, got a little smirk on his face. He got a little smirk on his face. Oh, that's a nice left hook by Dog on Castro. But he said, I got it I got it in the bag. I got this in the bag. Oh, that's a nice jab by Castro. Castro like, yeah, I got this in the bag, baby. I, he, he, I got this in the bag. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Show both a little bit. You see him? You see him show both a little bit? You are now rocking with the hottest boxing <laughs> podcast in the land. <laughs> True Media Boxing Radio with your host, Coach Malachi Williams. <laughs> hey, boy, like a, hey, like a straight up G, man. Hey, like a straight up G, but it's a Castro. Castro ain't playing, man. <laughs> Castro ain't playing. It's a Castro. Hey, wait, listen, man. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey listen. We got to, we got to, listen. We, we got to go tell my thoughts. Hey, look here, look here, baby boy. Check this out, dog. You got to get your head off the line, fam. Like, right now, I like, you know, you got to get your head off the line and you got to let your hands go. You got to become a little bit more active. Try, try, act. hey, shout out to Yamas. What's going on, fam? Try, uh, try, try, try. You got to try to bob and weave, dog. How come got caught that little point on right cross? But he landed a right on his own. He eat it, though. Hey, what? Hey, Castro ain't got no punching power. He ain't got no punching power. He, hey, cause he catching, he catching dog. Hey, he catching Montoya with some clean shots, and Montoya eating it though, like a straight up, like a company city G. He G'd up like a company city G, man. Here go round seven. Round seven don't start it. Round seven don't start it. Tight no, tight no. Oh, tight no. Listen, man, tell Montoya we gotta do something, man. Tight up, dog. Come on, that. Come on, I know you're slow. I know you're slow, but don't worry about it, baby. We're we going we to work on that with timing. We're going to work on that with time. I know you're slow, but we're going to work on that with time. You got to work on your timing now. When you're slow like that, you, your timing got to be a little bit more better. It got it to gotta be a little bit more better. A little bit more. I seen that female judge over there on the side. Y'all see the female judge right there? Okay, all right, y'all see him? Y'all see him right there? Behind Castro? Okay, that go the female judge. Okay, all right, that's cool. Anyways, here you go right here. Tighten up. Tighten up, okay, shoot the jab down the pipe. Left hook, but that's a slow left hook, man. Come on, kid. Come on, come on, Montoya, man. Yeah, man, you gotta work on some speed, dog. I mean, come on, and look here. And get your head bobbing weave. Oh, he got you got caught with the uppercut. Yeah, Castro landed the uppercut. Dog on my own look. Okay, Montoya throwing that one-two down the pipe. Threw a right hand, but he missed. Oh, nice uppercut, but they got blocked. No, oh, he got caught with a two piece. Oh, he got caught with a two piece. Oh, he got caught with a four piece at the end. A five. Okay, got caught with a jab. But don't go. Castro is not playing. Castro is. But, but listen, man. Listen, Montoya, you got to get your head off the line. Montoya, Montana. Montoya, Montana, boy, you got to get your head off the line, dog. You ain't got. Listen, you, you listen. You got to know how to bob and weave, man. You ain't bobbing and weaving. That's the problem. You ain't bobbing and you ain't weaving, man. Tighten up, man. You just can't keep your head between the letter A and C. You can't keep your head between the letter A and C, man. You got a bob and weave, dog. That's why you keep it. <laughs> hey, this, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, man, this is bad here, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, my. Oh, my. Lord, boy. Tight up. Tight up, man. Come on, man. It, 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 it. Come on. We go. Listen, we're going to make it do what it do, man. We uh, Listen, I'm with you. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all all know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> hey, he ain't going right here, man. What he says, we don't believe. <laughs> hey. You just sit here, you don't know what I'm talking about? Hey, he ain't going right here. Tighten up, man. Hey, hey, it's 54 seconds left. 5 0, 5 0. Oh, that's a nice right cross. My dog on Montoya, though. But Montoya, but my, listen, Montoya landed a nice right cross. Straight up, though, he landed a nice right cross just then. Trying to tell you what's happening. Here you go. Let's see what we doing. What we doing? What we doing? Here, 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 here you go. <laughs> Tighten up. Tighten up. Here you go. Oh, Lord have mercy, boy. He thought, listen, boy. Listen, boy. Uh, oh, he got, he, he got a chin in the air. He throw a punch with a chin in the air. Nice left foot by Castro. Man, listen, man. Montana, man. You got to get your head. Montana, you got to get your head off the line, dog. Why you got your chin in the air? Why you got your chin in the air, fam? Like, what part of the game is that? Oh, look here, man. Get your chin out the air, man. Protect your chin, fam. Doggone, um, doggone Castro is in a rhythm right now. Castro is in a rhythm. Man, come on, man. Man, Castro is in a rhythm right now. Listen, man. Hey, hey, Savage, hey, Savage, sir, say, he said Castro started no business. <laughs> Hey, Savage Sir say Castro standing on business. <laughs> hey, you know, he said 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 he
I ain't gonna say it no more. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> he, he said, hey, can't, you ever cast it on say when my name come up, respect it. <laughs> hey, Savage Serge, hey, y'all heard what he said, when my name come up, respect it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, here you go. <laughs> hey, shout out. Hey, shout out to Melvin, man. Hey, we got a we got some cash out. Shout out to Melvin. Dropping that, dropping that quarter of a dub on your boy. Hey, okay. He said, what he say? He said for back end promotions, no diddy. <laughs> He said, hey, hey, never say for back end promotions, no diddy. <laughs> hey, bro, you gotta say no diddy for everything. Bro. Hey, no diddy, no took over pause. Hey, shout out to Jamie, man. Hey, shout out to Jamie. He say, uh, he, he say, coach, you the best broadcasting fam, best broadcaster fam. Thank you. Hey, thank, hey, shout out to Jamie, man. Shout out to Jamie. And just uh, shout out to Jamie again. Another cash out. <laughs> hey, we in round eight, y'all. Round eight. He say, he say, win of this fight is fight of the year. <laughs> hey, we're around eight. Hey, hold on. Hey, ooh, that, that, boy, that's a slow uppercut there, man. Listen, he just got to, the only thing is, dog, oh, Montoya got to get his head off the line. He's not bobbing and weaving. Like, I, defense, defense is not his strong suit. I, 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 think, I think we realize that. I don't think that's no secret. You get what I'm saying? He dipping down a little bit now. Oh, he got caught with the right hook. He be getting, he, he, this, he got caught with that overhead right again. Oh, another right cross. Another right, but the right hand can't miss. You know why it can't miss? Because you ain't got your hand guarding the chin, fam. You got your chin in the air. Throw your chin in the air. And wave him like you just don't care. And if you don't mind get hit with right hand, say, oh, yeah. Man, this man keep getting hit with right hands, man. Over the top. Listen, Castro, Castro threw 25 right hands, landed all 25 of them. True, true, true. This man threw 25 right hands and landed all 25. Man, he, he can't miss. He can't miss. He can't miss with that. What did he go right here, man? He's sitting there smoking. Oh, that's a nice two piece back. Nice two piece by Montoya, though. He caught him with a two piece just then. Montoya caught him with a two piece. Tighten up, man. Tighten up. Montoya caught him with a two piece. Come on, man. Tighten up. What you going to do? Oh, Lord have mercy. That's a slow left hook, but it looked like he landed a little something. It looked like, oh, okay, okay, you can't be reaching. Both of them reaching now. Both of y'all can't reach. Oh, nice, uh, nice right cross by dog on Montoya. But he got caught with a right cross himself. But he got caught. Look, he come Castro. He come Castro. Castro like, no, I got to get some get back on that. Nice right hand by dog on, Mon by, by dog on Montoya. But he got caught. He got caught with a right hand with a left hook. Sorry about that. Left hook. There you go. They train blows. They going at it. They just swinging. They just swinging. Here you go. They just, okay, here, they, they circling the block. They spin, they, 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 they spin in the block right now. We're going to spin the block. They spin in the block. <laughs> Hey, they spinning the block right now. <laughs> hey, shout out to Peter Joe. Hey, they spinning the block. There you go. 12 seconds left in round eight. 12 seconds left. Okay, dog on Castro trying to kept dog dog Montoya. Montoya trying to dog gonna get his head off the line a little bit. Oh, he got caught with a two piece at the end, but he landed something before that. He got caught with a two piece, but he landed something before that. Round eight, round eight over with. We got two more rounds left. Hey, Steven, they say spinning the block. <laughs> Hey, they be sitting back. Hey, they be sitting back. Hey, they be, hey, 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 look here, man. Hey, you know what? Which um, which fight? Hey, which, hey, which, hey, which fight more sight? Oh, pussy ass nigga, what's going on, boy? I'm telling you, I'm knock your fuck ass out, boy. Blow for blow, pound for pound, nigga. I got, I got the title, nigga. I'm telling you, boy, for the knock one of you, what kind of niggas out, nigga? I got these hands, nigga. I'm throwing them paws at that nigga for the knock ass down again, nigga. Get your ass back up, nigga. Don't run, nigga. Don't run, nigga. I'm telling you, boy. I want all the smoke, nigga. I'm throwing them paws, nigga. I'm putting them hands on you, nigga. I told you what I'm gonna do to you, nigga. Catch you with the check left foot, nigga. Check left foot, nigga. I told you, boy. Pound for pound, nigga. I'm the best. This more action than any Devin Haney fight. Put these paws on you, nigga. I told you, I got you back up, nigga. I got you back up, nigga. Watch that check left foot, knock ass down again, nigga. I'm telling you, boy. It is what it is, nigga. I'm gonna make it do what they do. I'm telling you, but we ain't even playing over here, boy. <laughs> boy they throw it up. Boy, 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 I don't know nobody want to get the ring with them. That's too much hand speed. That's too much pulse speed right there. On the, hey, that's too much pulse speed. <laughs> hey, 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 that's too much pulse speed right there, boy. I'm, that's all I'm saying. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, that right there, boy. <laughs> right here you go. Round nine don't start it. Castro Montoya. You know what I mean? Here you go. <laughs> here you go. Tighten up. Castro winning this fight. Now, hey, Castro's winning this fight. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not even close. It's not even close. Castro is clearly winning this fight. Clearly. 
Oh man, here you go. <laughs> What's up? Oh, that's another right cross by Castro. Castro keep letting that right in. He can't miss it. He can't miss it. You, <laughs> he can't miss it. Tighten up, man. Tighten up, Montoya. Nice double jab by Montoya. Left hook too. I like that. He's swinging for the fences with the right hand though. You got to bob. That's right. Bob your head a little bit. Bob your head a little bit. No, Montoya fights straight. He fights straight up. Oh, he just reached with the back hand. He swung something real slow and wide. Got caught with a double jab just then. Man. Come on, man. Lord have mercy. Here you go right here. Oh, here you go right here. Nice right here by Montoya, but he missed. Here you go. He slap. He, he swagging like that. He, he slapping with the punches now. He on the corner. Dog on Castro got him in the corner. Throw the, he threw a two-piece at him. Castro, oh, Lord, he caught him with a, he caught him with two right hands in a row. Two right hands in a row. But dog on Castro just swinging with his chin in the air. He's standing straight up, chin in the air, just swinging. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. Lord have mercy. Having your chin in the air in the sport of boxing is hazardous to your health. Having your chin in the air in the sport of boxing is hazardous to your health. Boy, that's a that's a recipe for a knockout right there, boy. That is a recipe for a knockout. You can guarantee that. True, true, true. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, they going at it right now. Boy, they in the rim of the ring. They just swinging. Nice jab by dog on Castro. Now, nice jab. Now, Montana letting his hands go now. He let his hands go. They slow, but he letting them go. They slow, but he let them go. You get what I'm saying? Oh, that's a nice dog on right cross by dog on Castro. He keep landing that right hand, boy. It can't miss. That right hand can't miss, dog. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go, Montoya. He bobbed and weaved in. He bobbed and then he weaved. Now, he did that that time. So he can do it. He did it the one time. <laughs> he got to know how to bob and weave consistently. They got to do head movement drills. That's what they got to do. Hey, they got to do head movement drills. You get what I'm saying? That's what they got to do. They got to do. That's what they got to work on. They got to work on that. You get what I'm saying? Boy, Lord have mercy, boy. That, that's the slowest left hook I ever seen in my life, bro. I mean, oh, that's a nice right cross by dog on Montoya. Nice right cross. Nice one. He, he turned it over real good, too. He turned that over real good. No diddy. Oh, that's a low blow. That's a low blow right there. Left foot to the left foot to the groin area. That was a left foot to the groin just then. Boy, okay, tight. Okay, tight up, Montoya. Okay, okay. We got one more round. One more round. One more round. It's over with. Shout out to Steven. He said they look like they moving in slow motion. Yes, they is. Boy, that boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. This right here, boy, is it did, boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Hey, hey, who was you, pimp? Hey, what the hey, fuck? What, what the Get your fuck? motherfucker. Oh. Hey. Hey, that nigga squeezing me, get this freak ass nigga up You ain't hear me, my dog. nigga say what back the, the fuck, fuck up, dude. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. Boy, it, it is what it is, man. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Oh, that look good. Hold on. 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 Low, oh, oh, no, 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 that wasn't a low blow. I thought it was low. I thought it was low. I thought it was low. Hey, what'd he say? He say, sign the contract. <laughs> hey, G5 say, skinny G mafia. <laughs> hey, right. Hey, right. Hey, you know the crazy part about it? Richardson, Richardson Hitchens is uh, the dude that was in there dancing with him. He probably had the tightest, he probably had the tightest jeans in there. He fighting tonight. <laughs> Hey, if I ever interview him, hey, um, I remember that time you and Tank Davis and, uh, and um, you, you Tank and, and Adrian Brown was dancing in the video. I mean, um, look like you guys were having a good time. What, 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 um, what were you thinking about at that moment? <laughs> when you had your head down and you grabbed Tank by the shoulder and you had your head down and you were gyrating your hips, you know, you know, from, 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 um, 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 from front to back, what were you thinking about? <laughs> and, and, and furthermore, what were you looking at when you had your head down? True, true. True. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> He'll probably end the interview right there. <laughs> hey, hey, Jason. He'll end the interview right there. All right. Yep. This interview over with. Okay. Interview start. Bam. Okay. Interview over. <laughs> They're gonna be like, man, we ain't never never interview with that nigga, no boy. I don't know why he asked that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And, and, and this round, this round 10, this is the last round. A minute and 45 seconds left. A minute and 45 seconds left, man. It is what it is. Ooh, Lord have mercy, boy, they going at it a little bit. But the, one thing I will say, Montoya, boy, that was the slowest, that was the slowest weave I've ever seen in my life. That was the slowest weave. I ain't never seen that weave that slow. And I know what I mean? Here you go right here. Lord have mercy. 
Mauricio Suleiman is live on Instagram. <laughs> I just got an alert. Mauricio Suleiman is live on Instagram. Well, oh, what are you going to say? Well, you know, it's to the discretion of the WBC that, you know, Jamal Charlo can hold the belt for another two years without fighting because we want to be sympathetic towards his needs. And, you know, mental health is a real issue. And, you know, and, you know, uh, <laughs> he can hold on to the belt. <laughs> hey, hey, it's 55 seconds left in this round, man. Hey, hey Castro, Castro winning the fight. If he don't get knocked out, he won unanimous decision. Hey, Castro won this fight unanimous, unanimous decision. If he don't, um, if he don't get knocked out, this a UD. This a UD right here. This a UD right here. <laughs> hey, what they say, homeboy? Um, homeboy, um, uh, Saduka. You say Lamont's Lamont's gonna uh, gonna get um, hit his out of the closet tonight. <laughs> Hey, hey, homeboy say, you, hey, you, hey, homeboy say, uh, they most, they most gonna put, go put hands and foot so dog gonna hit this, huh? All right, you know, all right, we gonna see. Oh, here you go, here you go. All right, it's 13 seconds left in this round, y'all. Last round. Both men fainting. Bo okay, both men just threw left hooks. Okay, well, that's a nice right hand by my dog going on, by dog going um, on um, Antonio, but he didn't, um, he didn't land it. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, nice two piece. Nice three piece. My dog going Castro, nigga. Castro finished the round strong. Boy, he let it. Let's give, let's give both men a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, this round. Yeah, this fight over with. This fight was a slow motion. <laughs> I told you, I knew he was a kid, though. I said, that man, a kid, man. Hey, soon he stepped in the ring, and he could, hey, hey, listen, all jokes aside, all jokes aside. <laughs> I'm just a side. I ain't gonna say a lot to you, though. Hey, as soon as he stepped in the ring and he was trying to take the hood off his head and he couldn't take the hood off his head, and that's all I look on his face, I said, Yeah, that's a kid. <laughs> and I said, That's a kid. <laughs> I know. And what they might be, boy, I know them tomato kids when I see them. I said, Boy, that's a tomato kid right there. Hey, shout out to Raven. Hey, okay. <laughs> Dropping that corner for Doug. He said, My string lagging like hell. I just paid $83 for the Haney, Haney fight. They gotta make this is clear because the whole month supposed to be free, but this BS. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't. Yeah, the zone do be having problems lagging. They do be having problems. You know, you go, you know what you gotta do? You gotta look at it, you gotta look at it on your phone. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as raise a Hey man, I'm, hey, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. But this, this right here, boy. Listen, but I knew as soon as I saw Montoya, I said, hey, "This dude the kid. This dude the kid. This man got hit with every right hand, and he got hit with every right hand in the book. And that was a book. And that was a book of right hands. He got hit with every right hand in the book. Dog going up. Listen, dog going up. Uh, <clears throat> Castro, Castro through, Castro through seventy five right hands. He landed 80 of them. <laughs> hey, Castro threw 75 right hands. He landed eight of them. We did eight. it first. We did it first. And we motivate even the greats. Well, this is different. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. The stickiest of the icky. You want to smoke with the old boy Rick James? Listen, the man, the man got hit with every right hand in the book. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you why, though. I'm going to tell you why. Castro slow. But Castro was not bobbing and weaving. They fight. They fought for a belt. What, what belt they fought for? A champion. A champion of what? What? What they, they, they fought for a belt. <laughs> Shout out to a lady. She said, "Coach, you feeling good tonight? Yeah, I'm feeling real good. What belt that is? <laughs> what belt that is?" <laughs> <laughs> they talk about a champion. This ain't no damn. They all cut that. Oh, what? <laughs> he the <done> cut it. <laughs> Shit, I got one of them. I got one of them. The one I get. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He holding up his belt. Wait a minute. Let me get, let, hey, let me get my belt. Let me get my belt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, get my belt. Hey, they giving them, hey, they giving them belts out. 
they give them belts out like um like Santa Claus on Christmas. Shit, I got hey, I got one of them shit. As a matter of fact, I think I think mine better. Mine, let's see, I got I got Jose Suleiman on there. I got Roy Jones Jr. on there. Manny Pacquiao. Let's go over here. Who else I got? I got my I got my, I got Muhammad Ali on there. Iron Mike Tyson. Floyd Mayweather. Shit, I got one of them shit. He, <laughs> he said that. <laughs> he said that sleep to a can of oil. Yeah, shit, I, shit, I, you know, you feel me? You feel me? <laughs> he said a PVC belt. Hey, you know what? Hey, bro, check this out, fam. Check this out. Bro. The, listen, Mauricio Suleiman. Mauricio Suleiman need to cut. He need to cut this out, fam. This man made, he made PVC their own belt. <laughs> the man made PVC their own belt, bro. What kind of belt he's talking about? He a champion. Man, that ain't no, that's a title holder. I keep telling these dudes, there's a difference between a champion and a title holder. There's a difference between a champion and a title holder. You got a whole lot of titles. You ain't got that many champions. You get what I'm saying? You got a whole lot of titles, but you don't have that many champions. There's a difference between a champion and a title holder, man. Come on, fam. Like, like, like this is what we doing? This what we doing now. <laughs> hey, he say, he said the PVC up blue. <laughs> hey, they, they, hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie. That PVC belt do look good, though. That, uh, that WBC PVC belt, hey, that belt do look good. But it's the principle, though. <laughs> it's the principle. Hey, check this out. Hey, I guess the ropes. Come on, man. Bro, we got we got the French fries belt, the Papa John dot com belt, the whole head cheese belt, the pork chop willy belt, the uh, the Sammy the Bull belt, Shawty Big Nuts belt, dog on um Shea Butter Laptop Revolutionary belt. You know we got dog on Papa John dot com belt. We got enough belts already, and that's just in the WBC. I ain't I'm not even talking about the WBA and the IBF and the WBO. We just talking about the WBC. That's that's all. That, that, listen, that's what we talking about. That right there. You get what I'm saying? That's wrong. It's that's wrong. He did nothing to you. That's just one sanction about it right there. You know what I mean? That's just one sanction about it. We don't even want to talk about. Shout out to Solo Dolo, bro. Check this out, man. And then you're gonna make the PBC. Hold on. Let, let, let's see. Can we pull that up? Let's see. Can we pull that up? What I better? What I what, what I better? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, hold on. You know what? Hold on. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I'm looking at something. What? Uh, what? I, what? I bell that? Let's let, let's look it up. PBC. Let me see. I'll, just in case y'all, just in case y'all ain't see it. WBC PBC belt. <laughs> I want y'all to see this. Motherfucker, be so. <laughs> you know, you know, and guess what? They're gonna put that belt off for grabs. Yeah, man, we don't need them other belts. We got our own belt. Y'all can come over here and fight for the PBC belt. <laughs> what? Hey, mother, hey, hold on, hold on. Y'all, y'all check this out. Hold on, y'all check this out. Let me share this with y'all. Man, listen, listen. Uh uh, the WBC, as a as a record label staff and as a crew, and as a sanctioning body, they have more belts than a little bit. Y'all check this out. Let's blow this up. Let blow this up. Y'all see this belt right here? Okay, now nah, that's a custom logo. If you want, if you want to do that, right? They got the WBC Daria Daria Championship uh, Boxing Wrestling rep, rep Belt, right? They got that boxing belt. Another WBC belt. They got a. Uh, they got they got three different variations of the WBC belt right here. This the white WBC belt. This the WBC, uh, WBC Money World Championship belt. This the belt. Hey, this the belt they made for Floyd. <laughs> hey, the WBC gave Floyd his own belt. Check this out. The WBC gave Floyd his own belt. Y'all see that? This is the money belt. The de <laughs> this is why. This is why Floyd may want to say that the WBC is the is, is the, the green and gold belt is the most prestigious belt. They made the man his own belt, bro. True, true, true. Yeah, man, I got the green belt, man. The green belt, oh man, come on, man. They gave that man his own PapaJohn.com. They gave Floyd, Floyd his own belt. I got my own belt. I got my own belt. I got my own belt, Leonard. I got my own belt. Yes, Floyd, you got your own belt, Floyd. Nobody's ever got your own belt, Floyd. Oh my gosh, Floyd, this is just so special, Leonard. I know, Leonard. Here, here, take the belt. 
Put it in the briefcase over there um, for me later. Yes, Floyd, I do whatever you tell me to do, Floyd. Is there anything else you need? Are you sweating anywhere? Are you, are you sweat that you need me to wipe off? Oh, <laughs> you know, you know how I do it. <laughs> hey, man, come on, man. Hey, bro, check this out, fam. Hey, 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 Elena. Hey, Elena, come on. Hey, Elena, come on, man. Man, that man, this man, hey, this man got, hey, 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 Elena, check this out, check this out. See, this is the problem. This is the problem, too. This is another thing, right? This is another thing I want to talk about, too, right? They say belts don't matter and stuff like that. Hey, what, hey, G Daddy, what did he say, fam? He said, he said, this shit don't, don't get, he said, this shit don't get more crazy. He said, them old heads making this up as they go <laughs> by their own belt. Hey, man, come on, man. Bruh, I'm the old heads messing the game up. And I, this is why I can't even get mad. I can't even get mad. He said, I DM you the belt, coach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody did DM me that. I, I, that was you? All right, cool, cool, cool. I, I'm glad. Hey, thank you for doing it, uh, sending it to me, fam. Hey, check it out, though, right? They say belts don't matter. I, would, I remember I was disagreeing vehemently with Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby. They say the belts don't matter, right? Calvin Ford. And then I realized, I said, you know what? I understand what they're saying now. Because the Saints and the bodies have devalued the belt so much. The sanctioning bodies have devalued the belt so much that, you know, because they're making a thousand of them, everybody, <clears throat> everybody and their mama, they give a belt to, they call them a champion, this and that. So it don't matter, right? So when it comes for certain, when certain fighters, they'll say, yo, man, you know, oh, man, our belts don't matter. It don't matter. You know, the belts don't mean nothing. Floyd may want to say all the belts are going to do is collect dust. And you can, you, you, I can't feed my kids belts or legacy. I need money. So this is what they say in one breath. Shout out to the Duchess of Wisdom, man. Shout out to the lovely Duchess of Wisdom. Hey, uh, this is what they say. This is what they say in one breath, right? When, when I did, did this, no, listen. So when it's a, when it's a fighter that they don't like, yeah, man, he, he need to let the belts go. He holding this up. He holding that up. You know, all the dudes want to become champions. Wait a minute, belts don't matter. <clears throat> y'all can't be, y'all can't be picking and choosing when you want, when belts matter and when belts don't matter. When belts matter, when they don't matter. You get what I'm saying? So, so yeah, man, my father don't care about no belt. He the A side. We don't care about no belt, this and that, this and that. And no belts don't mean nothing. And if I, you know, I can't feed my kids with belts. And my father getting all this money without the belt. Okay, but yeah, but tell what's the name to drop the belt? He holding the division though. <laughs> so I say, I say, okay, well, why, 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 um, why, why okay. You you care about the bills? Yeah. The what's the name wanted to come undisputed? Down there, the other dude wanted to come undisputed. But you just said bills don't matter. You just said bills don't matter. Yeah, yeah, but she she that different. That different. She wasn't saying to you. She ain't got to do now. She she okay, 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 so you belts matter? Yeah, belts matter. Okay, but how come your boy been in the division for 75 years and he ain't fought, he ain't tried to unify the division to become undisputed? Man, we don't care now about no belts, man. We don't care now about no belts. We bigger than the belt. We bigger than the belt. Okay, so your fighter bigger than the belt, but you want the other guy to uh to drop the belts because belts matter, uh 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 because belts matter. Um, as it relates to that particular weight division. Yeah, 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 she belt matter. He got to let the belts go. But you just said belts don't matter. So why are you worried about whether he got the belts or not? They don't matter, right? I'm like, come on, man. Oh, man. Shout out to Al Rogan, man. Al Rogan say, um, undisputed his legacy, history. He said, you got to fight everybody, no ducking. Man. <clears throat> hey, hey, you know what? Hey, you know what, Al? These dudes got hell so many, so much devil standards, bro. Like, the devil standards is real. The devil's status and hypocrisy is real. You know what I mean? Will, what you say, fam? You say, you a champ. I'm a champ. Everyone's a champ. There's a difference between a champion and a title holder. Champion is the guy that got, the champ, a champion is the guy that he's universally recognized by the fans. He's unified the division, got all the belts, or he has a majority of the belts. And he's the, or, or if he has the belt, He's defending this title against any and everybody that's, um, that, that's the number one guy that comes up. And he's trying to unify the division and this and that. And he has a ring. Like, if you have a, like, like, one thing about, one thing you see about the old school versus what you don't kind of see today, the old school cats like the Ray Robinson and stuff like that, they defend, Larry Holmes, they defended their titles consecutively. 
And I think Larry Holmes had like 20 title defenses. Bernard Hopkins had like 21 or 22 or something of that sort. It's how long did you reign in that weight division? That 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 signifies a champion. Man, that dude right there, man, that's a champ right there, boy. That dude, man, that dude don't have 15, 20 title defenses. Man, that nigga fighting there. Do you, you get what I'm saying? That right there. So, like a lot of these, some of these dudes, they're just title holders. They're not champions. They're just title holders. Especially if you ain't unified the division. If you ain't unified, if you haven't unified the division, or you uh haven't uh had a long reign in your weight division, because there's no way you're gonna be in your weight division if you ain't fighting these other top guys. You get what I'm saying? Like Hagler had to fight all the top guys. Home Larry Holmes had to fight the top guys. Uh, Tyson, uh, Muhammad Ali, they had to fight the top guys. And this era, they call these dude champs and uh, you know, they not even fighting the top guys. Like you gotta, you gotta earn that title. You gotta earn that right to be called a champ. You gotta fight the top guys, fam. That's how you know you are a champion by fighting the other top guys. But if you ain't fighting them and you hide behind money and butts and seats and you know I'm more popular than you, I can't call you no champ. You a I mean, you I mean you are you a title holder, but you ain't no champion. Not in my eyes, anyway. Not in my eyes. Not in my eyes. I don't give a damn what your fans say. Now nah, he a title. He, he a good title holder, but he ain't no champion. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? I mean, that's just you know that's a that's a criteria, bro. And that's in any comeback sport. <clears throat> that's that's in any comeback sport. What happened is, what happened is, uh, shout out to Yamas. He said you couldn't get. He said you couldn't get money. Not fighting the top tier fighters back then. As a matter of fact, Yarmis. Hell, we just we just talking about the '80s. Forget, for, you know, we just talking about the '80s. You could not afford to turn down an opportunity to fight. You could not afford to turn down the opportunity to fight because you never knew when you was going to get that opportunity again. Did you get what I'm saying? So I kind of, I, I kind of, I kind of miss. The old way of doing things. From, from a boxing fan standpoint, that's what I miss. Because, nah, you got you gotta fight, dog. You gotta fight. In today's time, some of these promoters have changed it. They changed the game. Now it's, man, you ain't got to fight such and such. You ain't got to, you know. You know, you got you got you got Booger Ray Leonard. Who, bro, like him and, yeah, man, Booger Ray and people like him, bro, they just, for me, they just, man. Man, I ain't, man, look here, man. I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, he said money and popularity. That's crazy. That's why I told you guys, uh, shout out to Yamas. He said, he said, you know Hitchens was signed to Florida. Yeah, I knew that. He left. He left Florida, went to, uh, went to Eddie Hearns because they wasn't, they wasn't doing nothing with him. They wasn't doing nothing with him. Y'all know that. <clears throat> he left him with Daddy Hearn. They let him go. They didn't, they didn't even try to build him up or anything. <clears throat> they didn't even try to build him up or anything. You get what I'm saying? So I'm glad he left. He get he getting paid way more money than he was getting paid um, over there with, with, with Mayweather. Mayweather promotions, the only thing they cared about was Tank. That was it. That's all they cared about, Tank. Shout out to Passion for Beauty. He say Leonard, he's a star enemy. <laughs> and they, hey, listen, you know the crazy part about it? How you let Richardson Hitchens go? But then you y'all cared y'all cared about Tank. I get that. But then you pull Rolly Romero out of nowhere and try to sell Rolly Romero to the public. Try to hey, shout out to Elena. Try to sell Rolly Romero to the public. And then when I saw an interview with Leonard Ellaby. With Sean Porter, he said, yes, man. He said, they asked him about um, they asked him about Ronald Romero. He said, man, I love the guy, man. I love him, man. You know, and, you know, it ain't about his boxing skills. I love that guy, man. He's the only one. He's the only fighter that calls and check. He's the only fighter that calls and checks on me. He's the only one that calls and checks on me. On this fight, don't start it, man. Nicholson, uh, Nicholson and uh, uh, my food. Nicholson and my food. Um, he said he's the only one that calls and checks on me. That's it. No other fighter calls. So, 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 uh, so, uh, 
Um, yeah, I, I know. I know they got molten. Now. I know they got molten. Now, but I'm talking about prior. To, I'm saying, but before molten, I'm, I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about before molten got over there. He wasn't doing that with no other fighters. Um, but um, uh, no, nobody, nobody was calling, checking on Booger Ray. Nobody was calling, checking on Booger Ray. <laughs> Floyd didn't call him. <laughs> Floyd didn't call to check up on him. Nobody called. Roland Romero was the, the, the crayon. Roland Romero was the only one that was calling Leonard. I'm Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> Hello? Hey, uh, how you doing, buddy? Raleigh, how you doing, Raleigh? What's going on, buddy? You hanging in there? Yeah, man, I'm hanging in there, man. Man, man, you know what I'm doing? What's that, Raleigh? I'm eating this crayon. You eating a crayon? Yeah, the same way you bought me. Oh, man, oh, my God, man. Man, it's crying so good, man. Oh, he's so juicy and mean and tasty. Oh, I'm so glad. You got, you got to say pause. You got to say pause or no diddy. Oh, Roland, when you say juicy and mean and your taste, you got to say that, no diddy, okay? All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, man, I'm just checking on you. Oh, thanks, Roland. I appreciate it, buddy. So, yeah, so <laughs> Roland Romero, <laughs> Roland Romero, the way he called it. Hey, check it out. He called it, check it on Booger Ray. He called it, check it on Booger Ray. <laughs> He said, hey, man, round one almost over with, man. Nicholson and uh, uh, Mahmoud. Uh, what, what's, her, what's her name? I got to see. Okay, okay. I like, she got she got to keep, keep, keep her head up, though. Okay, Southpaw. Bo, oh, this is an open hand stance fight. Anytime you have a Southpaw and an Orthodox fighter fighting each other, that's called open hand stance. Um, shout out to uh, Naquan. What's going on, fam? What's going on? D-Block, what's going on, brother? The Inevitable, D-Block. D-Town, D-City, D-Ville, Baltimore. Stand up. Facts. <clears throat> I guess the road say, damn, don't be doing do, don't be doing the goat rolling like that. Boy hush. <laughs> he yeah, he the goat, the goat of eating crayons. True, <laughs> true, true. Yeah, he the goat of eating crayons. <clears throat> yeah, you know, just, you know. <clears throat> against the roast. What you say? You say Devin and Shakur would have got the same hitches and treatment, hitch and treatment, if they would have signed too. <clears throat> That's why don't nobody, you know, don't nobody sign with Floyd Mayweather? Shakur, Devin Haney, and Haney grew up around Floyd Mayweather. They never signed with him. Dollar Bill like, nah, we ain't going that route. Everybody know what time it is. Everybody know what time it is. Anyway, round two don't start it, man. We got the two, we got the two ladies who are fighting in the ring. We got Nicholson versus um, Mahfoud. Um, Mahfoud, I think I named Mahfoud or Mahfoud, something like that. Um, Mahfoud. Um, open hand, this is the open hand stands fight. Uh, both women are fainting really good, uh, fainting really good. It look, it look like they're still trying to figure each other out. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, I'm trying to find who, which one is Nicholson? Nicholson, okay, the red. Both of them have black trunks on, black and gold. So how do you know the difference between the two? One has blue tape around the wrist and the other one has red tape around the wrist. So Nicholson is the one with the blue tape around her wrist. And um, Mahfad is my Mahfad is is the one with the red tape around her wrist. She got some long. She got she got she got some dog on. Um, Nicholson Nicholson got some long ass arms though. Nice long arms. Anyways, anyways. Um, hey, what to say? Don't yeah. Don't nobody yeah. Don't nobody call to check in. Don't nobody call to check in on Diddy man. Nobody call to check in on nobody. <laughs> hey, what to say? Uh, L. Harvey, you say Nicholson um, braids hanging. Yeah, her braids hanging. You get what I'm saying? Both women are fainting pretty good, though. Both women are fainting pretty good. Look like that. Oh, that's a nice dog on straight left by dog going on um, Nicholson. Nice straight left by Nicholson. Straight left. She walked right into it too. Look, walked right into it as well. Both women are fainting. You know, they fainting pretty well. Trying to, they trying to figure some things out. Nicholson is keeping that distance though. She's keeping that distance. And McFarland is trying to. McFarland is. I mean, when she come in there and throw combinations to get on the inside, she ain't landing nothing. So Nicholson is just pretty much trying to keep her at distance, getting out of, you know, keep her out. Oh, that's a nice left foot by dog on McFarland. Nice left foot, right cross. Nice left foot, right cross. Yeah, man. We what to say, fam? You said Nicholson pretty. Uh, uh, pretty eyes don't look like um, they can take a punch. Hey, man, you know, welcome to the fight game, partner. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man, dog, go on, listen. 
these dudes be picking and choosing. They do be picking and choosing when belts matter. You know what I'm saying? When belts matter, they pick and choose. But when you when when you are put in a, a certain position, he should be. Go, I mean, he's able to, like like me. You know, when I was in a position, I can pick and choose who I want to, cause I I, I earned that right. You get what I'm saying? He earned that right. So some fighters earn the right to pick and choose, in in in, in, some, in some eyes of the fans. And other fighters don't. <laughs> he picking and choosing. <laughs> yeah, but my fighter, my fighter ain't shy. He can do what he want to do. Okay, all right, all right. So, sorry. Right, so I, I see you saying your, your your fighter, your fighter, you hold your fighter to a different standard. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I was like, okay, cool. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. Round three don't start it, man. Nicholson and uh, McFarland. Nicholson looked like she can have the longer arms of the two. You know, she's keeping a half a step back. She's really not engaging like that. She just, she's just trying to make, um, she's just trying to make um, uh, McFarland swing and miss if she can counter. She's looking for the counter. Straight left. She, she want to land that straight left. That's what she's looking at. That straight left. Now what McFarland has to do, she got to look at her lead foot placement. See, her lead foot placement is on the inside. That's the problem. That's why she's going to get hit with that straight left. Her lead foot placement is on the inside. Nice, nice, nice round check, check right hook by dog on um by Nicholson. She has to, she has to look right when uh, right when Nicholson get ready to throw. Look at her foot. So she she always get her foot on the outside. She just landed the back end to the body. She looked like she's in a rhythm, and a nice jab, nice jab right check right hook by dog on Nicholson. Nice jab check right hook, and um it looks like she has my father thinking too much. Mafad is thinking a little too much in this in this in this round. That's what it looks like. Look like she uh she's thinking too much. Shout out to Crack Stream. Crack Stream, what's going on, fam? Anthony Roberts is saying, um, if you got a belt, defend it. Yep, it's, it's not as simple as that. Not as simple as that in Boston. Hell, you got somebody like a Jamal Tallo, he ain't defended his belt in almost three years, so it is what it is, you know. Oh, that's a nice dunk, nice right hand. Nice right hand by dog on my foul. Nice right hand, but she put her head down and landed it though. Both, you know, she reaching, she reaching. Yeah, she don't know how to get on the inside. She having trouble getting on the inside. I think that's the issue right there. That's the issue. He said, when hitches in fight. Um, late on, late on tonight. Shout out to Crack Stream. What's going on, fam? Robbie Digital, salute. Al Rogan said Amanda Serrano got skills. Yes, she does. Amanda Serrano has skills, but she she like to sit in the middle of the pocket, sit right there in the pocket and just and just throw a lot of punches. She get hit a lot. Amanda Serrano ain't really got no defense. I like Amanda Serrano, but she ain't really got no. She gonna stay right there. Pop, pop. You can hit her. She right here, but she gonna be throwing as well. You know what I mean? So her game is just all offense action. She gonna take punches and. And I'm laying some punches as well and just kind of keep pressing forward. You get what I'm saying? So that's pretty much that's pretty much her style. All right, look like what is it? Round four? This round four. Yeah, this round four. That's it. Dog on me foul came in swinging that right hand to the body, back hand to the body. This is the open hand stance fight. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um What's her name? Uh, Nicholson looked like she's a little bit more athletic of the two. Both women are flat-footed, but she looked like I like I like that right hook she does because what if you look at what Nicholson is doing? Nicholson is circling to the weak side. By her circling to the weak side, you all see y'all you, you saw a foot placement. She saw a foot placement. She got her feet on the outside, and then she shot the jab down the pipe. She shot the jab, the blind, um, a foul, and then she came right in with the straight left hand. Right well, because her foot was on the outside when she stepped, she was on the outside. That's what McFowl hasn't figured out yet. McFowl hasn't figured that out yet. And that's why um, um, Nicholson is able to land that check and pivot out of the way uh, uh, out the, uh, throughout on, on the exit area. She's able to exit out to the right because she's circling the weak side. She's circling the weak side. You get what I'm saying? That's what she's doing.
Look at that. You see what I'm saying? You saw she um, threw that straight left and landed it and backed up. And then when McFowl came in, she checked her with the right and, and, and pivoted out. Pivoted out the back door. I mean, that, you know, she, 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 can, she can win this fight all night by doing this. She can do this all night by doing this. Taking a half step back. She has, she has quicker feet. Soon as McFowl, because McFowl coming in with her head down swinging. She's coming in with her head down swinging. <clears throat> um, against the Rose, she all she always she fights like she's still in the amateurs. Yeah, uh, McFowl, she got some nice braids though. Yeah, she has, she has, yeah she has, she has some nice braids. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sitting back trying to figure out, you know. I don't know, man. Shut that soft ass and the shit best, up. And the best man Shut that win. soft. That's some soft ass shit. Shut that soft ass shit up. All that soft talking. I know you can do it, man. You got the, you got the. Man, shut that soft ass shit up. Boy, I'm trying to tell you. Okay, we gonna see what's up. Um, that's my foul's corner. She she's having difficulties measuring the distance. And the range to get on the inside because the uh, uh, Nicholson is a lot faster than her. Uh, she's a little bit quicker on her feet. A little bit quicker on her feet. She's fainting pretty good. She doesn't realize what she's doing. Weak side, look at that. Then she threw the left hook. Weak side and exited out the back door. Textbook. And you see what she's doing. Look at her. She keeps circling to that weak side. So what, 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 what McFowl has to do is cut off the weak side exit. Cut that weak side exit off. Don't even let her get to the weak side. McFowl has to, she has to uh, fight for lead foot control. She got to make sure her, that's why when she swing her two-piece, she's missing and she's getting checked with the right hook like she just did, she has to establish lead foot control and, 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 and guard control as well. Lead foot control and guard control as well. She got to recognize where her, where, where her lead foot is at. Because you're circling to the strong side and, she, and, and, and Nicholson is circling to the weak side. That's why you're getting hit. Cut that weak side, cut that weak side exit off on her. Keep her to the strong side. That's what she needs to do. Just keep her there. She's lunging in there, throwing it. She's lunging and throwing a wild combo, but she ain't landing nothing. And that's what's allowing her to get checked too. Cause when she throwing coming in like this here, she leaving his head open right here. And so Nicholson just while you throwing, hack up, throw the right hook, exit out the back door, spin you. Then you got to turn around and look for her. You get what I'm saying? You got to turn around and find her. True, true. <laughs> True. Reaching with that back end, you could have got caught. You could have got caught with a straight right. Now she's trying to counter, but she's too slow. See, because what it is, and Nicholson definitely has the reach. Has the reach. Nicholson definitely has the reach. So. Man. Listen, Nick, listen, McFowl, McFowl is going to have to circle to her left, the weak side. She has to stop circling to the strong side. When you fight in the southpaw, when you fight in the southpaw, you don't do that. When you fight in the southpaw, you don't, you don't circle to the strong side. Okay, Estrada and Bam Rodriguez. Oh, that's going to be a good one there, boy. Bam Rodriguez and Estrada, they're fighting June 29th. Oh, where they fighting at? Bam and Estrada. Schedule. Let's look at that. June. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Okay. It's not, it's not on, his, on his list yet. Hey, what you say? Lisa say she's not ready for Serrano yet. This is round five or six. Let me see what round this is. Round six. Round six, um, McFowl is losing this fight. McFowl is losing this fight. Uh, she's trying to press a little bit, 
but she's overly anxious. She has to, she, you know what, you know, you know what my foul problem is? She ain't got no jab. She got to shoot the jab. Work behind the jab. Work behind the jab. Work behind the jab. And she's reaching with the back end. Nicholson ain't gonna be Nicholson's not there to be hit. Like look, like 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 look at that back foot. Look look at look at look at how that back foot is how wide that back foot is standing. She's ready to she's ready to get out of there out of harm's way. She's ready to get out of harm's way. Look look look, look how far her back foot is. Look at look you see where she got her weight shifted at. Her weight is shifted to that back foot. This is round six, round six. We're in the, we're in the middle of the six right now. Uh, McFowl is still doing the same thing, throwing combinations in the air. Um, Nicholson is hardly throwing punches. Nicholson is hardly throwing. It's like, okay, nice, nice on backhand to the body. Came kind of slow, but she landed it. Flicking the jab out there, nice jab to the body. You flick the jab to the chest because you're trying to set the straight. The reason why she's flicking a jab to the chest because you're trying to set the straight left up to the top. Shoot the jab to the chest. Hack up, hack up, hack up. Keep showing them that, and then step in and shoot the straight left. Shoot the straight left to the uh, straight into the top. Loma Chaco do that shit all the time. Loma, hop, 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 and the next thing you know, bam. That, that, that back end came out of nowhere, and you wonder how you got hit with it. <laughs> hey, hey, shout out to Lisa Bells. Lisa say Nicholson is a safety first boxer. Yeah, Lisa, you wonder how you man, how I got hit with that. Yeah, he was lulling you to sleep with that same punch, that same punch, that same punch to the, to the chest, to the body, to the chest, to the body. And next thing you know, come straight down the pipe. Pop! And you're trying to hit, cause a lot of time when Loman hits you with that straight left hand, He'll spin. He'll exit out. He'll exit out the weak side. He'll exit out that weak side. That's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay, they got the gloves. They don't wrap his gloves up. Okay, cool. Got his gloves wrapped up. He ready to go. Hey, shout out to uh, Against the Blows. He said, Sky, Sky killed every parlay I had last time with that weak ass stoppage. <laughs> hey, 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 man. We're going to see what Nickerson do, man. This, this is on top of the seventh round. Top of the seventh round. Both women have black and gold. So Nickerson is the one with the blue, uh, blue um, tape around her wrist. And, and, and look at, that's what I'm saying. Every time Mafal comes in and throw her combinations, rushing real fast, Nicholson goes up under her and picks her up. Nice, nice straight left hand, double left hand. Left hand again. Nice one. Nicholson landed that left hand twice. Nicholson needs to become more offensive minded though. Because this lady, I, you know, I mean, she, she, I mean, she can't hurt you. Because of how you're fighting. But Nicholson, I want to see Nicholson, Nicholson become a little bit more offensive minded. That's what I want to see. I like that. I like that. I want to see her become more offensive minded. You get what I'm saying? Because you, you clearly have, you have a foul thinking. You have her thinking in the ring. She hasn't figured out. She's trying to figure out how to get inside. But she knows she's at a disadvantage from a footwork and speed standpoint. So that's what's making her very hesitant. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and Nicholas is sitting there smiling. Now, when she step up in competition, she's going to have to fight better. Because there's certain fighters she's not going to be able to beat fighting that type of style. Oh, nice left, nice left hook by uh, by uh, by Nicholson. She telegraphed it, but she timed it though. All right, going into the eighth round. Shout out to uh, Dex. She said ninety nine percent of women boxing goes to points. More power in the dead. Okay. Yeah, man. 
uh, against the rope saying, I've never seen her fight coming forward. She need to add that to her game. Because if she fighting, because if she wants to fight, uh, she needs to, uh, she, when she fights somebody like a, like a, uh, Alicia Baumgartner or a Michaela Meyer or whatever. Now, of course, she's a uh, Michaela Mayer. Yeah, of course, she's going to, um, like, you know, those fighters, we're going to cut, we're going to cut, we're going to cut that weak side off. We're going to cut that weak side off. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to cut that weak side off. Yep. At this round eight, y'all, round eight. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say this is the most exciting fight. It's not. It's not the most exciting fight. I'm really kind of I'm really kind of ready for this fight to be over with, to be fair. Um, pretty much the same old rinse and repeat. Um, Nicholson, you know, she's going to swing to the weak side. She's not engaging. She's staying, you know, out of harm's way. She's looking for certain shots. Shoot the jab, shot the backhand. Um, every time uh, McFowl throws, Nicholson takes that step back. Like literally, literally, you can say from a stylistic standpoint, um, this kind of looks like If I was to compare it to a male boxing performance, to where it's clearly one-sided, uh, Sky Nicholson is winning, but if I was to compare it to a male boxing performance that's boxing in today's time, like right now in 2024, who, who, who would you guys compare this style to? Now, Sky is sitting there showboating. He say Taylor and Shields, a lot years ahead of the rest of the pack in women's boxing. Time catching up with Katie, too. Yeah, Katie getting up there. I guess the Rose say, I love Sky. She like a Kayla plant. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, curse. You say Shakur? Yeah, I ain't, you know, yeah, she ain't, you know. Shout out to uh, D-Block. He said, I got the green light to go to Houston. So I'm going. My lady said, well, you, go, you got life insurance. Go for it. So it's a green light. Before I go, brother, I need your blessings. Facts. <laughs> D-Block, man, ain't nobody going to be messing with you in Houston, man. <laughs> D-Block, D -block, you putting all this uh, uh, Rod Jones saying Paulie Malinagi. Yeah, Paulie Malinagi, boy, Lord have mercy. Paulie Malinagi was a trans fighter. The villain said, where them American female boxing interviews, coach? That's a good question. Where are they? That's a good question. Where are they? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea, fam. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, yeah, round nine, man. Round nine. He said, Shakur Stevenson, you okay? You said that twice already. Uh, Stephen X said, Shakur. Yeah, Shakur, you ain't going to hit him at all. Knock down 305, say, stay your ass home, D-Block. <laughs> hey, D-Block, D-Block, ain't nobody going to mess with you, man. <laughs> you a Texas boy. You from Texas, man. Texas stick together, fam. Dex say, these chicks punching now have more power in their punch than Paulie. I don't know about that, man. I, I neither one of these chicks got no power, really. Brady Twelve say, "Coach, don't be surprised if Pitbull fights Grandpa." I mean, I won't be surprised. They're on the same side of the street, same side of the street. So I wouldn't be surprised. You get what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if you see Tank fighting Pitbull later on this year at 140. Don't be surprised if you see that. This is the thing that get me, though. 
I know, I know Linda Ellaby was saying that, hey, man, Tank to 140 is too big for Tank. But Esau Cruz is at 140. And he's smaller than Tank, shorter than Tank. He's short. Now, he got some big-ass legs, but outside of that, he's smaller than Tank. And he's at 140. Like, how do you, how do you justify that? Riddle, riddle me that. Sky keep moving around. Oh, that's a nice, nice, nice right hand by my father. Nice right hand by my father. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna say a lot of you, fam. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not impressed with Scott. Nah, I ain't impressed with him at all. Just being honest with you. True, true, true. I I ain't I'm not impressed with her. I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't see the hype, to be fair. I don't see the hype at all. He said left handed left handed Kayla Plant equals sky. I'ma outbox you and style on you with no power. Man, I mean Yeah, I, yeah, I ain't I'm not I'm not I'm not impressed with her, fam, to be fair. You know, so <laughs> I'm just I'm dead I'm dead ass about that, bro. I ain't I ain't really seeing nothing. Uh, Pitbull and Tank. He said, yeah, you can see Pitbull and Tank. I'm okay with that rematch. Pitbull is limited and basic, but fun to watch. Stephen X say flashy. This round 10, man. I'm just round 10. This round 10. So this is this is the last round. Uh, McFowl is having trouble getting on the inside. Sky is hardly through Sky is hardly throwing punches. So that's the thing, right? She's hardly throwing punches. She landed some shots, but she's hardly throwing them. She's moving out the way, getting out the way. She's not engaging. It's like as soon as as soon as um uh, um foul takes a step forward, she's getting out of there. Like this is everything y'all say Devin Haney do. Everything y'all say Devin Haney and Shakur do, this is what Sky does. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't see it, fam. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I've been hearing hype about it. I don't see it, fam. I mean, she got some good footwork and stuff like that, and but she don't. She don't have a fan friendly fight style. For for what for what these guys listen. Listen to Katie. Look at Katie Taylor and look at Amanda Serrano and look at Clarissa Shields and look at Savannah Marshall and look at uh Michaela Meyer and 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 look at and look at and um. Uh, and uh, what the other chick name? She uh, from Baltimore. Was, from, was in Baltimore, or DC. Woman, um, I forgot her name. Yeah, she ain't. Yeah, she ain't. Yeah, yeah, I ain't. I ain't, I ain't impressed with it, dog. I ain't impressed with it, dog. It's gonna take a whole lot for me to get on her bandwagon. I, right now, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't, I, don't, I don't see the hype at all. Shout out to the one, 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 one and only Miss Ham. Until Sky agrees to them 12 by threes with Amanda. She ain't getting that fight. Oh, okay. Shout out to Savage Surge. No, not Alicia, it's her other sister. And look at that, Sky sitting there dancing around in the ring with, with footwork staying out of the way, dancing around the showboat. Yeah, I don't see it, bro. Yeah, I don't see it, man. I ain't, I ain't impressed with that at all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not impressed and she, I'm not, I'm not impressed with her, bro. I'm not impressed with her. I ain't impressed with it at all, bro. I'm like, I'm like Flavor Flavor, Public Enemy. Don't believe the hype. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I don't, I don't see it at all, bro. I don't see it at all. I mean, she cute and all and got good footwork, but that's, that's about it. She ain't got no fan friendly style. She not engaging. She ain't, she like she ain't trying to get hit at all. Like you get what I'm saying? Like I mean, the object the, the object of boxing is to hit and not get hit. But goddamn, dog! Like as soon as these girls take one step forward, you taking three steps back. You get what I'm saying? Like we we murder we murder men in boxing for doing that. Oh man, he ain't got no fan finished out. Ah, my fighter be knocking people out. Well, there's other fighters that knock people out. Y'all don't give them that. Y'all, 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 y'all don't give them that credit. Oh, but that different, that different. Okay, that's different. Okay, I get it. I understand. 
I understand. I get it. I guess the wrong say the zone really waxed me for thirty thirty dollars for this. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that this fight was just left with trash. It was a trash fight. It was a trash fight. True, true, true. Yeah, it was. It was this 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 fight. This fight wasn't. This this fight wasn't it for me. I ain't gonna. Matter of fact, the last fight, the last fight when the dudes was real real slow. What that was um. Uh, Matoya Matoya versus um, Castro. Matoya versus Castro was a better fight than this. Neither one of these women got a scratch on their face. I, I, I can't even, I can't even say this is a, a, a sparring match. Let's see what the, what the judges say. Mountain Blue in Las Vegas. Ninety ninety one. Oh, she the new champ. Ten and oh one she ten and oh one KO. Boy hush. Ten and oh one KO yang. I ain't gonna be watching her fights no time soon. I can I can tell you. I listen, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna be watching no Scott Nicholson fights no time soon. I, I, she ain't gotta she ain't gotta worry about me watching her fights. You know what I mean? So I'm just I'm just being honest with you, bro. I, that shit right there, just I ain't man shit. That shit I couldn't. I mean I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't even get into that shit. I couldn't even get into it. And what he said, he said, he said, trans fights is eighty percent of boxing. You got to enjoy. <laughs> hey, shout out today. Hey, man, that man, she, oh man, y'all talking like she the, she the, she, she the female Sugar Ray Leonard. Man, child to the please. Man, that shit, oh man. I shit, goddamn. Uh, I like doggone, uh, Alicia Baumgartner. You know, doggone. Uh, 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 What's my girl name? Clarissa Shields. I like Savannah Marshall, Katie Taylor. Uh, 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 what's my, what's my, uh, Katie Taylor. Um, Sinise, no, not Sinise. Yeah, Sinise Estrada. I like her too. Um, Valle. I like dog on, uh, what's the girl from uh, Puerto Rico? Keep, I keep forgetting her goddamn name. What's the girl in Puerto Rico? Yeah, Clarissa Shields is commentating. Yeah, Chantel. Yeah, Chantel and Amanda Serrano. Yeah, and, and Amanda Serrano. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, man, I ain't man. Shit, I ain't. I can't man. Shit. I pass on her. Shit, I ain't man. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't fucking with her, bro. I ain't, I'm not. I'm not fucking with her. That sky shit. That guy. Ain't, I'm not. I'm not impressed with that sky shit. I'm being honest with you, man. She ain't. She ain't got the type of style I want. She be running too goddamn. <laughs> she running, <laughs> running like a chicken. and say she running. She don't want to engage, make it a fight, <laughs> fight like a real man. <laughs> hey, y'all know. Hey, y'all remember Robert Garcia? I mean, Ruben, 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 Gar no, Ruben Guerrero, Ruben Guerrero. No, fight like a real man. He ran like a chicken. and say he ran. <laughs> you know, <laughs> stay still and fight. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Guerrero. Hey, Ruben Guerrero. Hey, hey y'all remember when uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero, Floor Fault, listen, Floor Fault, Robert the Ghost Guerrero, the ghost. <laughs> he fought the ghost. Oh, my, he made it. And it was on pay per view. He fought the ghost. He fought the ghost. <laughs> He fought Robert. See the people see people be forgetting about that. Floyd fought Robert the Ghost Guerrero. He fought. Hey, you know, he, he says the woman beater, he say the woman beater, we're gonna get that woman beater. No, that was too late. We gonna we beat that woman beater. <laughs> hey, get what? Hey, he went, hey, Floyd, Floyd, hey, Floyd, Floyd is a woman beater now. That, that is true now. True, true, yeah, true. Yeah, boy, Floyd may want to Floyd may want to put hands and foots, boy. They say got a dog on. I think his baby mama, the one who I think she passed away. I, I, I hope I think that's the one. Yeah, Florida. I'm a Florida did them ninety days in jail. Florida did them ninety days in the county, boy. And he did. And he did them ninety days. He did them ninety days in the county. 
But he, but he, but they say he, uh, Floyd, Floyd, they put hands and foots on him. He say, um, you know, if I, if, if I beat my baby mothers up, um, how come there are no pictures? There are no pictures, um, no evidence that I physically did anything, right? They didn't take no pictures, right? So, uh, where, where the pictures at? That what Floyd said. Where the pictures at? So the state was like, okay, we, we, we going to trial. We finna take this to trial, right? They got Floyd. Hey, listen, listen. Floyd taking it to trial, right? <laughs> they say. Floyd said he ain't beat his, beat, his, beat, his, uh, beat, his, beat his girlfriend up, his kid's mother up, right? The state said, okay, but well, we got witnesses. Who, who the witnesses? Who the witnesses? Your kids. Your kids. Chi-Chi and his other kids, right? The kids was going to get on the stand and testify. <laughs> and when the kids was going to get on the stand and testify, when, when Floyd found that out, Floyd went on ahead and took the plea. True, true, true. He went, on, he went on ahead and took the plea. He said he didn't want to, I, I didn't want to take my kids through that. I don't want to take my kids. I said, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're you right about that. You, you did. You did so did right. Because they saw it. Look at this fight. It say Scott Nicholson landed 37 punches. Sarah landed 30, uh, uh, 20 punches. Man, bro, that's 57 punches landed. The entire 10 round fight. Nah, I pass. Shout out to uh, shout out to Rick Tims. Shout out to Rick Tims. Shout out to Rick Tims, man. Nah, I pass. No, don't nobody don't nobody tell me about no Scott Nicholson no more. I don't want to hear nothing about no Scott Nicholson. Come on, man. Yeah, man, you go about Scott Nick, man, man, man. Come on, man. That ain't shit. Uh, Lit up said, "What do you think about uh, Lena Cruz, Coach? Is uh, is uh, that's the one? Um, she's the champion, right? Is she the champion in the featherweight division now? I think she's the champion in the featherweight division, right? We talking about the same Cruz. If you're talking about the same Cruz, I don't know which one you're talking about. That's Esau Cruz's aunt. Esau Cruz's aunt. Hey, what you say, um, Nay? You say the zone pushing this Haney versus Garcia fight." $10 for a subscription and $70 for the pay-per-view. That's wild. No, nah, it ain't no $10 for a subscription. I, hell, I'm paying, you know what I'm paying, Monet? I'm paying $30 a month. They don't win up again. And um, yeah, I'm paying $30 a month for the zone. You get what I'm saying? Like for real. I don't, nah, they they should they they charging, they charging um, they charging $30. I wish, I wish it was 10. Hey, let me ask all this here. Rick said disowned is mediocre. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Hey, Rick. <laughs> hey, boy. Well, they ain't gonna lie. They may have some good fights sometimes, there's some trash fights, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, anyways, anyway, yeah, man. I'm, hey, did you, have you guys, hey, did anybody here, uh, listen, did anybody hear about the, um, the, uh, the pay-per-view numbers for the Fandor and uh, anybody heard the numbers? I haven't heard anything from Dan Raphael, Booger Ray Leonard. They haven't put the numbers out yet. Anybody know what the numbers is? Uh, Rick Glazer, Rick Glazer uh, said that they're not released. He said they're not releasing the numbers for some reason. Anybody know what the numbers is? Cause that'll be some that'll be something they'll be quick to put out. I know Booger Ray Leonard say, you know, we do astronomical numbers on pay-per-view and we know what we're doing over here and stuff like that. Normally normally uh normally uh the uh 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 the media the media pundits, you know, the media allies of the PBC like Dan Raphael and stuff like that, they would have put those numbers out. I ain't heard nothing, bro. I ain't heard nothing. I told y'all. I told y'all that shit was gonna do quadruple plastic. I told y'all that we're gonna do quadruple plastic. I told y'all. And that and that was what Keith and that was what Keith Thurman. I said it was gonna go. I, I said it was gonna go double wood with Keith Thurman. That, I'm saying with Keith Thurman. Like Keith Thurman ain't nobody, dog. Like Keith Thurman is old, washed up. He hard, don't he hardly fight. The fans don't even know who he is, who he is anymore. Cause there's a new crop of fans that came in. They don't know who Keith Thurman is. 
You don't put a Tim Zoo on a pay-per-view with the Keith Thurman. And your damn show don't put him on pay-per-view with, with, uh, with the Sebastian Fendor. With the, with the Sebastian Fendor. This is why when Samson Lewis say Errol Spence and Fendor fight each other, it's going to do 90000 in Dallas Stadium. How? Where? I mean, Errol Spence averaged 30 something thousand, 36,000 or 37,000 um, per fight uh, in attendance uh, when he fought in Dallas Stadium. That's his average. So for you to say, so for you to say that we're going to do 90,000 with Spence and Fundora in Dallas Stadium, and he averages 37.5 in Dallas Stadium, you're saying that with Sebastian Fundora, you guys are going to do 52,500 more people than Errol Spence average in Dallas Stadium. And you're going to do that with Sebastian Fendor. Sebastian Fendor don't have any fans. You see, you, you, hey, you see, hey, Lisa, you see how they be capping? You see how they be capping, Lisa? Doggone, that's why I call them Scampson. Scampson Lewowitz. That's why I call him Scampson. Hey, shout out, shout out, to, shout out to Lone Slice. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. Salute to you, fam. Thank you, brother. Uh, shout out to my sister. Uh, hey, shout out to Mr. Nice. Dropping that two dollar super chat. He says sources say pay per view number pay per view numbers was taking that Diddy Krill. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Uh, shout out to, um, shout out to, um, doggone, hey, Lisa, G5, he said, coming off, of, coming off a of stoppage, boy, hush, like, listen, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, uh, go, you gonna do 90,000 with Sebastian Fendora, a fighter who ain't got no fan base. Doggone, Anthony said, um, in Dallas, the comeback fight, EJ Big, him and Jerry, super cool. Not not ninety thousand, but a lot though. Listen, I just told you the average. If you're averaging thirty-seven thousand five hundred or thirty-eight thousand, if that's your average, you know that's big for him. The the guy who has the the guy who has the the the, the attendance record um, in the sport of boxing, fighting in Dallas Stadium. Is Saul Canelo Alvarez? He did over. He did almost seventy-four thousand with Billy Joe Saunders. So that doubled, that more than doubled what Errol Spence does in that very same stadium. So you're gonna tell me that you're gonna do fifty-two thousand five hundred more pay-per-view, more um, seats. You're gonna sell ninety thousand in Dallas Stadium with a Sebastian Fendora when you have never done that um, in your life. You didn't do it with doggone Mikey Garcia. You didn't do it with doggone um, um, Ocampo. Mikey Garcia was your, was your biggest attendance fight. And he's Mexican. Mikey Garcia is Mexican. And he didn't do, um, he didn't do nowhere near that uh, uh, with the Mexican. How in the hell is he going to do it with a tall, lanky Cuban American from Florida? That don't nobody know. Come on, man. True, true, true. Doggone. Hey, Scamson. Hey, shout out to Anthony Robertson. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying Scamson. Like, he just be pulling these numbers out of nowhere. Yeah, we going to do, yeah, we going to do 90,000. Yeah, how you going to do that? Yeah, how? Yeah, how, how? How you going to do it? Yeah, we going to do 90,000 with doggone. You know, we going to do 90,000 with front door. Oh, you will? How you going to do that? How? You know, I'm just, just curious, just curious. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, shout out to Will. Salute, fam. Um, D Block, what's going on, fam? Shout out to School of X Man. School of what the lick read, baby boy? What's happening? School of what the lick read? 
Ah, uh, you know what? Hold on, my bad, my bad. I gotta uh. I gotta make sure everybody hit the like button. Let me see. Start that poll. Did you hit the like button? Yeah, man. You get what I'm saying, though? It's like, they, you know what? These dudes, hey, they, they be saying they be saying anything and think we just gonna fall for it. We, we can tell them anything. The fans are dumb, man. We can tell them anything. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Then you get motherfuckers online. Yeah, man, she gonna do 90,000. And motherfuckers, they will argue that. Yeah, we gonna do 90,000. Okay, so this we can just do a simple math. Um, simple math says that hey, if your average is, you know, it's it's like it's like it's like um it's like a batting average. You in baseball, your batting average is what it is, right? You you know you do decent. You might be batting, you know um, I don't know the numbers in baseball, but whatever that may be, right? You might be batting a pretty decent number. I, I don't know what a decent number would be in baseball because I don't know much about baseball. Um, but you're batting a decent number, but um. You're saying that, yeah, man, what we gonna do, we gonna we gonna start doing the highest number that you can do in baseball when he get the bat. And I'm like, sir, well that's not if you look at his average, he averages about two thirds. He averages two thirds less than what you're saying that you're gonna do. How all of a sudden he's gonna do two thirds better than what he's doing? All of a sudden for nah, that's what we gonna do. Like you that, I mean there's no proof of that. You get what I'm saying? What you say, Christ Street, 300? Okay, so he gonna bat 300. But he but but his batting average is 150. Or his batting average is 100. If his batting average is 100, how the hell he gonna do 300 all of a sudden? Shout out to Miss Parker. What's going on, sis? They be, they be pulling shit out their ass, man. Oh, they got a, oh, they got a Devin, that's a bad Devin BC belt. What my belt at? Shit, everybody, shit, everybody got WBC belt. Shit, I got me one too then. Shit. Everybody got belt. Shit, I got I got one too. You ain't the only one got a belt. They got a WBC belt. I got one too. You get a belt. You get a belt. You get a belt. You get a belt. And guess what? I don't have to pay no sanction if he's for mine. True, true, true. I ain't paying nothing. I don't have to pay no sanction if he's fees for my belt. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> he say, "Damn, Coach, bring that to Houston." I don't have to bring. I don't have to pay no sanction if he's for my belt. I ain't paying Mauricio nothing. Mauricio ain't getting paid nothing. He listen. I'm straight. This straight gank action. He been ganked. He been had. He been bamboozled. He been swindled. He ain't never got to worry about getting no sanction if he for this belt. Who you think he is, DJ Quick? No, huh? No, King Capri. I didn't say huh? Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. You ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. I got a contract between me and you. This say you do what I tell you to do. Therefore, shut the fuck. Don't say that. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. I tell you something. Money. You know, I just say. Blue, if I raise up, gonna be trouble. Trouble. I'm walking off. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What'd you say, Mr. Nice? He say, uh, shout out to Super, Mr. Nice for dropping that $2 Super Chat. He say, Samson going to want you to fight Bud now, Coach. Yeah, shit, I'm in. I'm in, dog, on Bud. Got some shit lined up with the Saudis. Shit. Fuck that. If the motherfuckers in your own country don't, don't like you and don't appreciate you, shit, get that, get that Saudi money. That's what I'm hearing. Again, I don't, you know, again, I don't know nothing. You know, I don't know nothing. That's what I'm hearing, though. I, I mean, I've been heard that, though. I've been heard that. I heard that, I heard that from Bomat, to be honest with you. I just ain't never repeated it, but um, you know, I hear they, I hear they um, they got a good relationship with the Saudis over there. They've been working diligently, talking to those boys over there, and um, we're gonna see what's up. Again, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know nothing's gonna happen, but we're gonna see what's up. Shit, Deontay Wilder getting that Saudi money. What that got to say about Wilder? Wilder was no fool. That's what I told y'all. Y'all saw what Wilder did. Wilder like, man, I'm finna go get this bread over here, man. Finna go fight Joseph Parker for some change, and then um. More than likely, Wilder's next fight is going to be in Saudi Arabia again, you know what I mean, to get on the card over there. So, um, Wilder, I mean, Wilder doing good, bro. I mean, I'm saying from a business standpoint, Shelly Finkel, the, the, that's the WBC International belt. WBC International belt. This right here, this right here, 
This this the whole head. This the WBC whole head cheese belt. This the WBC Nick Sack Promotions belt right here, man. WBC Nick Sack Promotions belt. I put it on the line. You know what I mean? Will defend my title. You know, WBC Nick Sack Promotions belt. Mauricio made this for me. Y'all get what I'm saying? I ain't paying no sanctioning fees. You can believe that. I ain't paying nothing. You know what I mean? Who you think he is? DJ Quick? <laughs> Kid Capri? Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. Mauricio, you ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I get you. I got a contract between me and you that says you do what I tell you to do. Therefore, shut the fuck. Don't say nothing. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. Mauricio, let me tell you something. If I raise up, it going to be trouble. Trouble. And I walk it out. There you go, boy. Round one don't start it, man. We got two minutes and 45 seconds left in this round. Let's see. Y'all fair. Y'all fair. This is the open hand stands fight right here. Nice right hook by Y'all fair. Nice right hook by Y'all fair. Oh, that's a nice, nice left hook. Nice left hook by Y'all fair. You know what I mean? He got his, he got his, internet, he got his WBC international title on the line. Internet. Oh, that's a nice dog on, on right hook. Nice counter right hook by Y'all fair. Got his WBC belt on the line. He defended his belt. I'm defending my belt tonight. My belt is on the line right now, watching this fight. <laughs> my belt is on the line right now, watching this fight. You know, we got the WBC hog head cheese belt. This is the <laughs> WBC hog head cheese belt. Nick Sack Promotions belt. You get what I'm saying? The reputation of Nick Sack Promotions is on the line tonight. You know, you know, y'all see that gold? I got it trimmed out in gold. You know, Mauricio said he gonna put my face on the belt. He gonna put my face on the belt. Y'all know I got the other other three other three major belts too. I'm undisputed on YouTube. <laughs> hey Lisa, I'm undisputed on YouTube. <laughs> I heard the sheep. I heard I heard Prince Turkey Allen sheep. I heard the Prince. I heard I'm not. He ain't no Prince, but I heard Turkey Allen sheep. His Majesty. He they say they want me to come to Saudi Arabia. They got a bag for me. They said I got a bag for me. They want me to come to Saudi Arabia and defend the title. <laughs> he said, we got a bag for you, man. True, <laughs> true, true. Hey, hey I, just, I just reapplied for my passport, Lisa. Think about going over there getting the bag. They say they say the sheep, the sheep looking, <laughs> the sheep looking for the old boy. So, you know, you know, I ain't the one, I ain't the one to turn down no money. You get what I'm saying? The sheep, if he want me to come over there, cool, I'll I do that. I'll do that. I'll do that for the sheep. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 oh, boy, that's a nice straight left hand by dog on y'all face. Nice straight left hand. Y'all face pressing the action a little bit. Pressing the action a little bit. Oh, nice check right hook. No, I mean, not check. No, I mean, counter right hook. My bad. Oh, that's another nice right hook uh, by y'all. I think he heard. Did he hurt him? Oh, that's a nice. Oh, that's a nice dog on. That round over with. Oh, no, it's not over with. 25 seconds left. Oh, straight left hand. I like see now. You see how y'all fakes spin around that weak side? He's going, look, he's circling around the weak side. See, when you fight the southpaw, you have to cut that weak side off. Don't let them circle. Don't let them circle you. Keep it, you know, you keep your you keep your lead foot where it's supposed to be at. So you can shoot your. I'm trying, so you can shoot your straight right. Y'all fake getting a little bit too overly anxious now, but uh, round one over with. Y'all fake won that round. Shout out to Lisa. What's going on, Lisa? Anthony say, uh, what do you say? He say, he say Wilder brought the heavyweight title back to America and defended it ten times. Ain't it wild to hate? I'm starting with casuals. Um, no, Wilder, um, uh, Bermain Stubborn, Bermain Stubborn had that belt before Wilder did. Bermain Stubborn had that belt before Wilder did. So, really, you know, he the one, he the, Bermain Stubborn, I think once uh, Vladimir, what was it, Vitaly, Vitaly Klitschko retired, remains to burn. I think he beat Chris Ariola for the vacant, uh, for the vacant WBC belt. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, he did buckle him with that straight left. Lisa, you're right. He buckled him twice, buckled him three times. That's straight left. And I'm going to tell you why, because of the lead foot control. His lead foot control, his lead foot was on the inside. If that foot on the inside is lining you up for the straight left. Simple as that. He got to understand. Now he got his foot on the outside. That's good. Bobbing and weaving in the pocket, but he got to work behind that jab, though. Gato got to work behind that jab. Yafe landed that left hook again. Left hook again.
He lands that left hook again. Yafe, Yafe look like he has look like he has more power. To be honest with you. Oh, look at the left hook again. That left hook can't miss. Yafe gonna stop this dude. This is a 10 rounder, but the way he keep he eating those left hands, and he's buckling when he get hit with him too. He's buckling when he get hit with the left hand. What's his name? Gato? Gato, Gato got a uh Gato, that's a nice body shot. Yafe, Yafe going Yafe going uh, change the levels on his punches too. Nice left foot by nice, nice left foot by Gato, but he got blocked. Shout out to Robert Digital. He said he rehydrated well. Yes, he did. He did rehydrate well. Wow. There it go right there. Oh, nice, nice uppercut by Dog One Jafe. Right uppercut. Yeah, I think he's gonna stop this dude. He gonna this dude getting hit too much. He getting hit too much, man. Right hook can't miss. Straight left didn't miss. He throwing punches back though. Like it's it just it's just a matter of time now. Yafe, Yafe got this dude figured out. Overly aggressive. He spent and went around the weak side. Uh straight left landing. Right counters landing. He checked him. Nice check. Nice check. Pushing them off. Pushing them off so you can dry, line them up for the straight left hand. See, when you push off the lead guard, when you push off the lead guard, keep the fighter occupied with that lead guard, then you can, you know, you, you can see very clearly and drop that left hand on them. I have you want to do it. A lot of fighters do that. Crawford do that. Um, Tyson Fury does it. Anthony Joshua does it. Um, a new way does it. Larry Holmes used to do it all the time. Ali used to do it all the time. I occupy you with the lead hand, and I, when I see you fighting my lead hand, then I shoot my shoot my shoot my back hand right down the pipe. Yeah, a uh, nice left foot by Dog on Gato, but that's about it. Nice bob and weave. He bobbing and weaving pretty good, He's trying to land a shot, but. Yeah, this, this this is just child's play. This is child's play at this point. Shout out to Skulo. You said, yeah, he not lasting 10 rounds. No, nah, he ain't going to last. And Skulo, he not going to last. True, true, true. Yeah, he not, yeah, not going to last, man. Put my title put my title down right there, man. Put my title down right there. Weedy say God don't like Regis. They're walking in the punches. Yeah, no, no defense. No, no, not really, not really no good defense. They, they very limited as fighters. Very limited as fighters. You get what I'm saying? You know, when you ain't when you ain't got that many tools in your arsenal, when you don't have that many tools, when you don't have that many tools in the toolbox, you get what I'm saying? You kind of like, you know, you don't have that many tools in the toolbox. I'm gonna open up the phone lines, man. We need to get the 200 likes. So we need we need five more likes for before I open up the phone lines. Yeah, when you is he he very limited. He very limited, dog. So this is look at that caught him with the left hook again. Like he just play, he like a mouse, he like a cat playing with a mouse right now. He playing with his food. And look at look how wide uh, Gato's legs is. You see how wide his legs is? His legs too wide. His legs too wide, and that's why he getting moved so easily when he get hit with shots. Legs too wide. That back legs too wide. Bobbing and weaving, going on the inside. That's good. No, he got caught with a right uppercut just then. That right uppercut just hit. Nice straight right. Nice straight right by Gatto. Body shot by uh, Yafe. Spinning around. One thing I will say, Doggo Gatto, 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 he pressing the action now. He coming forward. I give him that. He pressing the action, but got hit with a right hook right on the temple. Got hit with the right hook on the temple just then. Straight left. Oh, nice straight right hand by God on Gato. Nice, nice straight left by Gato. Light, nice left hook by Gato. Okay. All right, cool. Gato trying to, he trying to. Yafe look a lot bigger than him, though. I wonder how much, I wonder how much Yafe re rehydrated to. 
he looks a lot bigger. God don't look, God don't look smaller than a um, nice body shot, uppercut, right hook by dog on y'all face. Boy, he putting them punches together real good now. Boy, that's a nice, that was like, like a nice, oh, not, oh, nice uppercut, right hook by y'all face. Man. Boy. He putting them punches together pretty good. Yeah. Check right hook, straight left, left to the body. Yeah, he doing pretty much what he want to do. Shout out to Miss Connie. Shout out to your boy Mambo, Robbie Digital. Shout out to Dex. Uh, shout out to Multiverse. Mr. Nice Salute fam. He said, Coach, the IBF going to strip you. Set up undisputed versus Minotaur McCombs. <laughs> hey, man. Anybody worry about no goddamn? Anybody worry about no IBF? Hey, shout out to everybody who watching on Twitter, man. We got uh, we have 236 people, 246 people watching on YouTube between two channels, and we have 169 people watching on Twitter. Yeah, man. Your butt ain't gonna last long, man. He ain't lasting ten rounds. This just round three. Now, dog, on God, on God, on um, moving backwards. Yeah, he ain't gonna last long. He ain't gonna last long, dog. This, this, this like shooting fish in a barrel. This like shooting fish in a barrel. Y'all, oh, that's a nice check left hook by dog on um, God on. Yeah, it's a, this, yeah. This, hey, this here. Yeah, he ain't gonna last long, fam. I can tell you that right now. This ain't. This, this ain't. Yeah, this ain't going ten. Phone line, hold on, man. Phone lines open. Let me open up the phone lines, shit. Phone lines open, man. Let me hold on, let me, hold on, hold on. Let me open up the phone lines, man. Anybody want to call this shit? You want to talk some shit? Call me. Start some shit, bitch. Sup, fool? You gonna talk shit about me, homie? Where you from? Hundreds of niggas is waiting for your motherfucking call, and they all talking shit about you right now. Call the coach at 530-494-9636. We waiting on your bitch ass. Yeah, this man, listen, man, from uh, Yafe, Yafe just playing with his food at this point. Literally, he has, so they, they, like, they in like a little small arena, not arena, but uh, like a hotel or something. Small events. What thing I will say, you know, these, you know, these, uh, they putting on a lot of events. Uh, the zone put on a lot of boxing events. I will say that. Between going to boy match room, like, it's like they 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 promote more fights in America than um than Booger Ray Leonard. Nice nice overhand right by dog on got him. Like bro, like every time I turn around, there's a fight on the zone that's, that that we watching on on the zone. Whether it's um, um uh, Eddie Hearn, whether it's you know Eddie Hearn doing fights all over the world. Booger Ray, Booger Ray never got a Booger Ray got to tighten up, man. He got to tighten up, bro, cause, like for real, you got to have more more than one bullet in that thirty eight, and you got to promote fights all over the world, like other like real promoters, you know. You can't be you can't be throwing fights once a year, two times a year, you know. And your competition, oh Lord, he caught him in that straight left just then. He hurt him. Yafei got him hurt. He got him in that corner. Pushing him off the mark, go to the body. Nice body shot. Yafei working him. Dancing, moving around him. Yeah, they're going to stop this fight. I think the referee going to stop this fight. They're going to stop this fight. Ref, the ref looking to stop it. They're going to stop this fight. He looking real close. Oh, nice right hook. Nice straight left by Yafei. He getting spent around. This dude gets a nice body shot by dog on Agato, but he getting spent around the turn. He getting turned, pushed back every which way but loose. He look real small against Yafe. Look like a small dude. He got hit with a straight right and a straight left. This man getting picked apart, man. This man getting picked apart. Wow. Wow. Nice jab. Nice right hook. Got him on the got him on nice right hook by dog going on Gato. 
Nice right hook again. You know what? I don't. This is the fourth round. I, I don't. I don't see this fight going ten. There's no way this fight goes ten. No way. No way this fight goes ten rounds. One thing I will say, Gatto, Gatto, he's a, he's, a, he's a tough guy now. He tough. I give him that. He damn so tough. Oh, he got hit that straight left just then. Oh, he got hit that straight left. Keeping his head right there. He tough. I give him that. Now the doctor, now y'all see the referee? The referee went, went to his corner. The referee went to his corner. He like, hey, man, look, man, you got to show me something. The ref telling him, you got to show me something now. You got to show me something. Show me something, fam. If you don't show me something, I'm going to stop it. I told y'all, like, I told y'all the way that ref was looking at him. He like, man, we think about stopping this shit here, man. Yeah. Yeah, I already know. Shout out to Keith Bulldogs. What's going on, fam? Yeah. 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 Hit with a straight left. We he got missed looking at a straight right, right, right cross. No um jab. No, it was a jab, uh, right cross. Jab left cross. Y'all look at y'all face sitting there smiling. He got a smile on his face. See next who wins the next matchup. I don't even know who what the next matchup is. Yeah. And he say, man, he say, man, you got to show me something now. If you don't show me something, I'm going to start the fight. If you don't show me something, I'm going to start the fight now. He going to get stopped this round. He going to get stopped this round. I see that. He coming forward, though. He coming forward. I give him that. Straight left. He getting turned. He getting turned. He getting turned around the weak side, too. He getting turned around the weak side. Nice one two by Yafe. Nice one two by Yafe. Nice left cross. Oh, nice two piece by Yafe. Nice body shot, spinning them, turning them, hitting them, making them look for them. Jab on a nice little left uppercut, spin them again, push them down. Man, why Yafe look so much bigger than this dude? Why does y'all y'all see how small this dude got uh, got those look in comparison to y'all face? Bobbing and weaving pretty good. Bobbing and weaving. Y'all face push it down on him. That's an old school trick. Put put your weight on him. Push down on. Oh, that's a nice right hook by Dog on Gato. Nice right hook by Gato. He caught y'all face clean. He caught him clean. Turned his head. He caught him clean. Now he fighting. He thought he, he uh, y'all face pushing him off with the forearms. No push off the forearms. Okay. Shout out to Keith Bulldog. Salute, fam. If y'all fake put together some good, some good um, combinations on um, Miss Parker, the ref will stop the fight. Because he want to stop it. Because it's obvious that this guy's not going to win. You get what I'm saying? Nice left hook. Y'all fake pushing off. Y'all fake, you got to stop. You pushing the man off. Stop pushing the man. You can't be pushing him with your forearm. He pushing that dude so easy, though. Look how small that guy looked, though, man. Did this guy move up in weight or something? Why he look so small? This dude look small, bro. Like, for real, though. He look real small. He's getting pushed around too easy. Yeah, man. Nice. And he fighting, though. He fighting. Nice body shot. Bobbing and weaving. He bobbing and weaving. I give him that. He The bobbing and weaving is helping him, though. He bobbing and weaving. Got caught with the right hook just then. But he bobbing. He ducked the left, he ducked the left hook. Bobbing and weaving. But I want to see him bob. I want to see him bob. And shoot that straight right hand down. Shoot that on straight right, straight right down the pipe. Bob to the left and shoot that straight right hand. You got caught with a straight left just then. And the guy caught with a jab. Look at that. 
He got caught with a left hook, but he's he swinging. He landed a left hook on his own, landed two left hooks on Dog on Yafe. He fighting though, bro. He fighting, fam. I give him that. True, true, true. He, he ain't laying down. Uh, shout out to Keith Bulldog. Hey, okay. Dropping that. Bam, dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over, boy. Boy. Oh, uh, there go my main man, Raymond Ford. There go Raymond. There go Raymond. Salute, fam. What you say, fam? You say, stop the fight. This boy's getting killed. <laughs> He's getting killed. He's murdering you, Rocky. Rocky, he's murdering you. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. He's murdering you, Rocky. No, what you doing, Mickey? No, don't stop the fight, don't stop the fight. Rock out! He's landed 150 punches to your one. Yeah, you, 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 and you eight, you ate 150 punches. Rock out! I'm gonna have to start the fight. No, don't stop it. I got a well water man. I'm telling you, he's, he's getting tired. He's getting tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I already know, fam. Round six. I'm surprised he made it out of round five. I'm surprised he made it out of round five, to be honest with you. But he showed some grit. He showed some grit that round, though. He did that. He showed some grit that round. Yeah, man, he showed some grit that round. I ain't gonna lie. Round five was his best round. Missed the left hook. Then he came back that right. He, oh, he, he buckled. Look like he buckled dog on uh, Raymond a little bit with that, with that overhand right, too. And he covered another right hand. Okay. Raymond gonna have to settle down. Buddy say, Buddy say, I ain't trying to get stopped, fam. Oh, nice straight left hand by dog on Yafe. Left foot to the body by Gato. Nice left foot to the body. You got to stop pushing. The... They got to take a point from him. Take a point from him. Take a point from him. He keep pushing. Oh, that was a headbutt? Yeah, y'all fed. You're going to keep pushing. You gotta, they got to take a point from him. You don't want them already. Nice, nice, nice right hook by Gato. Nice right hook by Gato. Nice right hook by Dog on y'all fed. He got cut. Y'all fed got cut. Oh, that was a headbutt. He got, oh, listen, y'all fake and counter him. He pushed again. Pushed again. He pushed again. He pushed again, Ralph. Ralph, he keep pushing. Y'all fake keep pushing the man with his forearms and stuff. Oh, that's a nice two-piece. Nice two-piece by y'all fake. Nice two-piece. Lord have mercy. Yeah, y'all fake um, got his head. He, he, that, was an, that was an incident on the head, but why he got a cut? He got a cut on his left eye. Incident on the head, but. Nice straight left hand by y'all fake. Cut the ring. You see how he cut that ring off? How he met him to the spot? He didn't let him escape. He go, he cut, he beat him right to the spot. Nice two piece, man. Yafe, nice, nice right hook by Dog on Gato. Uh, Yafe. Oh, not, ooh, that's a nice two piece by Gato. He caught Yafe, he caught Yafe right down the pipe. But listen, this dude fighting, man. I give, listen, I give Gato this. He fighting now. He ain't laying down. He ain't laying down at all. He like you got to kill me in this ring tonight, boy. Nice right hand again, looping right hand by Gato. Yo, Gato, Gato, ever since they told, listen, ever since they told him, yo, Gato, um, Bob and the Weaving pretty good. Ever since they told him that, um, that, um, they were going to stop that fight. Every time, ever since they told him they were going to stop the fight. Shit, hey, hey, he been scrapping ever since. Hey, nay, ever since the ref told him we we're going to stop the fight, he been scrapping. He been scrapping ever since, ever since they told him that. Shout out to and shout out to the lovely goddess as well. The goddess, shout out to the goddess. Ever since they told him that he they gonna start that fight, he been scrapping. But he looks so small, fam. He looks so small in comparison to um uh, Yafe. Now 
This a boy God, old boy. This round eight. This round eight. Round seven. This round seven. Nice looping right hook by dog on uh, Yafe. They hooking together. Two minutes and forty seconds left in this round. Two forty. Oh, nice uppercut by dog on Gatto. Nice straight right by Gatto. Gatto fighting a little bit better, to be honest with you. I can't even front, fam. It's like now. Nice straight left hand by dog on, on Yafe. Nice. Oh, nice straight right. Both men. Oh, oh nice double right hook by dog on Yafe. Yafe, okay. Yafe, Yafe pushing him off like he trying to get in there and get tied up. Yafe like, nah, get off me. No, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to tie up. Get off me. Nice uppercut under the armpit, by Gatto. Yafe like, no, nah, I don't want to tie up. Get off me. Ain't no tying up. Stay on the end of this fist. I'm trying to keep you on the edge of this fist right here. That's what I'm trying to do. Got him in the corner now. Got him in the corner. What you gonna do? Got him in the corner. You gotta watch out for. Oh, nice straight right hand. Oh, nice left foot by Yafe. Nice left foot by Dog on Gatto. Both on trade along um, left hooks. Man. Okay. Both men trading hooks. I will say this. Yafe has a lot more balance on his legs than Dog on Gatto. Gatto's getting pushed around too much. He looks a lot smaller, to be fair. He looks a lot smaller. Look like, um, look like Yafe might be, might have rehydrated a whole lot. I'm wondering, I'm wondering what Yafe is weighing right now. He looks a lot bigger than Cotto. Nice left foot to the body by, by, um, by, Cotto, by Cotto. Left foot to the body. He bobbing and weaving in the pocket. He bobbing and weaving, making himself elusive in the pocket while landing his straight right hand himself. 50 seconds left in the round seven. Oh, I like the way he slipped that, getting his head off the line, giving him angles. That straight right hand going to be there to hit that cut on that eye. Yafe, Yafe bleeding pretty bad. Nice jab. But Yafe still pressing the action. Remember, he got remember he got cut from a headbutt. That didn't come from a punch. That come from a headbutt. Oh, nice right hand again on that cut. Nice right hand again on that cut. Gato, now Gato doing the right thing. Keep targeting that cut on that eye. He doing the right thing. Nice jab by Yafe. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this dude tough, man. This dude tough. Straight right hand again. Straight right hand again. Because, see, he knows Yafe having trouble looking to seeing out of that eye. He having trouble seeing out of that eye. Hey, what you say, Adrian? You say Yafe look like he weighs a good 140. Yeah, I would think, yeah, you're right about that. At least a good 140. At least. At least a good 140. Oh, that's a nice, but that's a nice building. But I ain't going to sit here lie to you, boy. I love Las Vegas, fam. Man, Las Vegas, bro, let me tell you something. Man, I, bro, Vegas is nice, fam. Like, Vegas is nice. Like, I, Man, I had so much fun when I was in Vegas, bro. When I was in Vegas, when I was in Vegas out there, uh, hell, when I got the, listen, when I shot, when I dropped that video of me and Bill Haney, and Bill said and made the announcement, he made the official announcement via video that the Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney fight was signed, sealed, and delivered. It was going to happen. He made that on my. He made that to me. I was the first person he did that with, and I dropped that video right. I dropped that video right there. I was edit. I edited the video and I dropped it. That's that's when he. That's when he said, "Y'all said it wouldn't happen, you monkeys," and everybody was mad at Bill. Because he was calling the Tank Davis fans monkeys. That's, that's what he was saying. Nice double jab by uh, Nice. Oh, listen. Yafe keep pushing off with that forearm. Nice right hook by Yafe. Nice straight right. He dropped him. Oh, no. Nah, he went down on the ground. This dude tough, man. This dude tough. Oh, that's a nice left foot by, um, by, by Kato. Nice left hook again by Kato. Left foot to the body. And left hook to the head, but he got caught with a two piece by Yafe. Yafe caught him with a two piece. He getting his head off the line. He getting his head off the line and coming up with that left hook. 
Oh, nice combo. Nice combo by Yafe. Oh, not, not, that was a low blow, I think. I think that was a low blow. Yafe trying to control and keep him right there. Yafe hitting him, but this dude tough, bro. This round eight, I thought it would have got stopped in five. I see Eddie Hearn out there, Eddie the Hitman Hearn out there. Y'all see Eddie the Hitman out there? Body shot, uppercut by Yafe. The eye not bleeding as much. He didn't get hit in it this time so far. Nice left uppercut by uh, right left uppercut, double right hook by dog on um, Yafe. You know, you you know, you know what's helping? What's helping uh, Gatto as well? He bob, he bobbing and weaving. This round right here, he ain't doing nothing this round. Gatto ain't doing nothing this round. He just getting hit, slipping punches. He not getting hit with everything, but he getting hit, slipping punches. Got caught with a double right hook just now. Another right hook again. Threw an overhand left hit, hit that eye. Hit, uh, hit, hit, hit. Oh, nice, nice left hook again. He caught, he caught Gatto with a left hook. And then Gatto caught, um, caught Yafe with a left hook. A nice one too. He he lands in them hooks now. Yafe eating it though. He lands in the right hook and the left hook clean. Yafe trying to. Oh, nice left, nice left uppercut. Nice left uppercut. Two piece. Dog, oh, nice two piece again. Nice two piece again. Referee finna stop it. Nice two piece again. Referee stopped it. Referee stopped it. Yeah, because he wasn't responding back. He was trying to get away. Referee stopped it. Let's give both men a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, he tired. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we knew that was going to happen. He, la he lasted three rounds. He lasted three rounds more than what I thought he was going to last. I let, he lasted, shout out to Miss Connie. He lasted three rounds more than I thought it was going to last. Yeah, man. G5 say slightly premature stoppage. Nah, nah, I disagree with that. I disagree. That wasn't a slightly premature stoppage. He should have stopped it. The man got hit with six unanswered points, punches. He got hit with a two-piece twice. He got hit with a two-piece again. Then when he got hit with a two-piece again while moving backwards with his hands down, the ref and the referee already had done warned him. He said, look, you got to show me something or I'm going to stop it. So he told him he got to show him something. So that's when he was fighting real hard in the fifth round, sixth round, seventh round. Seventh round, he didn't do nothing. Remember the last round, the round before the stoppage, he didn't do anything. So... No, I wasn't premature. Ref, the ref did the right thing. Shit. Did the right thing. Shit, I'm feeling mad. Shit, got these cones. I got these cones over here, man. Got some of these cones over here. Got these cones over here. You know what I'm saying? And I got some papers as well. What I'm probably gonna do is, uh, let me see what I'm gonna do. Shit. Man, I got a homeboy. This motherfucker roll weed like a cigarette, bro. That shit be evenly, symmetrically put together. Like, damn, bro, how you, how you, he, like, he's a professional roller. That motherfucker, man, professional, that motherfucker roll weed, a professional roller, man. Phone lines open, man. Y'all want to call the show, y'all call professional roller, bro. Like, that shit right there is. I talk to my dog, you know, I like talking about weed. That shit had me happy. I like, I like talking about weed shit. Weed and money. We the motherfucking money. That's it. You ain't talking about getting no money, man. I ain't shit. He said, he said, been telling you about the cones, coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You got, you're right. I got the long ones too. You ain't talking about no motherfucking money, boy. Shit. I can't do nothing, but I, but I can't do nothing, bro. I can't do nothing, bro. If you can't take care of no woman, bro. You can't pay no bills, bro. None of that shit. You be taking, you be taking your girl to McDonald's. Yeah, baby. I'm finna, I'm finna take you to my favorite restaurant. Where we going? Where we going? McDonald's. Baby. Baby, you know what? You can order whatever you want to order. Whatever. It don't matter. You can order whatever you want to order, baby. I got you. True, true, true. Girl. 
He took me to me. Hey, you know, all jokes aside, right? Check it out. Back in my day, right, when I was a teenager, McDonald's was the spot. Like, you would take your girl to McDonald's. Back in my day, you could take your girl to McDonald's. This, this 88, this 88, 89, McDonald's was the spot. And um, if, you met, if you met a chick, if you met a chick that was from the streets, the restaurant used to be Red Lobster. Back in the day, we talking about Red Lobster was that restaurant. Now, if, like Red Lobster was like a five-star restaurant to the hood. If you take a girl to Red Lobster, girl, we went to Red Lobster. For real? Y'all, y'all, y'all went to Red Lobster? Yeah, girl, we went to Red Lobster. Like Red Lobster, if you took a chick to Red Lobster back back then, boy, like that was the five-star restaurant. Even though Red Lobster not a five-star restaurant. But you get what I'm saying though. Like if you took a chick to Red Lobster, boy, shit. We we talking about we talking about even we talking about the 90s. We talking about not only the 80s, but the 90s. I'm talking about shit. All throughout the oh listen. Red Lobster was that spot, bro. You take a chick to Red Lobster, boy, boy, you were doing something. I had a chick, I had a chick named Candy. This is a true story. Candy, I don't know her real name. I think her real name was Lisa. But um, Candy, I was crazy about this chick too. I ain't gonna say a lie to you, dog. This was the one chick. This is the one chick that I can probably say. Every time I saw her, right, cause she, you no, know, she, 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 she was, I, you know, I tricked one time, and I think the time I tricked was with Candy, cause Candy was finer than a mug, bro. I was nineteen, I was nineteen years old, dog. I was nineteen years old, and uh, I met her, put my game down, but every time I saw her, she was like, uh, you know, a bill had to be paid, like you got to pay my light bill or. I need money for my light bill. I need money for this or that or whatever the case may be. And um, we used to hook up. We used to hook up like probably. And this is the thing, right? Because I'm, I'm real tight with money. I've, I've always been tight. Like I've always been tight with money. Always, right? So I was like, I, I start, you know, like I like my money so much. I'm like, man, I ain't with all this bill shit, man. Fuck that shit, man. She gonna fuck with a nigga. She gonna fuck with a nigga, man. I ain't with all this bill shit. But, um, but, um. Yeah, I think me and Candy, me and Candy had no deal or something. I had took her to Red Lobster, bro. I took her to, when I first met her, when I first met her, right, I was, I was a chicken hawk back then. But back then, nigga, I used to, I used to be putting my game. I mean, I, mean, I had some of the girls back then. I, you know, um, um, I had took her to Red, like she said, I want to go out to eat when I met her, right? So I went, we went out on a date. She said she wanted to go to Red Lobster. Man, she bought, she bought the most expensive thing on the menu, bro. I had the money. You know, the money wasn't no issue. I had the money. This this like this like 1990. What year this was? This 1993. Was it 93? No, it was 94. 19 was it 93? R. Kelly came out with 12 play. What year that was? R. Kelly came out with 12 play. That was 93. Man, Candy, man, Candy was 94 though. Candy was 94. Yeah, man, I had no bought. A, I mean, she had no bought a lobster and. All oh, this old crazy, she, you know, she buying all this, all this. I said, okay, I see what she trying to do. She trying to, she trying to get the butter from the duck, okay. And she was a slim chick, too. I'm like, how you going to eat all that food as slim as you is? She, hey, she was slim. She was a slim chick. How you going to eat all that food as slim as you is? Oh, you just, you know, you can bring, bring, bring me a doggy bag. She brought stuff back home and you get what I'm saying? You know, and then she, uh, she, you know. She was like, yeah, you know, if you want to get this, if you want to get this, you know, I'm, I need I need some money for my bills because I ain't let nobody hit this for nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, my light bill, my light bill, $200. I said, $200? What you, what, how, how, how your light bill, $200? I'm behind. <laughs> Man, I'm dead serious, dog. I'm dead serious, dog. Like, yeah, $200, bro. I gave her $200. I gave her 200 for the light bill. And then um, next time we hooked up, it was, it was, next time we hooked up, it was cool. It was Gucci. Then we hooked up again. She went to Holland about, she went to Holland about her, she went to Holland about her car insurance. My car insurance need to be, it was always, it was always bills. He said coach was on whip. No, no, I wasn't, I wasn't whip with her. I wasn't with her. No, not 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 Candy. 
I was with I was with with my baby mama um with my baby mama. I was with with my baby my, my baby mama um my baby mama Reva. I was with with Reva. I ain't gonna lie. With Reva had me, boy. God damn, boy. She had me, dog. Reva had me. I, I was with with her, but I wasn't with with Candy. No, Candy was just fine. I just she was just fine. I just wanted to, I just wanted to hit her. You know what I mean? She was fine. I just wanted to hit. Her. I ain't gonna lie. I'm dead ass serious on that. That was that was the only time I tricked. I didn't feel good. Like damn, I don't like I don't like that feeling. I'm getting this motherfucker money and shit. I ain't never gave I ain't never gave a motherfucker no motherfucker money. The hit shit. I ain't you know. Man, I, that shit ain't that shit ain't feel good. That shit bother my spirit. I ain't do that shit no more. I mean, I get it though. I do get it. I do get it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But I'm saying at that time, at that time, I was on some. I was on some player shit back then, you know. I just thought that. I just thought that, you know, I felt like a, I felt like a, I felt like a, a, a sucker. You get what I'm saying? She was honest though. She was honest. I ain't gonna lie. Candle was honest. Like, yeah, I need my motherfucker. I said, I need my motherfucker light bill paid. Shit, nigga, I need light bill paid. The car insurance. Shit, you know what I mean? Like, like, you know, what's up? <laughs> she was like, she was like, what's up? <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, shout out to Miss Parker. She said, you tell them the truth. Red Lobster was was five star restaurant. Yeah, Red Lobster. Red Lobster was the restaurant back then. Yeah, Red Lobster was the restaurant back then, boy. You can believe that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do this one. That's two. I ain't gonna do that one now. Shout out to SP. She said commitment. I understand. Nah, bro. Listen, I, I can't speak for all Capricorns. This Capricorn used to be tight with money. Tight, boy. I don't like shit, nigga. I don't give a fuck how much I'm making. I ain't trying to shit. So the motherfucker, I mean, for the money, that's a money, that's a turn off. I, I, I automatically leave. So they have some money, I, just, I, I, I automatically leave. Candy, Candy was the only one. Candy was the only one that, that you know, she was bad. I ain't gonna lie, she was bad though, dog. She was bad. Damn, boy, she was bad. Candy was fine enough. She was slim, but she was fine enough. Um, anyway, she ain't had no personality though, so I know that shit ain't gonna work, man. That shit, I that shit ain't gonna work. You know, I got what I wanted. She got what she wanted. Everything was cool. Um, man, what my, what my rest of them? Oh, okay, put it right here. Shout out to um, uh, shout out to uh, SP. He said I got a story just like yours. Uh, two of them actually. <laughs> hey, shout out to uh, Mr. Nice. He said Candy had you like old girl on lottery ticket movie. Yeah, we. Ain't, I mean, it ain't last long. Like shit, we ain't last long. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know the crazy part about it? My cousin ended up getting her pregnant. I think she got a baby from my cousin. Yeah, my cousin ended up getting with her. Like, it was a couple of girls I was with. My cousin ended up getting with them afterwards. I'm like, man, how the hell this nigga keep getting with chicks that I, that I was with first? And, um, yeah, he come through. He the type of dude, he come through and pay all the bills. And he come through, pay all the bills and all that stuff. That my cousin would get money, so... Now he he what I do. He gonna pay all the bills and you know. You know, he made plenty of money. You know, and uh that's what my cuz gonna do. Shout out the dog on Miss Parker. She said, yes, I thought I thought I was the I thought I was the cat's meow back then. You had better uh took me to Red Lobster. Or the dra or, or the red dragon. <laughs> yeah, the red dragon. Hey, 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 I forgot all about the red dragon. You're right though. Shout out to Summer in November. Summer in November, what's going on, sis? Yeah, back in the day, boy. Nigga, back in the day, boy. Shit. Hey. <laughs> I be sitting this time. Yeah, nigga, back in the day. <laughs> hey, I like them. Hey, 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 um, hey, uh, summer no, hey, hey, summer. It ain't nothing like a good back in the day story. Nothing like a good back in the day story. Yeah, you know, you know now. Back in the day, now. <laughs> back in the day, when I used to, <laughs> what is that? You say, coach, we bring home food home to the family. Man, this girl brought. Man, this girl brought. Man, man, she ordered like two hundred dollars. She, hey, she ordered like two hundred dollars worth of stuff. I'm like, man, how the hell you order two hundred dollars worth of stuff? She was, she was like a hundred and, 
She probably was 100 and 125, 30 pounds because she was small up top, but she was thick from the waist down. Slim, slim chick now, but um, had a mean, she had a mean walk too. That's what it was. It was the walk. I was like, man, damn, boy, I don't, I don't want a trick, but damn. You get what I'm saying? I was like, damn, dog. You get what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't up giving in, dog. Like, shit. <sighs> all right, man. Fuck. <laughs> all right, man. All right. All right, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, shout out to uh, Stephen X. He said, what if you did have the money? Hey, man, I don't, I don't know, man. I, you know, that's a good question. If I, if I didn't have the money, I wasn't going to get none. She was dead serious about that. She said, yeah, you, you come over here. You come over, you come over here, but, you know, you're going to have to pay something. You're going to have to pay some bill, shit. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? So, and, I, and um, I understood that because she, she, she had a daughter. I think she had a daughter. She had a daughter, if I'm not mistaken. Did she have a daughter? Yeah, she had a daughter, now that I think about it. Um, Carla, what's the name of the Carla from? Man, you already know. It's D-Block, D-Town, D-C, D-Ville, Baltimore. Hey! D-Block, talk to me. Coach, chilling right here in the backyard. Dallas, Texas is so beautiful. We can look at the moon, Coach. We can yeah. look at the moon. I'm telling you, my brother. I see Roly up there. I see Roly. He's a star. Coach, this is a great fight. What do you think? Hello, some in November say Coach still miss Candy. No, 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 no. I don't miss Candy. I don't miss Candy. I was just no, I was just reminiscing. <laughs> hey, Summer. No, I don't miss her. I was just reminiscing. That's all. Reminiscing, you know. You know how you reminisce. Go back in time in your mind, you know. Uh what you what you said, what you said about a star, who's a star? Rolling. He's a star, coach. You know, you can actually make that into a uh coach, you can actually make that into a, like a little segment and stuff. You know, let's talk about Roly. He's a star. Coach, Hitchens going to win tonight. Oh, he's going to look good, my brother. I, I think he's going to knock him out. What you got to say with that? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I got him winning, but um, we'll see how we'll see how coach, it play out. But, Coach, there's a lot of heat behind Hitchens now, you know, because they say that he does my tears. Uh, I'm well, this fight, this fight is supposed to, to be yeah. – this fight is supposed to be for whoever win this fight – it's supposed to be like in position to fight Matias next, so I think I think you can say that like Matias is beatable. Like you can beat the guy if you're a good boxer, you can beat him. Just don't get yeah. into just yeah, don't get into those 50-50 exchanges. You got to have good footwork, know how to control the distance and range. You know, it's a style out there to beat 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 him. You know, coach. So. Let, let me let me talk to you about a little bit. I, I know we got I ain't got that much time left. Uh, coach, what do you think about De Los Santos and Matias? Do you think they bring that same power, knowing that uh, De Los Santos knocked out Villanueva? Like, I think it was Villanueva, right? He knocked him out like that. Yeah, um, well, he De Los Santos. He, he, he had 135, though. He had to move up to 140. Yeah. yeah. But 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 what I'm saying, the comparisons are, De Los Santos, is a, you know, he, he got knockout power. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's been hurt, too, like Matias. I think Matias has been hurt a couple of times in his yeah, career. Uh, do you think the comparisons there, Coach, even though they're off one division, do you think it could be like, you could put them both in, in the same stylistically. Same yeah, yeah. Stylistically, yeah. That's a good matchup, D Block. Stylistically. See what I mean, Coach? Yeah. I can't wait for Houston, my brother. When you come down here to Houston, I promise you, I'm driving down there. Got to wear my vest, of course, and I'm coming with it, Coach. <laughs> exactly. I'm telling you. Man. And you got to tell me where you're going to be sitting at, Coach. I mean, we're going to meet up before the fight, of course. Man, ain't nobody and, 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 you know, I, I want to tell the community this. Shit too far. I want to <laughs> tell the community this, Coach. Because D Block is high on Reggie. The uh, community, I want to tell y'all something. I appreciate y'all. And remember, D Block is selling moon shirts. D Block, D Town, D C, D B. Shout out D Block, man. God damn, D Block. Shit. We talking about weed and candy, and you talking about Reggie in the moon. Well, you know, you know what? I ain't gonna say a lot to him. When you when you smoke, when you do smoke, the moon, the moon do look different. Sean McCall, Sean. Sean is in here. When you smoke, I got some cones rolled up. I'm finna roll up some papers. You get what I'm saying? Shit, I got some motherfucking. I got some, I got this. I got this shit over here. Shit. Ain't hey, what it say? He's not a shining star, D Block. Yeah, hey, shit. I need I need y'all to see what I'm working with though. Let, let, hold on. Let me let y'all let me let y'all see what I'm working with. Y'all see that? Let me see. 
Yes, I need you to. I need you to see what I'm, I need you to see what I'm working with right that there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I got see this shit. This shit green. This shit green and purple. Green and purple. I have that purple, purple, purple. This shit green and purple. That's what it is. As a matter of fact, hold on. What cuzzle? I got cuzzle in here. Do I have cuzzo? See, y'all don't know what cuzzo is. Cuzzo is the stuff that I got from a cousin. That's what cuzzo is. Cuzzo is what I got from a cousin. Cuzzo got some. Lord have mercy. Cuzzo got that. Ooh, wee. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure some of y'all in the chat, some of y'all in the chat done went through that. I know, I know y'all have, yeah, listen, man, it's some, man, shit. It's, it's, some, it's some women out there, bro, like, they don't even play, bro. You get what I'm saying? Because they don't want no average-ass type dude, you know? They know, like, look, no, nah, man, I'm the type of chick. I need somebody who bringing something to the table I can get something out of. Or, you know, shit, I ain't fucking with no broke nigga. I, I ain't, I ain't, if a woman don't want to fuck with no broke nigga, I ain't mad at her. She ain't wrong for that, now. Don't need it. Oh, Pacheco coming to the ring. I, I get it. I definitely understand that. She ain't wrong. Shit. You don't, you don't want to be fucking with no old man man ass nigga anyway. No man man ass nigga drinking up all the Kool Aid ass nigga, or uh, eating all the cheering cereal ass nigga, smoking Reggie, playing PS Five ass nigga. You don't want to be. You a chick. You don't want to be fucking with no motherfucking dude like that. No goddamn the motherfucking loser. And then they mad because you don't want to get with they loser ass. Like nah, you know. Woman got standing. He's like, nah, I ain't nigga, I ain't fucking with you, nigga. Oh, Calvin Klein ass nigga. Calvin Klein ass nigga wanna holler. Man, you don't get your motherfucking um, I'm still driving a bro ham ass out my motherfucking face. Shout out the dog on uh, shout out the dog on uh, uh shout out to what you say, uh Drizzle Roo. You say I don't wanna be with a loser chick either. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you don't wanna be with no loser chick. I totally agree with that. Hey. Hey, um, hey, Drizzle, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you on that, fam. You don't want to be with no loser chick. I'm the type of dude like this here. Yeah, you know what? She said, I don't want to be with nobody ain't got no money. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. I learned I learned a lot from women. I, I feel the same way. Like, I, shit, I got a lot of my game from women, to be fair. I feel the same way they feel. Yeah, I ain't fucking with no nigga ain't got no money. I feel you. Cause I, I, ain't, I ain't fucking with no chicken ain't got no money. You get what I'm saying? That shit just, I, I listen, I was, I, was, I was 16 years old, right? I used to date this chick named Sheila. I ain't going to tell you her last name. I used to date this chick named Sheila. She was 25, I was 16. And she taught me so much about women. This back in 1990, back in 1990. She was like, yeah, man, you know. She taught me a whole lot, man. She was very, very classy chick, dark-skinned chick. Very classy, fine as all out those. But she was just, you know, very polite, very gentle. She just put me up on a whole lot of game and shit. She used to tell me that. She say, look, I'm, I'm a sophisticated woman type woman, lady. Um, you're here with me because I want you to be here with me. If I didn't want you, you wouldn't be here. She told me that, right? Um, we ain't going ain't gonna to be no relationship, none of that. There. This is what it's going to be. You're here because I, I want to deal with you. I was just happy. I was just a happy guy. Damn, she 25, my nigga. God damn, boy, Lord. Fine as all that, though. Yeah, man, like, man, she was bad as a motherfucker. But she told me, she was like, yeah, man, um, as a man, you got to have standards. You just can't be hitting on anything, neither. You know, I'm the type of woman I have standards. You know, if you, if I ain't going to fuck with nobody who broke, and you, you know, you know, you 16, I fuck with you. But as a man, you got to have those same standards. You can't be fucking with no broke, dusty foot ass, any chick running the mill chick out there. Cause if you, so when you meet a classy chick, she gonna be looking at you crazy. Damn, that's the type of women you fuck with. You get what I'm saying? So she was telling me that. She was telling me that back in the day. She was telling me that back in the day. We talking about shit. That was what. Thirty. Shit, that was thirty. That was thirty four. Thirty four years ago. Yeah, that was thirty four years ago. She was telling me that. Stephen X say, cherish your seeds, brother. Don't mess with just any type of girl. Yeah, man. It's 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 some real it's some real sisters out there, boy. They 
they uh you know they they them there's some real sisters out there they be on their business i think i think you know i think uh some of the some of the guys and probably some of the some of the women as well they be you know because you, you know you attract you know you you are what you attract you know what i mean so some of the, some women they be going out and they be these dusties, these dust. What they call them, dusties? These the girl, it was a dusty trying to talk to me that day. A dusty. <laughs> what them sisters? Them sisters for the divestment movement. Uh, are you dusty? <laughs> girl, I saw dust flying everywhere. As soon as he walked up, I saw the dust. I knew he was a dusty. <laughs> for the divestment movement, for the motherfucker boy. I I fuck with the women. The women from the divestment movement had me laugh. I, I, I ain't gonna lie there. Pacheco fight don't start it, so we gonna see what's up. Pacheco just had a fight. What did I say about Pacheco? He's staying busy now. Pacheco staying busy. Miss <laughs> Carter say dust ass. <laughs> ain't gonna lie, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. Listen, the women from the divestment movement, bro. Lord have mercy, they is savage. All right, guys, round one is here. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in this round. Both men just filling each other out. Pacheco versus uh, uh, McCallum. McCallman. Uh, Mick, uh, yeah, I think I was uh, Mick, McCallum. Yeah, Mick, uh, McCallman or something like that. Pacheco versus McCallman. Right now, it looks like Pacheco just filling them out. Filling them out. Uh, McCallman sitting there filling, filling out Pacheco as well. Filling them out, shooting the jab, changing levels to the jab, going up top, going to the bottom. Pacheco's blocking pretty well. Um, <clears throat> this is supposed to be a step off fight for Pacheco, too. So, this is a step off fight for Pacheco. I think Pacheco is uh, 20 and 0. I think he's 20 and 0. So, we'll see how he's able to break. You know, he's supposed to win. Pacheco is the A side. We'll see if he know how to break this guy down. I think Richardson Hitchens is uh, Richardson Hitchens fight is next. You know what, man? I don't know how Eddie Hearn do it. This motherfucker be everywhere, bro. Just he in Saudi Arabia, he in the UK, he in Mexico. He throwing fights all throughout America. I mean, they be small cards. They don't be big cards, but they're active. You know, they're active. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, this dude is every fucking world. You know, they're active. So, you know, these small cars. The small cars are very profitable to these to these promotional companies because it doesn't cost a lot, it doesn't cost them a lot of money to put it together. So they're gonna make a good profit from the small car, and they're not risking a whole lot. Know what I mean? Hey, what did say, Lisa? You say dude got an 81 inch arm reach? <laughs> hey, Lisa, I don't think the man arms that long. <laughs> she said 81 inch arm reach. I don't think it's arms that long. You talking about Pacheco? Hey, Lisa, nah, the man arms ain't that long. Now. The dog on, uh, 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 Sebastian Fedora got an 80 inch arm reach, but he's 6'6, though. He said, yeah, they are coach. No. Who, who um you say McNillan? McNillan got an 80 inch on You sure? Hey, Brady say what front door weight bully. Hey, Stephen X say round one. He got an 80 inch on rich for real? Who who got an 80 inch on rich? On rich. Who Pacheco? He say, Coach, they just said a Pacheco opponent. Oh, his opponent has an 81-inch arm reach. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Wow. 81-inch arm reach? How tall he is? It don't look like it. Let me see. Well, how long, how long is a Pacheco arms at? Pacheco arms look. I forgot an 81 is on reset. God damn. 
Yeah, this dude right here look like he, uh, damn, that's some long ass arms in. All right. Well, how long, how long is, uh, how long, how, how long is, uh, oh, he got a 79 inch on reach? Damn, both of these motherfuckers got some long ass arms. Shit. I told y'all this is supposed to be a step up fight for Pacheco from what? Oh, nice two piece by Pacheco. Both men are very calm, though. That's what I'm looking at. Both men are very calm. Pacheco trying to press him now. Trying to press him a little bit. He want to put on a spectacular show. Uh, McCalman. Let's see what McCalman do. See, he got an 80 inch arm reach. He need 81 inch arm reach. He need to be using it then. Shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, he need to be motherfucking shit. I, I got some shit rolled up for later. I got three joints, two cones. Shit, nigga, I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci right now. True, true, true. Damn, man, I'm shit. If I, listen, if I ever move to the West Coast, I'm living in Vegas. I ain't gonna stay in Cali. I ain't gonna stay in LA. I'm gonna stay in Vegas. That's that's why that's why I want to go. I go to Vegas. You know what I mean? I've been having in Vegas all I got that weed. Shit, that's nice jab. Now it looked like uh, McCallum. He ain't really throwing no punches though. McCallum ain't throwing no punches. He got jabbed just then by Pacheco. Nice jab. He ain't really throwing no. Okay, double. He double jabbed to the body. Faint. Look like he waiting on that one shot. Look like he waiting on that one shot though. That's what it kind of look. It kind of look like he's waiting on that. Um, he wants to land the backhand. Like, oh, oh, that was a nice dog on. He caught Pacheco good just then. But Pacheco caught him. They traded punches just then, bro. That came out of nowhere, man. He's staying very calm and poised too. That's what I'm looking at. How calm he is. And then he ducking down and get up on the Pacheco, and get out of the way. He did right. He did right. Oh, nice, nice right cross by Pacheco. Double jab, right cross. Jab to the arm. But Calvin ain't gonna win this round like this. He's not gonna win like this here. He just, you know, you get what I'm saying? And what you say now? You say he looking to counter? Yeah, he is. He is. He is. He is looking to counter. Um, uh, uh, Nate, you right about that? He's looking to counter. Hey, he caught. Listen, he caught Pacheco. Hey, um, hey, Nay, he caught him with that right, listen, that right cross, he caught him good, too. He caught him good now. But, um, he's not going to beat the A-side fighter like this. You know, because any, this is the thing, Nay, um, any round that's close, and they're gonna, it's going to go to Pacheco. Any round that's close is going to go to Pacheco. You know, because he's, he's the house fighter, so, you know. You know how that is. He say uh, McCalman um, is in counter mode, straight up. Yeah, he is in counter mode. He's going to get outworked though. He's getting. He's going to get outworked this way, unless 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 he got great reflexes on the on the counter. But he's going to get outworked that way. So let's see what's up. Like right now, he just got hit with a double jab just then, and he didn't throw nothing. So he has to become more active. Nice double, double, he double, triple the jab to get on the inside. Oh, nice jab, by Pacheco. Nice jab to the body by Dog on McCalman. Pacheco, there's no way Pacheco should be out jabbing you. You got the longer reach. Oh, nice jab by Dog on McCalman. Jab, he got, he hit, hit Pacheco right on the chin. Nice jab by uh, Pacheco, but Cal McCalman is coming right back on the counter, just like you guys said. He's looking to counter. Looking to count. Oh, nice right cross by Pacheco. He caught him with a clean right cross. Pacheco smiled a little bit. He said, yeah, I got you then. You ain't gonna better eat too many more of them. Oh, nice left hook by uh, McCallum. They got blocked, but nice left hook, though. Now, McCallum left eye starting to close a little bit, like right here. Look at that left eye at the bottom. He got a little star. He got a little star on that arm. Um, a little star on that left eye. He looking to counter, though. I like the way he paired that shot. Like the way he paired that shot. 
Block. Oh, nice right cross by Pacheco. He caught him with a right cross again on that eye. Nice on leaping left foot by uh, McCalman. Bruh. Look like they're trying to heat it up a little bit. This is a 10-rounder right here. Look like they're trying to heat it up. Oh, nice double jab by McCalman. It got right in there, too. It got right in there. No Diddy. <laughs> hey, it got right in there. No Diddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me see what's up. One minute left. One minute left in round three. Yeah, like he coming in there tying up. He coming in there tying up. Dog on Pacheco looking at him like Pacheco looking at him. Nice jab. I like the way he shot the jab. See, let me tell you what McCallum doing is real smart. The way he shoot. Ooh, not both men just jabbed each other. Both men just eight jabs just then. He shot the jab to the arm, and then when he came back to double it again, he doubled the jab, but the first went to the arm, which dropped Pacheco's arm down a little bit, and then he shot the second jab up and caught him on the chin. That's an old vet. Oh, that's a nice left foot by Dog on McCallman. Nice left foot by McCallman. Caught him like a vet. Look like, did he hurt? Did he hurt Pacheco? Look like he hurt Pacheco. Did he hurt Pacheco? Checo was holding on for a little bit. Okay, no, nah, he ain't hurt him. I thought he hurt him. He ain't hurt him. He looked like he was hurt, but he, I guess he didn't hurt him. Checo fainting. Okay. Oh, you know what, Lisa? Yeah, I see it now. That dude arms is long. Yeah. Hey, Lisa, I see it now. Dude, listen, his arms, yeah, I, when he was walking, he had his arms side to side. Man, I'm <laughs> he said, Coach, what round are you looking at? I'm looking at round three. I'm at round three. Crack screen, what you say, fam? He said he definitely caught his attention. Yeah, he did. He did. He caught his attention. He got, he took that right hand for Pacheco uh, pretty good, though. Leaping left hook. I like that leaping left hook. And then Pacheco went to holding that went to holding his arm. I think he I think he was kind of buzz. I think he was kind of buzz. Um, I think he was kind of buzz. Hey, what did he say, Lisa? He said arms hanging down to his knees. Yeah, he got some long arms. I'm like, man. Bruh. Lisa, that's crazy. He should he should have a mean jab. He should have a mean jab with arms that long. He looking at that lead hand. Came up ahead, Butter Pacheco. Yeah, he looking to tie up and come up. Pacheco gonna have to take that half step back fast, a little bit faster, to, um, to, try, to try to avoid the clinch. That's what he's gonna have to do. This old chess match right here. Hey, McCalman, he say, look, man, you gotta stop ducking your head down and grabbing. Checko like, that, that's what the ref told McCalman. Man, he got, he do have some long, you can see, oh, he, oh, he just swung that right hand. Boy, he swung that right hand from here to Georgia. Boy, if he would have landed that, oh, <laughs> hey, y'all saw that right hand he just threw? Bruh, if he would have landed that, boy, Lord have mercy. He swung that from here to Georgia. It's a minute and 40 seconds left in round four. Minute and 40 in round four. 135 now. Oh, both the nice jab by Dago Pacheco. Nice jab. Timing them good with that jab. Nice right hand by Pacheco. That's right. You got to break out of the clinch. You got to break out of the clinch. That's what you got to do, Pacheco. You got to push them off of you. <laughs> he try, he trying to shoot out of the count. I see what he's doing. <coughs> but he got to land, though. Okay, he got to land. McCalman, you know, McCalman is getting the count of figured out. I, I, so, I, so, you Pacheco, you see what he's trying to do. He should have dropped that right hand on him. He should have dropped that right hand on him. When, he, when, he, when you went back, he was coming forward, dropped the right hand on him. Look at that. Okay, that's a nice jab by McCalman. Nice jab by McCalman. 
na jia ba ba cheko i like the angles mccalman or loop leaping left hook by mccalman uh leaping left hook caught pacheco on the shoulder right got, got, he's swinging the right hand in the clutch you trying to push him off of him oh he got hit with uppercut just then Coming in there wild. He got caught with uppercut just then. McCalman did. Yeah, this is going to be, yeah, this, this fight look like he's getting kind of, because, you know, anytime McCalman gets in close, he's going to grab in the clinch, which he should. I get that. That's the end of four. End of four. We're going into the fifth round. What you say, Miss Parker say, Carissa said, I thought he was swinging all the way over here at us to hit us. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, that what she said? Hey, she, <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> hey, that's what, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> man, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hey, that's crazy. Hey, I'm telling you, boy, he was swinging. Hey, hey, he was swinging. He was swinging from here to Georgia. Now, I am the number one contender. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever he want to call himself ducking me all right i'm tired of man driving around town and eight rolls voices he ain't fought nobody i'm still in a bro hand hey lisa lisa he was uh lisa he was a uh uh, uh uh um miss parker he was swinging from here to georgia man i'm like man god damn motherfucking here brother well he he telegraphed that point if he would have caught pacheco i don't i don't even know what i ain't gonna lie. i think he probably would have been knocked out from that one that probably would have put him to sleep I, <laughs> Uh, and what did you say, Miss Paul? You said, yep, you didn't hear her, Coach. No, I didn't hear her. Because I had a volume down. I had a, you know, when I watched these fights, I had a volume down. He, boy, he like, well, nice depth jab to the body, nice combo. I like the way he changing the speed of his punches, too. I like the way he changed the speed of his punches. Hey, I told y'all, this dude McCalman, this dude McCalman, you know, uh, hold on, uh, hey, Chris, Chris Maddie's got, Chris Mannix had McCalman up three rounds to one. Chris Mannix have McCalman winning the fight three rounds to one. Okay. Key say, Coach, your TV fast. Man. He coming in there squatting down. McCalman, I, listen, man, McCalman. This dude, this dude here, he ain't no scrub now. He handling himself pretty good, flicking the jab, changing the rhythm, the pace. He's showing different looks. He's showing different looks. This round, he's doing something a little different now. Flicking the jab out there. He giving a little bit more angles on the footwork. McCallum like, no, nah, no, nah, that, ain't, that ain't it. Both men trying to figure each other out. It's, 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 like, like Nate say, this chest right here. Yeah, man. Yeah, he putting the jab out there. Oh, ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. He, 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 um, he threw a jab. Duck low came in there with the body shot. And then he came up and threw the hook to the top of the head. So he, he's changing levels. This, I ain't gonna lie, man. McCalvin is very unorthodox. Like, bro, this, hey, hey, this is a, this is, hey, this is, He's very unorthodox. And I'm looking at how calm he is in the ring. He's not overly, you get what I'm saying? He's going to continue to do his thing, what he's doing. But he's very calm. He's very calm. His poise is, you know. Bubba Checo almost caught him with that left hook. He got it. You know, his style is kind of frustrating. He and Dana, he and they're he talking to Pacheco. He talking to him. He let them know. Look here, look here, baby boy. I don't know what they told you, baby boy. This shit ain't gonna be easy over here. I don't know what they told you. I'm finna make this an ugly fight for you. I'm this fight, boy. They, they tied up again. I'm finna make this. A, I don't know what they told you, baby boy. I'm trying to tell you, bro, ham. I don't know what they. But look how long his arms is. Man, he we walking to the ring. His arms touching his knees. True, true, <laughs> true. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. His arms is touching his knees. Oh, they got David Benavidez out there. 
Why David Benavidez? Why David Benavidez is at an under zone fight? He ain't gonna fight nobody on the zone. Probably because it's in Vegas. He ain't gonna fight nobody on the. He ain't gonna fight nobody on the zone. Hold on, let me go back. See what's up. Hold on. Yeah, he ain't gonna fight nobody on his own. And what to say, Steve? You say his dad coaching? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, his dad coaching Pacheco? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Nice jab. That's a nice jab by Pacheco. They probably be sparring each other too. They've been to be there as a Pacheco. They probably be sparring each other. Let's see what's up. Round six don't start it, guys. Two minutes and 30 seconds. We're in the top of the six. 2.30 in the six. Ooh, that's an old. Oh, I think he blocked it. He threw an overhand right, and he got blocked. Two minutes and 25 seconds left. Ooh, nice left hook. Head butt and nice left hook. Left hook again. I told you, doggone, he trying to make it above McCalvin. McCalvin ain't going to make it easy for Pacheco. He like, nah, baby, boy, I don't, I don't know what they told you over here, boy. Boy, I don't know. I don't know what they told you, dog. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they told you, dog. Yeah, I don't know what they told you. Nah, left hook missed. Nice uppercut by Pacheco. Right cross. Hey, 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 hey McCallman, like, I don't know what they told you, dog. Boy, this, boy, this right here, fam, this ain't no. You get what I'm saying? It, it ain't sweet over here. Dog on Chris Mannix have McCallman winning. Oh, nice combo. Nice combo. Okay. Hey, you see how he dipping, dipping up under Pacheco and then grabbing him and locking up? He, oh, nice straight right hand by Pacheco. Nice straight right hand. That was nice. That came out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. Threw a two-piece and missed it. Oh, I like that. I, I, that's an old vet move right there. Hit him with the shoulder. Hit him with the shoulder. He said, you can't use the shoulder now. Hit him with the shoulder. He said, I'm trying to push him off me. Okay. Hey, hey, that's an old, hey, that's an old vet move right there. He said, come to Phoenix. Tampa is whack, coach. Ain't nothing whack. Ain't, 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 ain't nothing whack about Tampa. Fuck Phoenix. Ain't nothing whack about Tampa, homeboy. Give a fuck about no Phoenix. Fuck Phoenix. Let's see what's up. Ooh, okay, that's a nice right hand by um, Pacheco. They locked up again. They locking up again. This referee, this referee, let's see what's up. Poor, I, I like the right hand by, um, by, uh, by, by, by McCallman, but he missed. And look, when you miss like that, then that means the guy, that means Dog Pacheco is timing him. He's he getting his timing down right. He got he gotta throw it, he gotta throw it at a better time. Oh, okay, nice double jab, right cross. The right cross, I think he kind of nipped uh, McCalvin. McCalvin kind of looking a little sloppy this round. McCalvin, McCalvin kind of McCalvin, McCalvin kind of looking a little sloppy this round. He gotta try to come back the next round. Man, shout out to Rick. Man, Rick Tills, what's going on, fam? Keith Bulldog said, please don't get co started. Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, nigga, nigga, nigga ain't gonna be motherfucking dissing where I'm motherfucking from. Shit. Fuck that. <laughs> shit. Shit. I'm gonna give I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna give you that same, I'm gonna give you that same energy. I'm gonna give you what you give me. Um McCalvin ain't got a scratch on his face. Okay, <laughs> got a hey, hey, that mother ain't got a scratch on his face, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, McCalvin, like, bro, let me tell you something. It's bro, that's well, okay. Got a little honey dip in the ring. Hey, listen, it's hard to uh, it's it's hard to uh, to probably prepare for him, bro. Like, this this 
this dude ain't no easy fight. This ain't no easy fight for Pacheco. He, you know, he, his, his style is very, very unorthodox. See, he just threw an uppercut and missed. Oh, uh, this is, I'm anxious to see how the referees score this fight. I'm really, really anxious to see how the ref score this fight. It, it, you know what? It looked like he tried to make Pacheco frustrated. Two piece by Pacheco. Uh, 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 McCallman ducked it. <laughs> hey, Summer. Man, this dude, nice left hook. Nice left hook by Pacheco. You can't hit the man behind the head, though, McCalvin. Can't hit him behind the head. McCalvin look like he losing his, his form a little bit on his punches. Oh, that's a nice left hook by Doggo Pacheco. McCalvin ran right into it. McCalvin don't got kind of tired. I think he got tired. Nice jab by Pacheco. He, he, he's, a, he's a little winded. He's a little winded. Nice uppercut by Pacheco. Left hook by Pacheco. He's a little winded. Yeah. Okay, nice, uh, nice little check. Left hook, right cross by uh, McCallum, but I don't think he landed that right, though. Double the jab. You know what? If McCalvin just worked behind his jab, double the jab again, like the double the jab to get on the inside. Pacheco taking a half step back. Uh, McCalvin see the right hand coming, so he's ducking up under it, or he's anticipating it. He's anticipating the, uh, the right hand to come. That's what he's looking at. That right hand. Oh, and then he kind of like did the, he kind of like did the, the, did the shoulder roll a little bit. Nice right cross by Pacheco, in the break. McCallum came back with a left hook to the neck. They, they, he talking to him. Pacheco talking to him. He, hey, he talking to him. <laughs> hey, he talking. Oh, 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 he threw that right hand again, boy. He threw that right hand again. All right. Oh, nice right hand by Doggo Pacheco, but he kind of rolled. Nice left hook by Pacheco. They going at it, but that's a nice little uppercut by Doggo McCalvin. Okay. Nice little scrap. We got a nice little scrap right here now. Nice little scrap. Oh, man. Yeah, nice little scrap. And, you know, it, it do kind of look like it do kind of look like look like McCallum is kind of kind of tired because you can tell the way he's throwing his punches. You can tell the way he's throwing his punches. Steven said he's tired. Yeah, he is. You can tell the way he's throwing his punches. Pacheco kind of wins it too, though. He kind of wins it as well, but McCallum, I you know, it's obvious. Like his form, oh, that's a nice uppercut. His form and his punches, nice, that was a nice uppercut. It came out of nowhere. Nice left hook, but nice right hand. He caught him with a left hook. Then, uh, and he caught him with a, uh, a left hook and another left hook. And then McCallum caught him with a right hand dipping down. Okay. Round, this round eight, I think. Round eight, top of the eighth. Top of the eighth. Two minutes and 50 seconds left in this round. Top of the eighth. Referee had to pull the tape off of uh, Pacheco. Nice, um, nice left hook, uh, right cross by Pacheco. Okay, uh, look like Pacheco trying to pull away from him now. Uh, Chris Manning's had this fight even right now. Lord have mercy, boy, they're trying to tear each other's head off now. One thing I will say, McCalvin is not afraid to throw punches in between punches because he's countering. He's not afraid to throw punches. Neither one of them are, are afraid to throw punches in, be in between punches. You know, you got to take some risk. You got you to take some risk, and it, look, and, it, and it looks like Pacheco is trying to take the risk, but also McCalvin... Is ready for the counter as well. He's waiting on, he's anticipating it. He's trying to set the trap. If I can catch him coming in with his right hand, maybe I can get him out of there. So he's always kind of, and I think Pacheco is aware of that as well. 
He did he did a, he did a one he did a one one two and miss just then. Oh, I like that. I like the way uh, McCallum slipped the jab and tried to throw a throw a hook to the body uppercut or whatever. He got you know he got some good footwork though. This dude got some good footwork, man. McCallum, I like the angles he's giving. Like Pacheco can learn a lot from this from this fight. Looking to throw that right hand whenever Pacheco pulled back with his jab. Looking to throw the right hand whenever Pacheco pulled back with his jab. What is that? Oh, that's his hair? Oh, they're, oh, they're trying to tie his hair up, man. Tie his hair up. Yeah. Yeah, you want, we don't, he said, yeah, yeah, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look like they're going to tie his hair up. Chris Mannix, I, I'm anxious. Oh, nice jab, Papa Checo. Nice jab, Papa Checo. He got to stop dipping his head. Now, now, Pacheco was getting off a little bit more in this round. He's a little bit more active. And um, uh, McCallum is, is has to be aware of that. You know, from a, from, a, from, a, you know, from a judge standpoint, the judges are going to see that. He's moving around. I think he's just buying on some time. See, you can tell he's a vet because he's buying time. He's trying to recover from being tired or whatever. His legs is keeping him in the game. He's not getting hit with any kill shots. He's tying up when he needs to. Um, he's very calm and poised in the ring. That's a sign of someone that's a, a, that you know has veteran qualities. He's very poised in there, not panicking, none of that. Very relaxed. I look at all of that. I look at all of that. Pacheco, Pacheco pushing the action, trying to. You get what I'm saying? Pacheco was the one that's throwing the punches, and then when they get on the inside, uh, McCallum is grabbing. So, nice body shot by both men. Both men going to the body. All right, round now. We're going to the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth. Shout out to Crack Stream TV. He said, "Yeah, he got. He got to get. He got to go get it back." Hey, shout out to uh, Knockdown 305. He said, "Nice four six. Okay, yeah, for sure." Uh, uh, God about to say Pacheco kind of look mid. He kind of look mid. <laughs> Harvey, what you say, fam? You said the referee tripping. Hey, uh, Harvey, what you say, fam? You said the referee. You said the referee tripping. The fuck? It is what it is. Well, you know, I guess I gotta be like everybody else and sing Al Heyman. Yes, sir. Shut up. Before I bust a cap up in your ass. No, sir. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. It is what it is. Don't everybody believe in Google? Go Google that shit. Yes, sir. You just sit here, you don't know what I'm talking about? Nah, he don't know what you're talking about, Deontay. What he says, we don't believe. We don't believe him. True, true, true. Yeah, man, we're going to see what's up. All right. Round round nine. We're in the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth. After this is the main event. Damn, that, that main event fight starting late than the motherfucker. Damn. I would have thought I would have thought it came on earlier than that. I didn't know. You know what I mean? Man, shout out to everybody watching on Twitter, man. We got 235 people watching on Twitter. Um, nice job. See, dog on McCalvin tried to throw that overhand right, but he throwing it from a too far of a distance. If Pacheco was fast enough. He could have countered that very easily. Oh, nice. I like that. I like the way he put that shoulder on the Pacheco chin. Pacheco, like, man, listen, I'm like, <laughs> let me tell you something. McCowman is a real vet, bro. He doing all the little, all the little tricks of the trade. Smothering the punches, grabbing them. They tussling. They tussling right now. Yeah. I don't know how you score that. When you got two men grabbing each other and, um, Nice, that was a nice jab. Nice jab by um, Pacheco. You have two men grabbing each other and like banging on the inside while, while, and while in the clinch. <clears throat> it, ain't like, it ain't like how Jay likes our tone. Oh, that's a nice combo. Old dog on Pacheco, too. He tried to take his head off that right hand. It ain't like how, like, likes out, he ain't letting you grab him. He gonna always be angling, half a step back, right there, you know, bobbing, weaving. Slipping, catching, par um, parrying, you know, shooting, blocking, 
and he's going to stay right there the entire time. You know, and um, I, like James Tony said, this is the key to fighting. This is why you don't see a lot of fighters fighting on the inside, like James Tony or Pernell Whitaker of that sort. I'm going to tell you why. James Tony said the most important thing to inside fighting is being calm and poised. He said, I promise you, if you stay calm, you will see all the punches coming. I got, listen, I'm going to let y'all hear that video where James Tony said that. He said the key to fighting on the inside is to be calm. Oh, that's a nice dog on a uh, nice right cross to the shoulder by McCalman. Both men are tired. McCalman tired. He tired. He tired. McCalman tired. Oh, nice uppercut by Pacheco. Nice uppercut by Pacheco. Pacheco kind of tired too, though. He wearing him out. He getting wore out, wore out. He kind of tired too. Yeah, Pacheco tired. Oh, nice combo by Pacheco. Nice combo by Pacheco. Lord, dog on McCalman trying to make it rough. Nice combo. Nice right cross down by Pacheco. Okay. He trying to make it rough, boy. Pacheco got that explosive combinations that he throw that come out of nowhere. Yeah, but James Tony said that. He said that he said he said that uh, the, the key to fighting on the inside is to be calm. He said if you're calm, I promise you, you will see every punch coming. You'll see it. You, you'll see you'll see every punch before they come. You'll be like, oh, okay. This is the top of the tenth, guys. Last round. Yeah, but Checo landed the headshots. You know. But a lot of fighters don't fight like that in today's time because they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't possess that type of calmness, that type of poise. They don't possess that type of calmness or poise. Last round, last round. Uh, Chris Mannis gave Pacheco the last three rounds. Pacheco letting them hands go right now. He letting them hands go. McCalman, McCalman is going to make sure he, he, don't, he don't get knocked out. He's a vet. He keeps shooting that shoulder. He keeps shooting that shoulder. Referee finna take a point. He finna take a point. Stop doing the shoulder. He keep throwing the shoulder over there. All right. I thought he was going to take a point, but he didn't. Oh, nice right hook. Nice right hook by McCalman. They working on the inside. Working on the inside. Inside fighting. Referee letting them, referee letting them fight. He letting them bang. Referee letting them bang. Nice body shot by McCalman. Miss uppercut by um, Papacheco. They, they, he let them bang. Nice left hook by McCalman. Nice jab by Pacheco. See, Pacheco wanted to keep the fight, you know, mid-range at, at, you know, at the end of his punches. I get that. McCalman is just smothering. He's smothering right now. Yeah, McCalman not going to win this fight like this. Not like this. Not like that. Because he's doing more wrestling than, than anything. He's not going to win this fight like this. Tell you that right now. I don't think no judge are going to give him this fight. Not like that. Try to turn that light down. That light was too damn bright. Nice right cross. You know, you know, you know the thing is, McCalvin had got kind of sloppy. He had got kind of sloppy with his offense. Oh, nice right hook. Nice right hook on the chin. He caught Pacheco clean just then. Nice right hook on the chin. Nice on right cross by Pacheco. Shot the jab out there, right cross. Banging to the nice combo by Pacheco. Nice left foot. Nice right uppercut by Pacheco. Pacheco is landing the cleaner shots. He's landing the cleaner shots. Nice left foot by Pacheco. Like his punches is clean. You can cleanly see him landing, you know? You can clear, you know, you can see those punches landing clean. 
Um, McCalman is just him grabbing and holding. He just McCalman is in survival mode at this point. He's just trying to, you get what I'm saying? He's not gonna win this fight like this. 11, 10 seconds left in round 10, the last round. 10 seconds left. Nice two piece. Nice two piece by Pacheco. Yeah, that fight over with me. McCalman lost this fight. He kind of like the last two, three rounds. Last two, three rounds, he didn't, you know, he, he was, once he got tired, once he got tired, that was it. Yeah. Once he got, once he got tired, that was it. You know, he lost his, he lost his, he started losing a lot of his form. Keys, what you say, Keys? Keys say, Keys say uh, a draw. <laughs> he said Pacheco won or a draw. MB813 said um, Pacheco was better in close quarters. Oh, okay. They saw Tyson Fury and Usyk. I can't wait to see that fight. Shout out to Steel. Shout out to Rod. He said Pacheco didn't take McCalman serious. No, nah, he took him serious. It's just but McCalman is a good fighter. It ain't that he didn't take him serious. He took him serious. McCalman, if, if, if he did take him serious, that was foolish on his behalf. No, nah, McCalman is, is a vet. You can see a lot of stuff that he was doing in there. He was doing a lot of veteran moves in there. Yeah, man. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. All right, they're finna call. They're finna call it right now. Hey, Marie. 96, 94. Pacheco still undefeated. All right. Pacheco. So he won by UD. Pacheco won by UD. 21 and 0, 17 knockouts. Yeah. I told y'all this is this was a step up fight for Pacheco. I said that in the beginning of the uh, fight. I said this was this is a step up fight here because uh, I seen I, I seen McCalman won uh, fight before. That dude, like he's he, uh, he's he's uh, he's it's very hard to that guy right there, man. Just defensively, you know, he he presents a lot of problems. You know, it's not he's not an easy guy to to get out of there. Hey, uh, Nate say, get your belt out, coach. <laughs> yeah, I got. <laughs> hey, he, what he got? He got. He, he got a. Uh, hey, Nate, he got an IBF. I got the IBF too. No, is that a WBA? Let me see what that is. Oh, that's a W. Hey, Nate, that's a WBA belt. He got a WBC and a WBA belt. Uh, yeah, I got one of them too. Hold on, I got one. Shit, what, 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 what my WBA belt? I got a WBA belt. Yeah, I got the. Shit, I said I got it right here. Shit, I got I got both my belts. Then I got the other two. Shit, he got a WBA belt. Shit, I got a WBA belt. Shit, they getting that shit out. They getting that shit out. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got I got my belt. I got my belt right here. Get what I'm saying? Shit, he he ain't the only one starting the belts. You got two. You got you got the WBA, and then you got the WBA, the WBC. I got the WBA and the WBC. You get what I'm saying? 
You feel me? Oh, he got that C4. And hey, that's a nice chain around his neck, but, you know, shit, he got shit. I got, I got two of them. He got, but you know what, though? He ain't got the real belts, though. He ain't got the, see, I got the real, he got the Buddha Dean belts. That shit he got, them ain't, them ain't, them ain't the real belts, is it? Them like, wait, them like in, international titles or something? Yeah, he ain't got the, nah, he ain't got the, he ain't got what I have. Yeah, he don't have what I have. Yeah, he got intern belts. I, I had a real belts. I had a real belts. Yeah, see, he ain't got, see, he ain't got what I have. He, I, he got intern belts. I, I, I had a real belts. So I, I might well put these up because you ain't, he ain't, the Pacheco ain't, Pacheco ain't even in my, in my league when it comes to belts. Oh, I see Jose right there. He not even in my league right now. He got a, you know, it, it, you know he got he got to get the real belt for for I can for I can even you get what I'm saying. I don't do we don't over here at Nick Sack Promotions. We don't do intern belts over here. We don't do intern belts at Nick Sack Promotions. I just want to throw that out there. We don't do intern belts. Uh, shout out to uh, Al Rock. What he say? He said Coach D Block said he want to smoke. Man, man, don't nobody don't nobody bleed D Block. <laughs> Let me turn the ceiling fan off. Man, don't nobody believe D Block. Man, D Block, D Block say he want to smoke. Man, don't nobody believe that, man. I like D Block. That's I, I rock with D Block, but come on, man. Let's be real. Let's be real, D Block. You don't want no smoke. D Block, how about I'm going to Houston? I gotta wear a bulletproof vest. Ain't nobody gonna mess with you in Houston, man. Houston, Houston, cool. Yeah, Houston cool, man. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you on Houston. You ain't got nothing to worry about, D Block. Shout out to Pass for Beauty. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna tell you why you ain't gonna have nothing to worry about. You got Tank Davis' name tattooed on your hand, so you just let people know, man. Tank, my favorite fighter, man. Look, I got his name tattooed on my hand. Soon as they see that, they like, well, you know, yeah, he, you know, he do got a point. He, he do, he do got Tank name tattooed on his hand, so you know, all right, man, all right. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So you know, you know you got you know you got tank name tattooed on your hand. You Gucci. Shout out to Passive for Beauty. She say tough fight for Pacheco. All prospects and upcomers have them. Floyd Castillo, Boots, Karen, uh, Cremero, uh, Cuba. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, that dude, that dude, um, nah, that dude, pretty good though. Like he's a tough out. He is, he is a tough out. You know what I mean? I said it when the first fight started. I said, "Man, this is a step up fight for um, for um, for Checo." Sean McCalman, Sean McCalman. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? All right. So the other fight finished. Ready to come on? I gotta get some water. I'm trying to think. Should I burn one? Should I burn one? You know, I need to burn one. Damn, if I burn one, I'm gonna be. I'm already kind of high. Shit, if I burn one, dog. God damn. Shit. I ain't gonna burn the pre-roll though. If I burn one boy, God damn, that's gonna be you get what I'm saying? I need to get some water and, and um and get some of that good and then get I got y'all see? Y'all see I got Hey hey uh, <laughs> Hey it'll be it'll be hey it'll be eight one three shout out eight one three he said coach brought the belts back to Tampa <laughs> True, true, <laughs> true. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Hey, he said Coach, he said Coach back, brought the belts back to Tampa. Hey, the city, hey, check this out. Hey, 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 it'll be 813. The city, the mayor, the mayor talking about throwing a parade. The mayor talking about throwing a parade for me because I brought the belts back. Hey, he said, the mayor said they're going to throw a parade. You know, she say, she say, she, she say, the mayor say, she say, we're going to throw a parade for Coach. We gonna and, and guess what? And they gonna name the street after me. Pop <laughs> the belt back. I, 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 <laughs> I'm the first undisputed champion in the city of Temple. You know, <laughs> no, <laughs> no one has done it. <laughs> hey, we did it first. We did it first, <laughs> and we motivate. Even the greats. Well, this is different. You understand? We have Jennifer Lopez, we got Maluma, we have J Balvin, we have uh oh. so when I call him up, I was like, yo, what do you think? What do you think, Eddie? And we bring the bells together. And Eddie said, 
that shit is a good idea. I think the only person that could be Canelo right now is like maybe four years or five years from now, my son. You know, like Triple G and Canelo and all these guys, they're bums, bro. They're bums. But well, once Tio became undisputed, look how many champions we got that's undisputed now. <laughs> Watch TLP over the table on the food. Look how many champions we have now that's on the food. Boy, you don't sit your ass, boy. What? Hey, you can count on Ellie, boy. One thing about Ellie, you can count on Ellie to pull a nigga dick, boy. That's all he gonna do. He's old dick pulling ass, motherfucker. That's what we say in Florida. That's what we say in Tampa. Man, stop pulling another nigga dick, man. God damn, pull your own dick. Shit, why you, why you, why you on his pulling? When you pull somebody dick, that, that means like you on somebody jock or whatever, man. Why you on his jock? You know, very, very similar, very similar to, uh, you know, you know, very, very, you know, very similar, very similar to, uh, to something, very similar to something like this. <laughs> hey, Nay, Nay say you hold it up the YouTube division, coach. <laughs> she said I'm holding up the division. She said I'm holding up the division. I'm sorry. 160 is my weight division. I want to unify. I want to get Golovkin in the ring. I want to bring him to Houston. You know what I'm saying? I want to get Canelo out here to Houston. If they really to come down to 160, this is my weight division. <laughs> You hold it up to you two to this. <laughs> yeah, man. Can't nobody fight for the belts. You holding it up. <laughs> you drop the belts. You need to drop the belts. <laughs> I ain't dropping shit. I fought for these belts. I fought for these belts. I ain't dropping nothing. Tell the station about it to come take them. If they want the belts, Tell the station about it to come take them. Because I ain't dropping nothing. I fought for these belts. <laughs> I fought for these belts. True, true, <laughs> ain't true. I ain't dropping a goddamn thing. Tell the station about it. I say do their job. If they really want the belts, tell them to come get them. Because I ain't dropping <laughs> Hey, I'm, hey, I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna go get some water, man. I'm gonna, hey, hold up. I'm gonna get y'all, hey, hey, man, I'm gonna go get some water, man. Hey, and hey, let me get some water, burn what, man, for the main event.
wilder. Look like they showing. They showing the video. They showed. They look like they showed. Um, I came in here. They showing wilder. Wilder Fury. They showing wilder Fury. So, shout out to man. Shout out to everybody watching the show, man. We got two hundred and sixty-seven people watching on Twitter, and we have two hundred and fifty-seven watching on YouTube. So. We, we, we begin a lot of people watching on Twitter. Okay. I, yeah, I met Chris Mannix. I met Chris Mannix in, in Vegas. They said, who, who all I met in Vegas? Uh, when I was at the Teofimo Lopez fight, Teofimo Lopez and Jermaine Ortiz, I met, of course, I met Stitch Duran. I ended up getting his number. and He came on the show. I interviewed him, of course. Um, I met Chris Mannix. Uh, I met uh, Majo Michelle Joy Phelps. Uh, Marcos Vegas of Fight Hub TV, Monsieur Jeff, Monsieur Joy Phelps of uh, Seconds Out. Uh, I remember Monsieur, Michelle Joy Phelps back. Um, I remember her back in the video Vixen days. She was she, but she you know she used to be in the uh, uh, she used to be in uh, what was that hip hop magazine she used to be in as a model. Damn, I forgot the name of that shit. It was so many of them back then. Like back in the early 2000s, you had all types of magazines where the video vixens used to be in and stuff like that. I remember her back then. It was this one magazine. I forgot the name of it, man. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it, man. Shit, what was the name of that all? Um Damn, what's the name of that magazine she did? I, I, it, it was so many of them back then. Shout out to Javon. He said King Magazine. I don't know. I don't know if it was King. I don't know which one it was, but I remember seeing her back then. He said Chris Manny Spar Man, Juan Manuel Marquez. And shout out to Nelly. You said people be complaining about anything. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay, they showing, they showing, uh, hey, every, you know what? I don't know, jokes aside, bro. Every time I see, every time I see doggone uh, Richardson Hitchens, every time I see him, right, I cannot, I cannot unsee this. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Come on. <laughs> First question I would ask, um, 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 Richard, 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 my brother, listen. Hey, I got, I got a question for you that the fans, the fans want to know. Yeah, what's that? Um, there's a video surfacing on the internet. I don't, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're aware of it, but there's a video surfacing on the internet of you, Adrian Broner, and Javante Tank Davis dancing to this song. Do you, do you remember that video? Oh, yeah, yeah, man, I remember that video, man. We were climbing. We were having fun. We were having fun. Yeah, um, just one particular part of the video to where you grab Javante Tate Davis by his right shoulder. You put your arm on his right shoulder. I think I think it was the right shoulder, whatever the case may be. Was the right shoulder? Yeah, I think, I know. I think, yeah, you put your arm on his, on his left shoulder, and, 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 and you go to gyrating your hips backwards and forwards while looking your head while, while your head was looking down it kind of looked like you was looking at his you know what i mean his personal property um would you like to would you like to um elaborate on it <laughs> interview over <laughs> answer that question now i'll see what it was see now i'll see what it was dog see check it out dog see what it was dog See what it was. We 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 was uh. See what it was. See 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 see. Check it out though, right? See what it was. See see see. It wasn't. You know, it was it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't the way it looked. You know what I mean? See what it was. See what we were doing was we was. Yeah, I understand y'all were dancing, but I'm trying to figure out like you know what the part of the song you had to grab his right shoulder. You grabbed his left shoulder, and you was you and you you had you you put your right arm on his left shoulder. 
and then you had your left hand on your belt buckle and you was looking down and you was <laughs> matter of fact look at look at this video tell what you see <laughs> I ain't gonna never interview with that nigga no more boy fuck that nigga tell that nigga he better never call me again what the name coach yeah tell that nigga tell that nigga from the tampa he better never call me again he ain't gonna never get an interview from me i was like <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, you was all, uh, you know, it looked like he was, looked like he was, you know, very focused at that time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> See, it, you know, anyway, you know, looked like he was very focused. You know, I don't know, you know, he had a serious look on your face and I don't know, it looked like maybe you bit your bottom lip maybe one or two times. Did you bite your bottom lip on this? You know, I'm just asking, did you, you know, okay. Look like you might have bit your bottom lip a couple of times, I'm not sure, you know. We must internalize the flatulation of the matter by transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate, to preclude on the issue of world domination with only circumvent, <coughs> excuse me, circumcise the revelation that reflects the aphrodisiac symptoms which now perpetrates the Jericho's activation. Man, now nah, I would not. Nah, hey, hey, uh, Jamie say, "Of course, don't do them like that." Now nah, I wouldn't do them like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do them like that. I wouldn't do them like that. I wouldn't do them like that at all. To be honest with you, you get what I'm saying? Oh, look like we got a troll in here. He just created. Oh, let me show y'all this new troll. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this new troll. Look like we got a troll. Now nah, we do it. It's probably um I don't know who this could be, but don't worry, he finna he finna get blocked. Um here we go right here. This is the troll we got right here. <clears throat> We're gonna invite him to the block party. As you can see, he just created his account two days ago. So this is someone who watches me and he's Came up on another name, just to troll. This might be J and this, this might this might be Jason Mose. What we're going to do is we're going to invite you to the block party, and what you can do, you can create another account and try it again. Try it again, okay? We'll holler at you. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> we holler. <laughs> Now the crazy part about it, hold on, do I have do I have this in subscriber mode? Do I um, let me see, do I have this in subscriber mode? I may not have it in subscriber mode. Let me see. No, I don't. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. Anyways, shout out to Shadow Ghost. He say he say think that's Booger Ray's burner account coach. I mean it might be, it might be. He'll he'll just he'll just create another account. Tell him to create another account. He'll be alright. All right, we got uh All right, we got Gustavo Lemos. You know what? I'm kind of I'm not going. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, fam. I'm kind of happy for Richardson Hitchens because when he was over at Mayweather Promotions, he hardly fought. He hardly fought when he was over at Mayweather Promotions. He hardly fought. And um, he uh he couldn't get the, he couldn't get like he wasn't the priority over there, you know. You know, people say, oh man, well they had tank. Yeah, but when you are a promotional company, you have several fighters, you should have more than one bullet in your 38. Now you're supposed to have multiple fighters that that are like this dude wasn't wasn't priority at all. Like they didn't give a damn. Like they didn't give a like they didn't give a damn about him. They didn't give a damn about him. You get what I'm saying? Like, and he said, I remember listening to an interview. He said, man, they didn't they didn't care nothing about me, man. Like I was just, you know, you know, he 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 couldn't really get no fights on Tanks undercard. Like I felt like. Dude, you had Tank. When you had Tank on the contract, every time Tank fought, 
you should have had, you should have had, uh, you should have had uh, uh, Richardson Hitchens fight on Tank's undercard. Let him get that exposure. I'm saying on a regular, you get what I'm saying? And bro, they, they, they just treated him like a stepchild. You say nobody that made one of the promotions get fights besides Tank and now Carmel. Yeah, Carmel is a prospect coming up, so now they're focusing on Carmel. And the crazy part about it is Carmel is a Tank Davis lookalike. He's a, he, I mean, he's a Tank Davis lookalike. All right, so here comes Richardson. He walk into the ring. He's a Tank that I'm trying. Shout out to La Jessica. Shout out to La Jessica. I'm trying to figure out. So this is for, so he last fought in September. He last fought seven months ago. So this is for, uh, this fight is for who's going to be, is this for who's going to become the mandatory to Super Dan Matthias? I would, listen, I would love to see Dog on Super Dan Matthias. It's especially now that he's with the zone. He's over there with Matchroom, with the zone, Eddie Hearn. That, that should be an easy fight to make. I would love to see Super Dan Matthias versus Richardson Hitchens. <clears throat> Lisa Bell say um, Hitchens doesn't fit the prototype. But that's crazy. He doesn't fit the prototype. <coughs> he doesn't fit the prototype for the black promoter, but now he's over there um, with Eddie Hearn. Make that make sense. What you say, Nate? IBF eliminator? <clears throat> I mean, why even sign him? Why even sign him if that's the case? He said, you see Yoel, Yoel, Yoel Jude over there. See Zab Dad over there. TCL said that would be a good matchup, coach. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because you have a boxer versus a boxer puncher. You get what I'm saying? You have a boxer versus a boxer puncher. So... I think he'll. I think he'll fight. I think he'll fight. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I'm hearing. I'm hearing that he can He. I remember seeing a video where he said he didn't want to fight him because of the rehy because of the ten weight, ten pound weight rehydration with the IBF. And some people look like looked at that as ducking, but dude, you are literally fighting in the IBF. Like you have an IBF. Intern title or he has an IBF belt right now. He has a he has an IBF belt right now. You get what I'm saying? So <clears throat> um La Jessica say TV went out doing some BS updating right now. Seriously. Oh oh La Jessica, my phone, hey, my TV do the same thing. My television will do the same thing. Well, uh, you have a smart TV. My TV do the exact same thing. It'll do it. It did it a couple of times. We had a fight party. It did it a couple of times. Man, I was, man, I was 38 hot. 29 and 0, 19 KOs. Gustavo, Gustavo Lemos. Gustavo Lemos. Is he from Argentina? Look like he's from Argentina. He's, he's from Argentina, right? OR promotions. Oh. <clears throat> and Ruiz say lame crowd. <laughs> <coughs> they had this fight in Vegas. They're fighting in a um, oh he's from Argentina. Okay, yeah. No fighters from Argentina, man. There's some tough, there's some them some of them, them there's some tough outs, man. We're gonna see what's up. <laughs> hey, and her looking at Richardson like. Okay, mate, this is your time. So he got an IBL belt. They holding up an IBL belt over there now. That must be the intern title. He said Madonna is there. Okay, Madonna's, Marcos Madonna is there with him. Damn, ain't nobody, ain't nobody here. Bruh, they got open seats. They got open seats all throughout this spot. But see, they fighting in Vegas Saturday. 
Then Richard, Richardson Hitches ain't no draw, so. <laughs> Richardson Hitches ain't no draw, so that's that what they saying. But it don't matter as long as he getting the fights. Argentina, boy, Argentina. Now, we're going to say, we're going to see what's up now. Uh, <laughs> hey, you better not put a Montana Love. Hey, hey, Richardson. Hey, Richardson, you better not put a Montana Love on us tonight. Now, we don't want no Montana Love now. He said people came for the co main. Yeah. I'm talking about for Pacheco. Yeah, you're right. Because there was a lot more people watching. We're going to see what's up. Damn, it looked like people left. <laughs> Bro, it looked like people left. <laughs> I, wait a minute. Wait a, Stephen A said people came for the co main. They for you for real. They did come for the co main. There was it was it was more people. It was more people in there watching, watching Pacheco. Bro, a lot of people left. That's crazy. Boy, this dude right here's two minutes and twenty two minutes and twenty five seconds left in this round. This dude here. Kind of remind me of uh that he's swinging Richardson ain't there Richardson shooting the tail. He kind of remind me of uh Brian Castaño. Brian Castaño was way, way, I think he, he was from Venezuela, right? I think Castaño was from Venezuela, if I'm not mistaken. Richardson gonna keep, you know, he gonna keep on the outside. He flinched at <laughs> he flinched at everything. Hey, Richardson flinched at. He like I ain't gonna let you hit me with that. Keep you on the outside of the jab. Do do people do people think Richardson Hitchens has a fan friendly style? But he but he ain't trying to get hit with no he ain't trying to get hit with that. Soon as jab by staying calm first round. Hey uh, 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 quit and say they ain't cop no ticks. No I don't I don't I don't think they cop no ticks. You know what I don't know I don't know. I, I you know that's a good question. I think it was a lot more people watching the fight. Um, when Pacheco was fighting, now it looked like it's, uh, he said Castagna from Argentina too. Oh, shout out to our man. Bro, it, it seemed like, it seemed like, <laughs> it's like, once they was announcing, they're like, man, we tired to go. We see, we see what we need to see. <laughs> we, we saw what we need to see. It's time to go. Uh, man, hey, look here, man. Y'all are going to be doing, y'all are going to be doing Richardson like this here, man. Dog on the dude from Argentina, boy. He he, nice jab from Richardson. The dude from Argentina, nice left hook, nice left hook from um, Lemos. Boy, Richardson, Richardson grabbing on. He he holding on, boy, holding on. Rich, he gonna be on that back with all that. Hey, that dude with nice jab, nice jab, nice jab by both men. Nice jab by both men. Okay, going to the body. Lemos going to the body, going to the body. He trying to touch hands. No, he ain't trying to touch no hands. Don't touch no hands. Nice right hook by Richardson. Nice jab. He got some long ass arms, so he can really do this all night. And tie, and then uh, this the thing though. Uh, oh, he throwing hay. Oh, that's a nice right hook. He throwing the haymaker, boy. They most throwing haymakers, boy. Richardson see him coming though. That's the thing though, right? He's telegraphing his punches. Lay uh, Lemos is, te is telegraphing the punches, so Richardson see him. He see it coming. He said it coming. He said Hitchison needs a billion dollars worth of game. Just saying, yeah, man, like, bro, shit. Um, I, I kind of I, I wish Mayweather them would have built them up. I kind of wish Mayweather them would have built them up. They didn't, they didn't, do, them, they didn't do them any justice, my, you know, myself. They didn't do them any justice. I mean, listen, I know, I know, I know, I know what Hitches, I know what Hitches is going to do. He's going to, uh, uh, he's going, you know, he's going to keep boxing, wait till the later rounds. Oh, he got caught with that. Oh, he got caught with that right hook on the chin, trying to get up out of there. He's going to wait till the later rounds, and then he's just going to, um, cause Richardson, Richardson. One thing about him, he in shape now. I'm uh, he got hit with a jab just then though. He got hit with a jab just then. Nice jab. You know them Argentina fight them. They pressure fight. He's he just threw a haymaker. He just threw a haymaker. Richardson got up under it and got up out of there. He just threw a hey, it kind of remind me of one of them. Uh, you know what I mean? It kind it, it kind of remind me of uh, uh, 
going at him. What a dude say to Argentina fighters not scared of black fighters? Uh, Argentina fighters not scared of no fighters. Why well, just got to be black fighters? You got a problem with black? Um, shout out to uh, shout out to my sister Lisa Bells. Shout out to G Daddy. Shout out to Keith Bulldogs, Salute fam. Shout out to Money Mike eighty two. We gonna see what's up. Oh, okay. Look like you look like you don't want look like you don't. Okay, nice jab, nice jab. He went southpaw a little bit. Lemos went southpaw a little bit. Now he going to the body. Nice jab. Lemos gonna keep that pressure on him all night. He just throw he, he just threw a haymaker. Hey, he just threw a haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> he, hey, he just threw a haymaker. He just threw a haymaker. His <laughs> bitches got to fight through another haymaker, bitch. Hey, get back here. Oh, hey, oh, hey, look, hey, it, it, it kind of reminded me. It kind of reminded me of, uh, it kind of reminded me of, uh, when, you, when, you know, when I watched Rocky and Carmen Lane was throwing them haymakers at, uh, he was throwing them haymakers at dog. <laughs> he was throwing them haymakers at my boy. Huh, huh, huh. Huh. Oh, he caught, look like he buckled, he buckled Richardson with a right hand. He caught him on the chin and buckled him. He caught him on the chin and buckled him. Yo, Richard, 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 I don't know, he might be, he might still be hurt. He caught him on the chin and buckled him just then. <coughs> Man. <coughs> Boy, they most. Boy, Ray Richardson trying to get up out of there. <laughs> trying to get up out of there. For... <laughs> he trying to get up out of there. He's like, he's just like, nice job by Richardson. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, he playing, boy. He throw. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, that boy, look at that boy. Hey, that boy, look at that <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Lemos, Lemos stepping. He Rich, Richardson don't like that pressure. I noticed that he don't like that pressure. He getting up out of there, boy. He, ain't, hey, <laughs> to, hey, I got Richardson losing right now. Two round to zero. That two round to zero, he losing. And I'm saying to me, to me, he, I got him losing two round to zero. So he need the man. He need to tighten up. Hey, <laughs> some of those people say she say someone said coach the bootleg link. Man, hey, he's hey, he, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, they say he don't like that. They say he don't like that pressure at all. Nay, he don't want that pressure. Hey, I see, hey, you're trying to get somewhere. Hey, they, they, he trying to, hey, they, he trying to get somewhere. <laughs> hey, he trying, hey, they, he trying to get somewhere, boy. He like, man, this motherfucker crazy. <laughs> Hey, oh, he caught Richard with that straight right just then. Man. <laughs> and he keep going straight back. He keep going straight back. Man. Look here, man. This round, this round three. Round three. We're gonna see what's up. This a 12, this a 12 rounder. Round three or 12. Richardson gotta let that <clears throat> Richard gotta let that right hand go though. Hey, dog, go on, uh, Richard. That nigga trying to get some fun. <laughs> he trying to get some fun. Hey, that nigga trying to. Hey, he's trying to get somewhere. Hey, he's trying to get somewhere. Hey, do it, Lamos. Lamos throwing them both. Lamos throwing them balls, boy. He playing. Hey, he is not playing. Boy, this dude. Hey, Gustavo. Gustavo, he is not playing. I think he's trying to get somewhere, boy. Hey, he's trying to get somewhere. <laughs> he's just, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, right here. hey, Richard, Richard, man, you got 
let your hands go, man. You gotta let your hands go. <laughs> you gotta let your hands go. Hey, Lisa, <laughs> he trying to get somewhere, boy. <laughs> what that dude watching TV ain't playing, boy. He, he throwing, he throwing all balls. He throwing all balls. That's it. He throwing, listen. He ain't even playing. He hitting you wherever he get you at the body, the head, the neck. The, the kneecaps, the thighs, he don't care. Wherever he can hit you at. Oh, that's a nice uppercut. Another uppercut, he missed that one, though. But <laughs> Richard said decking and grabbing. Richard said decking and grabbing. Rich, you got to let your hands go, Rich. Let your hands go, Rich. Rich, let your hands go. Let your hands go, Rich. Tighten up. <clears throat> Tighten up, Rich. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Man, he got hit with the right hand just then. Richard, Richard got to let his hands go, bro. Let your hands go, man. You, you in the high guard. <laughs> oh, he, he can't hit behind the head. He can't hit behind the head. You got to drop. Don't be scared to let the right hand go. You got to let the right hand go, man. Hey, shout out to Drizzle Rue. What's going on, fam? Hey man, hey man, left foot, oh nice left foot, right hook, but he called he called Hitchison clean, man. I got Hitchison losing this round, bro, bro. This dude Richardson keep grabbing, man. He keep grabbing. Nice little uppercut by Richardson, but he got caught with a right cross over, over over the top. And now you in the, now you pedaling away. You now you ain't gonna win like you ain't gonna win like this, Papa. True, true. <coughs> True. Nah, you ain't yeah, you ain't gonna win like this here. Hey, Miss Connie, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna win like this. Not like this here. But he got a bro right now, he running, he ducking and grabbing, <laughs> holding on. What we got to do when love is gone. And that's no lie. Hey man, I got I got I got Lemos up three rounds to zero. For real though, I got him up. I got about three rounds of zero right now. You're in the mix with Coach Malachi Williams at True Media Boxing Radio. Motherfucker, keep, he keep running, he keep running in, he keep running and holding. <clears throat> he keep running and holding. I need him. <clears throat> I need him to let them hands go, man. He gotta let them hands go, fam. Yeah, he got to learn. Hey, it's a high conscience and say he got to learn how to turn. Yeah, you did all that sparring with Tank Davis. You got to learn how to turn, man. For real, though. That You got to turn the pressure fighter. And, you know, it kind of looked like, it kind of looked like Lemos is stronger on the inside. He's a, he's a more busier fighter. He's letting his hands go. And Richardson just keep holding. He's smothering him. Nice straight right hand. He 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 throwing one punch at a time. Nice dog on left hook by dog on Lemos. Nice uppercut by Lemos. Nice uppercut by Richardson. Jab jab. See when you when you that tall like Richardson, you got to throw that right hand like Tommy to hit me. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, now it look like he getting in the rhythm a little bit. Jab to the head. Jab to the body. You got to settle down. Okay. Oh Lord have mercy. No nice but nice combo by dog on Lemos. They most don't shoot, shooting the body shots and going to the head. Richardson got to let his hands go. He keeping that, he keeping that pressure on. Richardson got off a little bit early in the round, shot the jab out there. You got to keep that jab pumping. Got to throw it with convention, but you got to drop the right hand, fam. Okay, nice, nice, nice short right hand by Richardson. Nice uppercut by Lemos. Richardson, you, Richardson, he going to force you to fight in that pocket. <coughs> Just stay calm. You gotta stay calm. Nice jab. Ooh, nice right cross by dog on Lemos. Richardson holding on. He caught him clean with the right hand. He caught him clean. Is he hurt? He caught him clean. Look like he buzzed him a little bit. Left hand, left hook. Shooting the jab out there. The jab ain't got nothing on it, though. It's like he just flicking the jab. Look like he just flicking the jab. <clears throat> I 
Nice combo on the inside. If you're going to bang, if you, okay, if you're going to bang on the inside, bang on the inside. Slip those shots. Slip those shots. Show us what the inside game like. Nice jab. Okay, you know what he want to, okay, he tied, he tied him up, tied him up. He letting his hands go, uh, Lemos letting his hands go. That looping left hook, that looping left hook. Hitchison ducked the left hook and the right hook. He ducked both of them. <clears throat> nice jab. <coughs> Play dog on. Uh, you can see now. You can see Lemos punches coming. You can see his punches coming now. He he, he letting it be known which punches he throwing. He throwing he throwing wide. He throwing wide haymakers. Shout out to Keith Bulldog. You say all jokes aside. He just looked like a young fighter against a veteran. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say he lie to you, boy. Um, uh, Lemos, Le 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 Lemos ain't playing with him. Lemos ain't playing with him, bro. For real though. You get what I'm saying? Oh, nice jab by dog. That was a nice left, straight left by dog on Lemos. Lemos, listen, he got that on. Look, he, look at that. See how he just dropped. He drew back and swung it, and the hitches didn't get out of the way. He, like he saw it and got caught with it. <clears throat> he telegraphing his punches. You know, I mean, the ring IQ, the ring IQ that Richardson Hitchens bragged that he had, you're supposed to be able to see that stuff. You should know how to fight pressure fighters. <clears throat> Double left hook, got blocked. This on uh, top of the fifth, y'all, top of the fifth. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the, in the, in the fifth round. Double jab, a nice jab by Doggo Hitchison. By Doggo Hitchison, sorry about that. Uh, what? Chris Mannis got it, 38-38. Okay, I don't, know, I don't know what the fight he watching, but all right, it what it is. <clears throat> Chris Mannis got it even right now. That's a nice looping left hook he throw. I saw Brian Castaño throw that punch against Jamel Charlo. Oh, look at that. He, look at that mid-range. But he throwing, he, he letting them hands go. Richardson, Rich, Richardson is, is, is let, <clears throat> like, this is the thing. It looks like, like Lemos is throwing a lot of punches. Another haymaker. Another haymaker miss. See, uh, Richardson got to let it. Nice left foot. Nice left foot. You gotta let them hands go. Nice dog on double on um double kind of like underneath jab by um by Lemos. <clears throat> Richardson, you gotta let you got that right hand, bro. You gotta let the right hand go. For, it's like he's scared to throw that right hand for some reason. But he's trying to boy, God, that nice left hook, nice right cross by Lemos. <clears throat> okay, Richardson fighting. Okay, see, I, I think Richardson. I, I'm, I'm looking at him right there in the pocket, right. I think he can bang with him a little bit. He need, he might need to sit there and bang. Because if he gets tired, he's going to be forced to fight that type of fight if he gets tired. If he keeps burning a lot of energy trying to get away, ooh, the both of them trade the nice jabs and the, uh, the hook. Nice jabs again. Nice jab again by uh by Richardson. <clears throat> nice right cross by Richardson. See, he's gonna have to fight him now. That's why he's gonna have to fight at the end of it. If you're gonna if you're gonna grab him and hold him, you're gonna have to fight him in the pocket. It's that simple. If you're gonna if Richardson, if you're gonna grab the man and hold him, you might as well make it an inside fight game. Fight him in the pocket. Night jab by Richardson. Night jab again. And every time, see, every time um Lemos get ready to let his hands go, Richardson grab him. Oh, nice left hook by Richardson. Nice left hook. That was a nice one. That's a clean one there. Nice jab again. Okay. Nice right. Nice, nice, okay. Nice parry. Lemos. He tying him up. Lemos missing. Missed again. Missed again. Okay. <clears throat> Just got to settle down a little bit. You know, I saw, so, I saw something right there. I said, you know what? I saw something right there. I said, you know what? Richardson can fight him in that pocket. 
You angle them in the pocket, <clears throat> give them the shoulder, catch, catch with the shoulder, come back and counter with the same, um, come back and counter with a, like a little short uppercut, right over left hook. Like he just got to catch and roll with those shots. <clears throat> if he can roll with the shots and catch, stay calm. Like James, you remember y'all remember what James Lightside Tony said? He was like, "Listen, man, you know, inside fighting is very, very. The key to inside fighting is being calm. If you if you stay calm and poised, you will see every punch that's coming. You'll see every punch that's coming. And you're right about that, Keith. He said he can, but he got he got to throw punches. I, I agree. He do has to throw punches." But I saw a little something in that last round, though. That last round, round we're in round six right now. He seemed like that's where he want to be at. He seemed like that's where he want to be at right now. Now, if you if you lay most, that's exactly where you want to be at. Because you want to land, he, let's see, lay most throwing, hey, man, you see he threw a wild left, a wild right, a wild, he threw a wild left, a wild right, wild left, and a wild right. So he throwing haymakers. <coughs> so he, so lay most swinging for the fences. He's telegraphing his punches. He's telegraphing the punches. You get what I'm saying? Nice uppercut by uh, Richardson. That's why I say he can stay there because he, he, you can see the punches coming because he's telegraphing them. Nice jab. He boxing, he boxing a lot smarter now. Leaning on him. Hit him in the body. Angle him, give him the shoulder. Block that right, that's right. Block that block. Keep your guard up. Oh, that's a nice sneaky right cross by um, by um, Richardson. Nice left hook. Nice right cross by Dog on Lemos. Come over to the body. Nice jab by Richardson. Why he was a nice jab again. Nice body shot by Richardson. Okay, look like he's settling down a little bit now. Nice turn, nice turn. All right, all right. And he keep tying them up too. He hitting them now. He getting off a little bit more now. Getting off a little bit more now. Lemos got to land some. He just he threw a wild he threw a wild overhand right, wild overhand right. Nice combo by Richardson. Nice right cross by Lemos. Nice right cross. Nice left hook right cross by um, um, Richardson. Jab. All right, if you if you gonna get in there close, you gotta fight on the inside. Nice jab again. Look like look like uh, uh okay, nice couple. Oh, that's a nice right cross, short right by Lemos. But uh, Richardson came back with a combo. Nice left foot by Richardson. Nice uh, oh, nice right cross by Dog on Lemos. Right uh, uh, he, he just he just out a right hook to the uh, elbow. Nice jab by Richardson. Double jab. Getting up under the offense and grabbing and spinning them. Okay, cool. Jab again. Look like dog on lay, and then he grabbing him. Lay most look like he don't slow down a little bit. He look like he don't slow down. He trying to catch him, but you know what? He ain't landing nothing. Lay most ain't landing nothing, and he's coming straight ahead. He's coming straight ahead now like this. If Richardson, if Richardson can continue to fight him like this. He'll he'll easily he'll easily beat this guy. True, true, true. He, he, he said, what you say? Shout out to Keith Bulldogs. He said he can win if he go to distance because dude getting tired. Yeah, he definitely getting tired. I see that. I see that. He's getting tired. Yeah, he's getting tired. He's getting tired. And um he's throwing all haymakers. He's throwing all bombs. He's like, I'm finna throw the left. Huh. I'm finna throw the right. Huh. I'm finna throw another left. Huh. I'm finna throw another right. Huh. Finna throw the right again. Huh. Like he's literally swinging for the fences. That, that's it. He's telegraphing every punch he's throwing now. Lemos, you gotta, you gotta stop telegraphing your punches, fam. Nice double jab by Dog on um, Hitchens. Round seven. Now it look like Lemos going backwards now. 
Lamont's going backwards. Now, now Hitch is stepping to him now. Shooting the jab out there. Shooting the jab out there. Look like, look like Lamont's backing up again. He backing up some more. Nice jab again by dog on, on Richardson. Look like look, uh, nice jab again. Okay, he don't win southpaw. He don't win southpaw. Like most don't win southpaw. Got hit with the right hand. They just they just class heads. They just class heads. Wow. He he just went. Oh, he, uh, I thought I thought he went his eye on him. Southpaw. Right cross. That's a nice right cross by dog on Lemos. This uh, this is an ugly fight though because uh hitch 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 is grabbing him. <clears throat> he gonna tie him up in the clutch. <clears throat> but this see this is the thing right? He throw another haymaker again. Throw a wide right hand. Oh nice left hook. He caught he caught Richardson then with that left hook. <clears throat> but as I said, he's telegraphing all of his punches. Throw another left hook miss wide. He's Oh, nice straight, nice right cross by Hitchens. Nice jab by Hitchens. Nice, okay, nice combo by the Hitchens. Nice, nice left foot to the body by Lemos. Check left hook. Check left hook. Check him right there. Check him right there. Spin to the strong side. <coughs> Check him right there. Spin to the strong side. Shout out to everybody watching on Twitter. We got over 300 watching on Twitter, and we got 369 watching in the chat. With 379 watching in the chat. On two YouTube channels. Um, all right, let's see what's going on with it. Okay, that's a nice little short left hook by Lemos. Lemos, okay, look like um, look like um, Hitchison is kind of like controlling it a little bit now. Look like he's getting his rhythm down, Pack. Lemos is swinging. Lemos is swinging for the fences. He's getting out box right now. Now he's keeping the pressure on, trying to get close. He just swung a right cross and missed. Richardson ducked up under it because he's telegraphing his punches. Nice one-two down the pipe by Richardson. He's telegraphing his punches. Now he's giving him the shoulder. See, he can do that. Give him, if you, if you can fight with him on the inside, just give him the shoulder. Give him that shoulder roll. Put that shoulder on him, that Philly shell rather. Put that Philly shell on him. And you can, you know, you can, pop, you can, you can catch, shoot, parry, block, slip, counter. But I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't, I don't know if Hitchison has that, has that in his offensive arsenal. To be fair, I don't think he have that in his in his arsenal. Man, I don't know, man. Hitchens, Hitchens got a. Uh, You get what I'm saying? Like, what he what he gonna have to do? He said, "Is Hitchens? Is Hitchens, coach? His name is Richardson Hitchens." Keith Bulldogs, do you know his first name? His name is Richardson Hitchens. That's his name, Richardson. Yeah, that's the name, Richardson Hitchens. Hey, 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 this round eight, round eight, this round eight, this round eight. Now, let's see. Let's see, can Lemos get a, let's see, can Lemos get a, um, a second win? Look like he kind of got tired them last two rounds. A lot of pressure throwing a lot of punches. He don't want to get tired with this guy because what's going to happen, oh, nice left hook. Nice left hook by Lemos. That was a nice left hook. Nice combination. The, the, you know, the thing is with Lemos, He's too squared up, though. He's too squared up. I wish he wasn't so squared up. He needs to angle. Oh, nice right cross by Lemos. Nice right cross. But look like, look like, look like um Hitchens hurt. He grabbed him. Look like he was hurt. Look like he kind of knocked him off balance. Oh yeah, he got caught with the right hand. Another right hand. Oh, he holding on, boy. He holding on, boy. He hurt. Hitchens hurt, boy. He hurt. He on the Bambi legs. He on the baby legs right now. He holding on. Listen, man. If um, if um, if Lemos, if oh, nice, nice one-two by Lemos. 
Nice one, too. Hitch is hurt again. Look, he hurt. He got him on the ropes. If Lemos can keep his composure, he can get the knockdown or the knockout. He got to keep his composure. Oh, nice one, too. Yeah, he got he on them bambi legs, boy. He on them bambi legs. He got to. Oh, nice one, too, by Lemos. Hitch has got to. Listen. Yeah, man. Lemos dominating this round. Hitch is, Hitch is still. He looking at the time, too. Hitch is looking at the time, too. Oh, he on them bambi legs. He trying to hold on. And, boy, it's a minute. It's a minute and 15 seconds left. A minute and 15 seconds left, boy. Boy, I don't know. But listen. Nice uppercut by Lemos. Nice uppercut by both men. Nice uppercut by Lemos again. Okay, look, look. He's just letting his hands go a little bit. Nice one, two by Lemos. They, oh, they, but listen. This close range fight right here. This close range right here. Oh, nice one, two by Richardson. Nice one, two by Richardson. Look like he's getting off a little bit now. One, two, uppercut. Right hook. Oh, I, yeah, I know Lemos. Lemos finna drop that bomb on him. He finna try to drop that haymaker. That's what he finna. Oh, nice jab by Richardson. Nice right cross by Dog on Lemos. He going to the body now, going to the ribs. Boy, this is a good round right here, boy. Nice uppercut by Richardson. Nice uppercut. Look like he hurt him. Nice, oh, nice body shot by Richardson. Man, this is a good round. Oh, boy, look. Oh, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. Boy, Lemos came back and called Richardson with a dog on uh, one, two on the ropes. Boy, this is a good round right here, boy. Boy, this is a good. <laughs> boy, this is a good. This round eight. This round eight. Boy, this is a good round, boy. Boy, I'm trying to. Oh, nice right cross by Dog on Lemos. Caught him with a right cross. Man. <laughs> no, boy. Boy, I don't know. Listen, I don't know how he got out of that round. Boy, I don't know how. But he was hurt. He was hurt. I don't know how he got out of that round there, boy. For real, though. Bruh. Bruh, I don't know how he got out of that round. Shout out to Yamas. What's going on, fam? That's crazy. Hey. Hey, I don't. Listen. Oh, it was that left hook. It was that little foot that hurt him. What it was, the left foot? And then he came back with a one-two down the pipe. Oh, nice. Oh, then he got off a little bit. Right cross. Or well, right hook. Man. Round nine. Let's see what's up. Double the jab. We're at the top of the knife, y'all. Top of the knife. Chris Mannix had his fight even. See, that that's what that's what that's what um Lemos have to do. He got to bob and weave. He has to bob and weave. Okay, look at that. Richard, Rich, Rich, uh, Richardson looking looking pretty good. Look like he got his legs up under him now. Look like he got his legs up under him. Okay, look, he threw that right cross with mean intentions, boy. He threw that right cross with mean intentions. <clears throat> threw that right cross with mean intentions. As long as Lemos, he got to keep his head off the line. Bob and weave, cut the ring off, and then he just keep grabbing him. He keep grabbing him. See, that's the thing. Y y that's the thing. Like, you know what? Richardson, you, you, you know what they say? They, they say Devin Haney like to jab and grab, or Shakur like to jab and grab. It looks like Richardson is kind of doing the same style that people accuse Devin Haney of doing, jabbing and grabbing and stuff like that. Because when it get close, he's going to grab you and tie you up. See, he, just, he tying him up again. He tying him up again. He's tying him up again. He tied him up again. That's the same thing. Yeah, he tying him up again, you know. That's what Caleb Plant was doing to um, David Benavidez. He tied him up again. Now he let him go and let his hands go. Lemos, now I know he doing that to frustrate Lemos. Tying him up again. Tying him up again. See, this is, <clears throat> bruh, they, you know what? They, they, it's going to be, it's going to be hard. It's, it's, but it's going to be, it's going to be hard to try to sell him, make him a, make, make him a main event fighter. 
Nice. Oh, and, okay. Nice right cross. Nice right cross. Um, uh, by uh by Hitchens. Jab. Oh, nice left foot. Nice left foot by Dog Go Lemos. And Dog Go Hitchens came. Nice uppercut by Hitchens. Hit the nice uppercut. Um, uh, right uppercut, left hook. That's a nice one there. He caught it with a nice clean uppercut. Did shooting a jab out there. Nice one, nice one, two, one, one, two in the uppercut by Lemos. Nice left hook again. Not, not, okay, nice. Okay, look like um, I mean Hitchens. Hitchens got to stay away from that left hook. That left hook been catching him. Nice left hook by Hitchens. Nice left hook. Tying up again. He tying up again. You know what though, man? Yeah, he keep tying up, dog. Like, like. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very difficult. It's gonna be very difficult to like. This is the same stuff y'all said that Shakur and and Devin Haney and and they like to jab and grab and tie you up and they get close up like that. Like Hitchens can't never say anything bad about Devin Haney. He can't say Devin Haney is a boring fighter. This and that. And what you say now? You say what X talking about? That's a good question. Let's go. Let's go over here and see. Let's go over here and see, Nay. I'm finna, I'm finna pull it up right now. What X talking about? What X talking about? He doing a lot of, you doing a lot of, hold on, let me see what's up. All right, guys, it's round 10. Round 10. Oh, nice. Okay, nice left hook. They grabbing. Nice uppercut. Uh, nice jab. Oh, nice, oh, nice left foot by Dog Gone. Nice left foot by Lemos. That was a nice left foot. That left foot came out explosive. Lemos looked like he got his legs up under him now. Nice double jab by, um, by Hitchens. Jab again. Nice two piece by Hitchens. You know why? Because Lemos, Lemos got a bob. He got to bob his head. You just can't be in the center like this here coming forward. You have to bob your head. Bob. Oh, nice uppercut by Lemos. Nice double jab by R Richardson. Nice two-piece. Oh, that's a nice doggone right cross by doggone Hitchens. That was a nice good right cross. Man. Both men was hitting each other in the exchange. Both men... Nice one two, nice one two by Dog on Lemos. Lemos letting it all hang out right now. No Diddy. Nice one two by Dog on Hitchens. One minute and forty five seconds left in this round. This it. This the championship rounds right here, boy. But um, Hitchens look like he tired. Hitchens look like he tired a little bit. Both men are kind of tired to be honest. Nice dog on left hook. Nice left hook. Um, by both men. Oh, nice uppercut by Doggone Hitchens. That was a nice uppercut. That came out of nowhere. Oh. Boy, he got Lemos on the ropes. He got Lemos on the ropes. What Lemos going to do? You going to sit on the ropes or you going to fight, fight your way off? Lemos got hurt by that uppercut. Looked like the uppercut took something out of him then. The uppercut took something out of him. Oh. He let them hands go. Lemos let them hands go, though. Oh, nice right, nice, nice, nice right cross by Lemos. Nice uppercut by Lemos. Oh, he let them hands go. Boy, look like Dog on. Hey, he holding on, holding on. Nice, nice right cross by Dog on Hitchens. Nice right cross by Hitchens. Boy, law, he going back to the body now. Boy, he got that dog in him. Hitchens got that dog in him. Lemos got that dog in him. But both of these dudes dead tired. They dead tired letting them hands go. They letting it all hang out. No Diddy. They letting it all hang out. No Diddy. No right. Oh, man. This right here, boy. This fight turned out to be a good fight, boy. This fight turned out to be a good fight. Jab to the head. Jab to the body. Nice left hook. Both men tired. Both men got their mouth. Both men got their mouth open. They breathing through their mouth. They tired. But, oh, nice left hook. Oh, nice right cross by dog on Lemos. Do a haymaker and miss. Hitches, Hitches getting up out of there. All right, that's it. Ten, 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 ten down, two more to go. Ten down, two more to go. Hey, what it say? 
Uh, Cody ain't saying, Coach, you need to get some shirts that say dog on. Hey, man, I'm just saying, bro. Bro, this is a good fight, fam. This fight, this fight turned out to be good, bro. Like, you know, like both men, both men catching each other with some good shots. You know, now it's like you got to have that, sometimes you just got to have that bite down and fight. You got to have that bite down and fight sometimes. That's that, this what it's coming to. You gonna get, you gotta have that bite down and fight sometimes. That's what it is. Nice one two, one two. Yeah, he came back, came back with the right cross. Finished with the right cross. Yeah, it is what he got to get it down now. It is what it is. Lord have mercy. But I think, but but I, hey, hey, but I think now this one forty. This one forty. Say what weight class is 140? Yeah, that thing now made Dr. Umar Johnson get weak. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Nice left hook by doggone. Right cross and left hook by doggone Lemos. Look like Hitch, look like Hitch is hurt. Is Hitch is hurt? Oh no, he letting his hands go. He letting his hands go. Look like he was hurt. I don't know. It kinda it kinda do look like he hurt though. Kinda do look like he kinda his legs look kind of, Oh, nice left, left hook by doggone Lemos. But uh, Hitch just dropped out uh, shooting the jab on him. Shoot the jab down the pipe. Shoot the jab down. Oh, he going, he look like he, he going back orthodox now. He going back orthodox. He going back orthodox. He was fighting southpaw, now he going back orthodox. Oh, I see what it is. When he when, when he's southpaw, he can only go, he, 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 he got to square up. He can't fight in the angle. There you go. They fighting in the middle of the ring now, boy. Nice one, two. Nice one, two. Oh, nice double jab by dog on um, Hitchens. Jab again. Nice jab by Dog on Lemos. Going to the body. Right cross to the body. Oh, man. Both men fail. Both men fail. Tied each other. <laughs> boy, this right here, boy. But he throwing them haymakers, boy. Lemos throwing them haymakers. That left, that, that left hook, that left hook been a money shot for Lemos though. He just threw, he just threw three haymakers and missed. That left hook been a money shot for, for, for Lemos. Oh, there it goes. Um, okay, like nice spin. I like the way um Hitchin spent them though. He turned them. Turned them, turned them, turned them, got him on the ropes. Use his momentum against him to, to, to turn them. Nice jab. Nice uppercut. Right cross by Lemos. Nice jab by um by Richardson. Tightened up Hitchens. Boy Lemos, boy Lemos, Lemos stepping in the name of love though. Getting his head off the line. See what happens is when he's in, when he when he's fighting um orthodox, he's able to fight more in the angle and bob and weave. When he fights um when he fights um in the southpaw stance, he's more squared up. He's more squared up. Nice one two down the pipe by um by Hitchens. Hitchens looked like he got his legs up under him. Got his legs up under him. Looking pretty good right now. He pushing those punches right there though. He looked like he got tired right there. Pushing those punches. He danced around the ring trying to stay away from that power. Eleven down, one more to go. This is the last round. I don't know how the judges got this scored. I don't know how the judges had this scored here, man. Shout out to my sister, Miss Parker. She said the ref said, no K. He said, no K. OK, down. You guys are tired. Yeah. Boy, boy, this is a good fight. Oh, he caught it with a left hook. See, that left hook been his money shot. Go to the body. Nice jab. Nice one-two by um by Hitchens. Nice one-two. Then he came back with the right cross again. Yeah. Both men had their moments in that round. This the last round. This the last what you say, uh, Miss Parker. You say Super L Matias will hurt will hurt these guys. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. This it, this the last round. Look like look like people came back in there too. Look like they came in there and filled it up a little bit. 
Last round, let's see. Lemos going for the kill. You know, nice jab by Hitchens. Nice jab by Hitchens. Lemos going, he going for the kill. You ought to know that. Hitchens dance around the ring. Bob, and look at that. He's still kind of squared up. Stepping in counter, trap counter. Hitchens shooting the jab and moving. Hitchens dancing around the ring a little bit. Now he's tying up when Lemos get close. See that that's the thing. Like fans gonna say, fans gonna say he like the um fans gonna say he like the um the uh the jab and grab. That that's what they oh nice uppercut, nice uppercut by uh, by Hitches. That was a nice uppercut. Nice. And he moving around a lot, so they're gonna say he running. They're gonna say he running, he like the hug. Yeah, he run, yeah. He just trying to stay out of the way. See, he figured that he see, he figured he got the fight in the bag. Nice right cross by dog on uh, Lemos. Nice, nice jab by Lemos. He letting them hands go like the Tasmanian Devil and he's just grabbing them. He holding on to the rope and everything. Nice left hook by both men. He just keep grabbing, man. He keep grabbing, dog. He's supposed, uh, he supposed to now. Oh, nice one, two by Hitchens. Nice one, two. Jab to the body. Left hook by Hitchens. Nice jab by Hitchens. And then Lemos letting the combination go and hit his grab him. He looking at the clock. He looking at the clock now. He on his bicycle. He on his bicycle. He, oh, oh not, nice right cross. Nice right cross by Lemos. Did it hurt him though? No, I didn't hurt him. Nice jab by, uh, nice double jab by Hitchens. Hitchens grabbing again. He grabbing again, dog. Bruh, Lord have mercy. Nice left hook. By both men. Nice right, nice left hook. Again, that left hook again. By Lemos. Right hook to the body. He got him on the road. Hitches, hitches, okay, hitches move around the ring. Move around the ring. Trying not to engage. Grabbing and holding. Nice haymaker to the body. By Lemos. The right hook to the body, but he missed with the left hand. He try, he's trying to force the fight. He's trying to force the fight. Okay, he just grab again. He just grab him again, tying him up. He must, you know, he like, come on, man, let's fight. Nice one, two, nice double jab. Nice double jab. Nice jab again. Damn. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he, he got frustrated. I don't know. I don't listen. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to score that one. You know what? Now, this is the same thing that people said, criticized Devin Haney for when he fought, when he fought George Cambosos the first fight. And then people said that Shakur ran against um, Edwin De Los Santos in his last fight. Would you say this fight was a combination of running and grabbing and holding and fighting in certain spots like how would you guys how would you how would you um rate this fight like how would you you get what i'm saying uh loose dog said too much holding the most by decision when cherry picking goes wrong, <laughs> Keith said all of the above. <laughs> I later say too much holding. <laughs> holding on. What we got to do when love is gone. And that's no lie. Holding on. What we got to do when love is gone. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was our right hook. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know, boy. <clears throat> yeah, boy, them dudes there. You know, they 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 had some good rounds where they had bite down in there when uh, when um yeah, man, that pre hey, a pressure fighter. We're going to see what's up. 
We're going to see what's up, man. Hold on. Let's see what's up. Shout out to Alfred. He said, peace, coach. I guarantee they get a fight to Hitchens just because they ain't take a point for grabbing. Let's see what they got. One seventeen, one eleven. One fifteen and one thirteen, two judges. Still undefeated. So Richardson Hitchens won by unanimous decision. <laughs> 117-111. 117-111. The two judges had it 117, 111, man. Come on, man. 117, 111. No. <laughs> he said 117, 111 for Hitchens. Uh, for uh, for uh, for Hitchens. Bro, like, that wasn't no 117, 111 for Hitchens. No, not that. <laughs> no. I mean, that's saying that Hitchens dominated the fight, 117, 111. No, 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 that ain't, that ain't, that ain't what I saw. <laughs> that ain't what I saw. <laughs> hey, what he say? Shout out to Alfred. Hey, okay. Drop it out, quarter of a dub. He said, what I tell you, coach? Yeah, you did say it now. True, true, true. He said it. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People primping, pimping, sharp as raise a blades. I'm trying to see what he's saying. <laughs> well, 17, what 11 hitches, hitches. He said they're going to try to say he got robbed. <laughs> but I ain't there. <laughs> Lisa said he said he won easily. <laughs> he said he won. <laughs> hey, shout out to Food Revolution. What's going on, sis? <laughs> hey, so what's what y'all what y'all think about his style though? What y'all think about his style? Food Revolution say who won the fight? Rich, uh, Richardson Hitchens won the fight. Unanimous decision. Uh <laughs> G5. <laughs> hey, shout out to Rod J, man. <laughs> shout out to Dog on T Seals. <laughs> hey, you know what he said? Hey, you know what he said? Uh, hey, you know what he said? He said, uh, he said, uh, what, what he said? He said, uh, uh, he, he, what'd you say? He said, he said, hell, he said, the running and the holding style. Get out of here. No, no, all jokes aside, the question, the question I want to ask y'all is this here. The criticism on Devin Haney was he jabs and grabs. 
He did that in the George Cambosos fight, the first fight. The criticism of Shakur Stevenson is he's a runner, he's a track star. So, based on your observation of Richardson Hitchens' performance tonight, would you say um, his style is a combination of Shakur and Devin when he when Devin fought George Cambosos? Or what do you what, what say you what say you about the way he fought tonight? I'm, I'm talking about specifically tonight. What say you about how he fought tonight? His style. What say you about his style? Phone lines open too, man. 530-494-9636. 530-494-9636. The phone lines are open. I'm just saying, what say, what say you, what say you about his style? What you saw tonight? I want you to, I want you to call me. Yeah. Um, Super Damn with this. Mm. That'd be a good matchup. That'd be a good matchup, but I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that one for him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that fight for him, Super Damn Matias, right now. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot that, it's a lot that, um, it's a lot that Africa gonna have to work on. It's a lot he's gonna have to work on. Super Damn Matias, right now. Don't get me wrong. I ain't putting no fight in the fight in the witness protection program. If they want to make that fight, they need to make that fight. But it's gonna be very, very difficult for me to, to bet with him on that fight. Shout out to Alfred. Hey, okay. For dropping that half for Bam, dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Chat received. Playtime's over, boy. Boy. Uh, shout out to, uh, shout out, what do you say, he say, Coach? He say, Coach, welcome to. Hold on. Uh, Carla, hold on. He say, Coach, uh, welcome to the game. The best took losses and got the pass. Mayweather, Canelo, and Haney got the pass when they lost. Um, call it, what's your name? Where you call it from? What up, Coach? It's Roach from Houston. Roach from Ace Town. Talk to me, fam. Hey, uh, so I started watching the fight in the eighth round, right? I, uh, I was working, so I came in late. So I watched the fight in the eighth round. Mm. Man, I saw Richard Houston just lose at least four rounds. <laughs> from the eighth round on. <laughs> so, I don't know where the fuck dude got one second to see him with a letter from. Yeah. But, oh no, bro. They need to stop letting these baboons judge, man. Okay? It can't be no humans watching these fight. Or maybe we don't know what we looking at, so, You know man. what I'm saying? But that, I just wanted to call it. Man, one second to see him with a letter. It's just downright agreed. Yeah. Yeah, Roach, that's, that's crazy, man. Uh, what, Listen. I like Rich. I like Richardson, but the man ain't win. I didn't. I, the fight I saw, he didn't win no one seventeen, one eleven. Not not no one seventeen. Hell no. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see that. You know, I know so. for a fact he ain't win one seventeen, one eleven. Like I said, I just watched five rounds. Yeah. So yeah, man. I just I don't know what these judges are doing. Uh, as far as his fighting style, this is my last time you fucked it up. Uh, his fighting style, I just think I, I think he was looking for that final bell from round nine on. Mm. You know what I mean? He got, he got stung with some shots. He was tired. Uh, he stopped with limos. He wasn't letting up off the pressure. So mm. I just think he was looking for that final bill. Yeah. I appreciate you taking my car, because I'm going to get off here and let you cook. Man, shout out to Rose, man. Ace Town, stand up, man. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, 117, 111, 117. Now, the 115, 113. 115, 113, you know, those judges saw it, saw it close, closer. 117, 111, that just, nah. Nah. Um, and then he was doing a lot of holding in this fight, a whole lot of holding. I, me personally, I thought that the holding was excessive, and the referee ne never warned him. Did he warn him on holding? I don't think the referee ever warned him not one time for holding. Like, dude, you just holding too much, dog. Like, you get what I'm saying? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't warn him not one time for holding. So, uh, call him. What's your name? Call him. Uh, Wise from Houston. Wise from Houston, talk to me. Yeah, uh, I got to see the fight. Uh, it was a cool fight, but like, 
Yeah, I don't agree with that, that 117, 111. That was like a wild scorecard. But besides that, Hitchin, he was doing good with his jab. But it's like, I'll say this, Hitch, I feel like if we were looking at it from a boxing standpoint, Hitch has landed more jabs. He landed more shots. But what's, what's his name? Lamos, he, he, he basically like, he won like the energy part of the fight. You, you get what I'm saying? Like you could kind of tell like Hitch was like a little like wounded. But I feel like Hitch got to come back stronger in his next fight. Against Matias and or whoever in the WBC, whichever route he take, he might take the IBF. No, route. no, he, he's in the IBF right now. He has the IBF um, I think intern title, so he's in okay. line to fight Matias next, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that'll be a good one. That'll be a good test for him. But I feel like he should catch one more tune up and then get Matias at the end of the year. Mm. Uh, he got to work on, like I said, just defense, just defense, and just keeping the, that guard tight. But that was a tough man. The, the guy Lamos was twenty, what twenty something, twenty like basically thirty and zero. So it was a good step up. It's, it's a step up fight. So I feel like you know the judges they they kind of gave it to to him. But yeah, that's that's my call though. You know. All right, salute, man. Shout out to him, shout man. out to the wise man from Houston, man. Salute, brother. <laughs> yeah, he was holding. He was um. He was he was holding. He was holding obsessively for me. He was holding a lot. I mean, he was he he was hold, he was holding a lot. He was holding a lot. Um, I like, bro, like it, it, bro. It was it was like a couple of rounds that any time, any time, uh, Lemos got close, he just grabbed him. He just grabbed him. You get what I'm saying? So, um, one seventeen, one eleven was a little too wide for me. To be fair, um, Carla, what's your name? You calling from? Hey, listen, man, how you doing, bro? Can you hear me? I can barely hear you. Let me call you back, brother. Okay. Um, yeah, man, you get what I'm saying? So, um, what you say, McCord? You say uh, too much holding and no warning. Hey, you know what? The ref, the ref never warned for excessive clinching. Don't get me wrong. The clinch is a part of boxing. The clinch is a part of boxing. But when you do it obsessively, it was just too much. It was just too much holding. And another thing I didn't agree with, you're saying that Hitch, Hitch is one unanimous. So, like he, like, you get what I'm saying? So, Lemos, no judge saw no Lemos winning anything. That was, you know. Uh, Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? All right, Coach, this is Storm. How you doing? Um, Storm, talk to me. You hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Man, he just didn't need to keep Haney's name out of his mouth. That's all <laughs> I got to really say. <laughs> 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 he need to keep that man's name out of his mouth. <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he, he got heart. He got a chin. I give him that. And I mean, I see the skills, too, but... <laughs> he don't have that. He, he man, come on, man. <laughs> he he already, yeah, I, and I get he down with the core and all them, but I don't know. I, I, I didn't, I didn't like that. And I think when he said that, he got, he got humble tonight, and the whole world saw it. Now he, and, you know, um, he, he really down, he really down with Tank. Him and Tank real, real close. You know, that's, that's oh, is he, that what it is? Okay, yeah, he really rock with Tank. So, okay. um. But I don't know, man. Do you think? Do you think? Um, do you think? Do you think he was um, doing a lot of obsessive holding? Absolutely, a lot of holding. Uh, um, <laughs> he say absolutely. A lot of holding, and he didn't have, and he didn't, and he didn't have the power to keep dude off of him. <laughs> he, um, he 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 got the style, but I don't know. It's something missing. Like he 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 got heart, he got chin, he got the style. Yeah. But, I don't know if he has the ring IQ. His defense was lacking. He even Clarissa Seals like put your hands up. Like you shouldn't have to tell an elite fighter that say he's on Haney's level to put his hands up. He, mm. he was getting hit with shots that a fighter of that caliber shouldn't be getting hit with. In my opinion. Mm. But I don't want to take nothing away from the other guy. We most I've never even heard of. Yeah, yeah. I like to see him again. That dude. That dude. He raw. You know what I mean? He he knew how to break dude down. And yeah. a lot of People with that style don't know how to break guys like that. Then, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, he was clearly um, the left hook was getting in there. He was throwing haymakers. Um, he he got he hurt he hurt he hurt Hitchens quite a few times in this fight, buckled him. 
um, you know, and um, he just he just had his points where he was getting off as well. But um, it was just for me, for me, it was too much holding. It was just too, too much holding because the fight looked kind of boring in the first half of the fight from a lot of the holding. Yeah. Um, I had him, I had him losing the first three rounds. Like the first three okay. rounds, he ain't do shit. When I say he, yeah, I mean he I, I had him losing the first three rounds. I agree. Now I just caught your show. Who did you have winning? Um, I had I had Hitches win. I picked that. That's why I picked the win. Okay. okay. No, I mean you. You thought he won the fight? Uh tonight I ain't gonna lie, man. Um, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of would have edged that out, man, to uh, Lemos, man, because I think that he was the one that was pushing the pressure. Uh, he was landing some bombs, you know, seven, five. I could give him that. I gave him the first three rounds. Um, Richards, Richardson was doing just too much holding for me. This holding some, some parts of the fight. He was like literally running. He was on his back foot, moving lateral to the left, moving lateral to the right. Jess. And every time they most got close, he'll, he'll land a jab or two. And every time the most got close, he'll just grab him and hold him. So I can't, for me, I can't give him that round. I can't give him rounds like that. And he did that several times. He did that several times in the fight went through several rounds. So, you know. For sure, Coach. Uh, you have a good one. Hit this and keep uh, Haney's name out your mouth, bro. Peace. I'm out, Coach. All right. Shout out to Storm, man. Storm said keep Devin Haney's name out your mouth, man. Hit this. Keep Devin Haney's name out your mouth. Yeah, man. I just, uh, it was just too much grabbing hold for me, man. I'm, I'm going to tell you something, boy, because, see, I, I know fighters. You know the fighters, the fighters who I, the fighters who I watch, the fighters who I watch, the, the type of style of boxing that I like, they they don't they don't do that, they don't have to do that. Shout out to L.J. Wright. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. You say his style tonight was called the hold and roll or the grab and go style. Hell, pick one, coach. Yeah, I don't I don't um, uh, call it. Hold on, hold on, call him. Um, shout out shout out to Raymond Moore. Hey. Dropping that quarter of a dub, he said he always talking ish about Haney and how he don't fight nobody, but he got his ass beat by a midget <laughs> and they gifted him and gifted a win and still talking ish. <laughs> Y'all call the man a midget. Hey, shout out to Stephen X. Hey, okay. Dropping that half for bam, dub on your boy. He said, peace be upon you. I scored the match 115-113 the most. Tonight is just another reminder that the business of boxing is more important to very, is more important to very important people. Then the integrity of sport. Peace. Um, Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? What's going on, Coach T Skills, Jersey? Man, T Skills, Jersey, talk to me, fam. Man, that nigga hit you some booty <laughs> cheeks, Coach, man. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Fuck that African nigga. That nigga got me. Word <laughs> up, man. He had me and this motherfucker mad as hell watching this dumb shit. He let this little motherfucking buzzsaw come in there and chop his ass up all goddamn night. He holding this motherfucker all night. And, and you running with guys like Shakur and all them, no wonder why nobody don't know who the fuck you is. You trash, bro. You got to get fucking win tonight. I, I guess they must be putting you on a plate for somebody else because you is fucking trash, my nigga. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Fuck his jab. Fuck <laughs> all that bullshit. <laughs> because in a perfect world, the little motherfucking Mexican won, dog. Period. I like to see the little 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 uh, dude fight Pitbull. I think that'd be a good fight. <laughs> Them two together, two little motherfucking chihuahuas hey, in there going at it. <laughs> bro, <Bruh>, Pitbull. <laughs> but, why, but one more thing though, coach. Who was that motherfucking stick figure in the fight before that? Who the fuck? Where the fuck they get that nigga from? Who the fuck was that nigga was stiff as shit in there? That was the sloppiest fucking fight I ever oh, seen you mean, in my you mean life. The slow, you mean the two slow dudes? Slow yeah, the ones to fight before the main event, the co-main event. Oh no, that, that was that was Pacheco. That was Pacheco and um Nicholson. Yeah, that Nicholson. Uh, that black dude. Who the fuck was that? He needed to go back to MMA. That motherfucker was stiff as shit. No man, he no, no really. No, his style. No, you know what? He um he has a very very awkward style. He's a counter puncher, and um um. Yeah, his style was very very awkward. I knew I knew this was gonna be a difficult yeah, fight. Yeah, that shit was hard he has a very to watch. Style, yeah. 
Very awkward style. Yeah, right, thanks for letting me show you. Yeah, that nigga hit you better keep all the top guys' name out his fucking mouth. He's a fucking bum. I'm out, coach. <laughs> y'all calling the man. Y'all calling the man a bum. Y'all calling the man a bum. Y'all put it down. So, so this. So that's what we doing now. This what we doing now. So, 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 so Hitchens. So, so Hitchens is the bum now. This what we doing now. Come on, man. Come on, man. The man the bum now. Uh, Carl, what's the name you calling from? Coach, what up, man? Yamas from Brooklyn. Yamas, what's going on, brother? Oh, man. That was a good one, man. That was a good one. I enjoyed that fight. Yeah. But, yo, you know, Richardson, he's from the Teddy Atlas gym that okay. I used to fuck with out here. And, like, I think a big part of his downfall was signing with Floyd, man. Because I happen to know, like, he, he, he like when he signed with him, it was more on some, I want to fuck with him because he's Floyd. It wasn't necessarily a great deal as far as like his career, mm -hmm. cause he was on the shelf, man. He was. He was fighting once a year. Like I followed this kid, man, and I think like him not being active for so long took a toll on him, man. And like I gotta give props to Lisa, cause she was talking about you know remaining humble, humility. Mm -hmm. And I saw that like 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 I could see his career, like um, it started lacking when he signed with Mayweather. I thought I, I felt like he thought he made it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I felt like know, that. You know, you know why? You know why? Because the, re the reason why I think he felt that way, Yamas, is because I'm with Money Mayweather. You know, the money team. He fell for the marketing. The money team. Yep. I'm over here where all the money is at and we're going to be paid. Yeah, I, let me I think share that's something with you, was. Coach. Hmm. Let me share something with you. Yo, he ain't getting no signing bonus. He basically just got down. It was on some like, all right, we'll fuck with you. But it wasn't no, I ain't going to say all, you know, his personal shit, but mm. it, it, it wasn't a good deal in my opinion. Like you just said, he wanted to be around that atmosphere, and I guess he thought it might rub off. Or he, I don't know, man. But I started seeing, you know, he lost momentum when that happened. He, they put him on the shelf, mm. and like, now we seeing the results of that, man. I, yo, I thought, you know, a draw would have been fair. Either way, I don't think it was a robbery. But you could have very easily gave it to the other guy, man. You, I want to see him. In did, did you? Head, did you? Man. Did you agree with the one seventeen, one eleven? That's that's the issue. Come on, man. Heard. Come on, man. They, yo, so he said that he won nine rounds. <laughs> that's, right? Am I, am I, yeah, am yeah, I yeah. You know, you're right. You're right. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Man. <laughs> that is. They crazy. had some real competitive rounds, <laughs> but I could never see. So you give him do three rounds? <laughs> he dominated at least five five rounds. <laughs> Hey, I, hey, I gave him the first three yeah. rounds myself. I said he won the first three rounds. <laughs> Yo, and I, and I ain't gonna fall. I'm biased, man. Because yeah. I know this kid. Like, like, I'm biased, man. Yeah, I understand. But it is what it is, man. Yeah. That dude had, you know, like, fighters know that mental pressure. Yeah. Is like, like, because you know you can't let up. Keep your guard up. He's all he can't forward the whole fight, man. Yeah. Like, this dude, he got to work on turning out. Yeah. He, he was did. just throwing it like. They call it like falling in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. And you I know your shot, talking. you just hold. That's like some, ah, uh, man. I don't know, Coach. Let, I'm going to tell you, man. Yo, yo, man, 20th man, it's on, baby. Yeah, let, and let me ask you this. Do you think it was excessive no. holding? Yo, they could have easily took a point or two away. Easily. Yeah. He I never warned him. No the, the ref he, never warned him, though. Warned him? The, war the ref never warned him. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to at least warn him. Cause, 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 yo, I ain't gonna fun. At one point, I think he's gonna get him out of there. Cause his leg was done, man. His legs were done. Yeah, his legs were done. His leg was, his legs was done, man. Yo, listen, man. Peace and love, man. You, you. you all right, we gonna, we gonna talk, man. All right, salute, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Going, Brooklyn, stand up, fam. All day, baby. Peace yes, and love. Yeah, man. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, stand up, baby. Brooklyn, stand up. Um. Yeah, man, I, you know, I'm not, I, honestly, honestly, the ref should have, the ref should have won. Shout out to Mr. Nice, dropping a $2 super chat. Super chat. He said he better than Rolo. Trash. He said Luda Africa. Hashtag let hove down. <laughs> let hove down. Huh? Yeah, I just, I just, I just, um, he's going to have to learn how to turn out. Uh, Yamas is right about that. He's going to have to learn how to turn out. Um, the thing is, is, you know, you got to know how to be calm and poised in there. Like, it, it, you know, 
I remember when I watched when Tank fought Esau Cruz, and Esau Cruz was aggressive. He was he wasn't, bro. He came he went at Tank. He was throwing bolo punches, wide hooks, looping overhand right. He didn't care. And Tank caught Esau Cruz, bro. You know when I knew Tank was in trouble in that fight. Tank caught Esau Cruz with a flush uppercut. Like flush, like the uppercut that he caught Leo Santa Cruz with. That man ate that uppercut. And his head barely moved. His head barely moved. He ate that uppercut and he kept coming forward. And I saw the look on Tank's face when he did that. That man, listen, bro, you, he took an uppercut from Tank Davis and was like, dog, that's all you got? <laughs> dog, that's all you got? And, bro, all night long he was on time. I was like, yeah. But Tank was, but Tank was turning them, though. Tank was turning them. See, Tank was like, okay, let me box. And he was turning them. Africa has to learn how to turn out. That's what that's what Yamas is talking about. He's gonna to have to learn. Listen, when you listen, when you pivot, you pivot out. When he when listen, when he uh, when uh, when he throw that when he throw that wide left hook, you 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 uh, you throw that wide left hook, you turn out to the you you turn out to your to your right, which is his left, and you you can block it, roll out and block it, roll out, and then when he roll out, you behind the guy. Or, or, or you behind the guy, and then when he turn around to see where you at, you can get off. You get what I'm saying? That's what he's going to have to probably just practice. He's probably not comfortable fighting um, those type of relentless pressure fighters. That's what he's going to have to uh, learn to keep practicing and learn how to get better with. Um, shout out to New, the new Country. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, Coach, Hitchens, he said Hitchens landed more left, hug, left lead hugs and right clinches than anything. Anything else in the fight, the ref should have deducted a point for that. Nah, the ref, the ref would have had to warn him first. He never warned him. That's why he didn't take a point. Um, call him. What's your name? Call him from Martin from Oakland. Martin from Oaktown. Talk to me. Yeah, coach. This is my first time watching a whole Hitchison fight. I mean, I've seen him on undercards. You know, just paid attention a few rounds here and there. But this is my whole first time watching him, and you know, from start to finish, and. I'm not impressed. I don't think he beats any of the elite guys at 135, 140. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, as much shit as I talk about Ryan Garcia, I could see Ryan Garcia beating him because this dude, it don't look like he got much power. No, he got no you power. You know, even with Ryan's little stupid ass antics, no. I could see no, him he, upsetting this. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't have no power. Um, he, you know, he. I mean, he, he's more of a pure boxer than anything. Um, power, you know, he will get you out of there, get some fighters out of there, but he doesn't really have power like that. Because he was catching yeah. this guy, he was catching this guy with some flesh stuff, and um, he doesn't really have power like that. He doesn't really have power like yeah, that. Yeah, it didn't nice even look like it bothered him. Yeah, yeah. You know, because see, what, what, what kills me about a fight like this, you got a four inch height advantage, you got a six inch reach advantage, and you're going to spend the whole fight clinching when you should be jabbing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because to, to me personally, the fact that he went the distance, that don't show me he got any type of dog because I never saw a sense of urgency. To me, when a fighter shows you he got that dog in him <clears throat> is when he goes all out like it's now or never. Like, I got to take this fool out this round or it's a wrap. And I never seen that. It seemed like he just seemed like like too confident, like, it's in the bag. Like, the judges ain't going to rob me. Or, yeah, the 12th round. You know yeah. what I mean? The 12th round is what really shocked me because he didn't do anything in the 12th round. He pretty much danced around, ran a little bit, uh, danced around a little bit. He didn't really um, try to fight or whatever that 12th round. It was as though he knew in his mind, yeah, I've done enough to win, win the fight. Like, you can't do that in the 12th round because you don't know how the judges – I always say this. Martin, you don't know how the judges are scoring this fight. That was a very, very, that was a close fight. So for you to dance around the ring in your mind, you're telling yourself, yeah, I already know I got it in the bag. I won enough rounds to win. And I'm like, uh, mm, you know, he, you gambled on that. You took a chance on that. Did you get what I'm saying? So, 
And I know yep. why and I know why he and I know why he was dancing around the ring running because he didn't want to take a chance in getting caught with something hurt or knocked out or whatever because he felt this guy's going to come after me this 12th round. And I know why he did it. Yep. But what if the judge would have went the other way? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah, cuz I mean, I looked at it like, okay, worst case scenario, we got a draw on our hand. Hmm. But you shouldn't ha you shouldn't be confident Knowing, hey, worst case scenario, I got to draw. Not as a fighter. Mm -hmm. Not as a fighter because too many fools get robbed. You know what I'm saying? You know, I get that it's rarely the A side, but, hey, there's a, there's a first time for everything. And, you know, I, I feel bad for old boy. I love to see Lemus, you know, get in the ring again. Yeah, I don't man. care against whoever. I feel you feel bad. me? I felt bad for him I, on that, yo. Yeah. You know. And, and, this, but, and, this, and see, hold on, before you go, Martin, this is what I tell people, right? If you feel this fight was a robbery, I have no problem with that. What I tell people is this here. You get fighters in America who say, yeah, man, I don't like going to them other countries because you get robbed. I don't want to go to Mexico because you'll get robbed. And that is true. You will. Um, you know, depending. You, you will. You will. Um, I don't like going to the U.K. because you'll get robbed. I don't like going to nowhere. I want to fight in America. I said, well, guess what? How do you think fighters who come from another country and come to America feel. Like That's they real. act like they act like American judges don't rob people. <laughs> Do you get For what real? I'm saying? Like you have yeah. fighters in America that feel like they got robbed by the judge and they in America fighting and they don't call oh, man, that was a close fight. I got robbed. So like you <laughs> how you think foreign fighters feel when they come to America and they know they fighting an American on his own home's home soil? They they yep. automatically know what's gonna happen to them, you know. Yep that that's why that's why I respect guys like Crawford and guys like Spence got their first belt overseas. Yeah, you feel me? So if when guys want to play that card, nah, motherfucker, you gotta you got at least one future Hall of Famer that went overseas to go get his first belt. So if he can do it, and you ain't nowhere near on his level, you you can't play that card. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shout out, man. Salute to you, fam, man. Thank you for calling the show, brother. Salute. All right, thank thank you. You. Um, again, I think the fight. I think the fight was close. I think it was more so one fifteen, one thirteen myself. But there's no way. There, let me tell you something. There's no way Hitchens won nine rounds to three. I mean, come on, man. I picked the man to win. I'm tell, I picked the man to win. But, bro, come on, man. There's no way this man won that fight. How would Judge saw it nine rounds to three? I have no idea. 117, 111? Are you serious? And then um, it was just too much holding. The first three rounds, like all Hitchens really did was hold. That's why I gave the first three rounds to the Lamos. I'm like, bro, this man holding. Why is he holding it so much? Because he saw the pressure. To, remember, Lemos came like um, no Diddy. He came at him. He came at him. The first three rounds, he was at him. He was at him like a pit. First three rounds, and, and Hitchin was running and, and holding, grabbing and holding a lot. And I'm like, man, no, nah, man, no, 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 no. So that mean, so like, I'm guess what? I'm gonna tell you something else. I want to see the scorecards. I'm anxious to see. Who did the judges give the 12th round to? Who did the judges give the 12th round to? Because we know what Hitches did in the 12th round. We know what he did in the 12th round. Right? He, you know, we know what he did. He was staying away. Who did the judges get a 12th round to? They showed the punch stats. They said Hitchens landed 172 punches and... Lamos landed 167 punches, or uh, it was like either 167 punches or 163 punches, or something of that sort. And he threw, and he threw more punches. He threw like 540, 550 something punches, and hits his through like four something. So they threw a lot of punches. I'm I'm anxious to see the in the round that the round that um uh uh Lamos hurt Hitchens. And almost got him. He hurt him a couple of a couple of times in, in different rounds. When he buckled them and had him 
beating him from pillar to post. I want to know. I want to know the, uh, what round that was. I want to know um, how did the judges score that round. D that that's that that's what I want to know. True, true, true. Somebody said he's not ready for Matias. I I will I, I concur. I concur. He's not ready for Matias. Shout out, uh, shout out to Rafael. Hey, okay. For dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, why are callers calling in surprised about the decision? Like we didn't watch a judge have 114-114 with Canelo versus Floyd. Well, welcome to the sport, baby. Hey man, I mean, hey man, I mean, you know, um uh, boxing. Boxing, it is what it is, man. I mean, it is what it is. Now, I am the number one contender. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever he want to call himself, ducking me. All right, I'm tired of man driving around town in eight Rolls Royces. He ain't fought nobody. I'm still in a bro hand. This is why I like fighters like Terrence Crawford. This is why I like fighters like a new way, new way the monster. Man, we, 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 not, we ain't going 12 rounds. We like fighters. We like fighters who knock people out. We like fighters who give you knockouts. All right. Well, guess what? We ain't going twelve. I'm stopping you. A new way. Say we ain't going twelve. I'm stopping you. We we ain't got to worry about going to the judges. We not got to worry about going to the judges. Who the judge gonna pick? You ain't gonna make it to the judge. This fight gonna end in a knockout. That's how this going to end. We ain't, we ain't doing 12 rounds. Uh, Carl, what's the name of the caller from? It's Sugar the Bear again, Coach, man. How you doing tonight? Salute, fam. Sugar the Bear, talk to me, fam. Man, <clears throat> Coach, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> we, see some, we see some crazy things in boxing, man, with these, with these judges sometimes. Mm. You know, I think, Coach, I think me and you the same age, man. I'm 50. How, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 50. We both the same age. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I stopped watching boxing a long time ago <laughs> from one fight. And, and, Coach, you know what that fight was, man, that made me stop watching boxing, man, a long time ago? What's that? That was Oscar De La Hoya and Penel Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> coach, now, you see, I go back, Coach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> coach, listen, I watched that fight, man, me and my homeboys, man, and when they called that fight, man, for Oscar De La Hoya, man, I was so mad. Oh man, I was so mad, and and it's what you just said just a second ago. You know them good fighters, man. Like Bud, see, I like Bud too, man. Like I was watch, I was watching Bud, man, when Bud had the braids in the back, man, looking like the predator. Yeah, yeah. you know the the uh, the, the, uh, the man was doing his thing. A new way. I like I like that, that's what way, I like about these dudes, yeah. man. Like no, man, we like anyway. Like, look, you fighting in my country, but you ain't got to worry about getting robbed on the scorecards. I'm gonna knock your ass out. Um, it, it, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave it to the don't leave it to the cards. Yeah. Try your best not to leave it to the cards. Yeah. But what I saw what I saw with with, with Richardson, coach, um, man, for one, he did get tired. He got tired. Yeah. And for two, and and, and and for two, his IQ not gonna have not gonna let him beat them top guys as much as he running his mouth, man. No. He not gonna he not gonna beat a Devin Haney. And that would be and that would be a fight that would probably go to the cards. Yeah. But Devin Haney gonna dog walk him in the cards. Because of the because of the IQ. He he talk trash, he can't he he ain't gonna get away with it with cause Tank gonna stop him for one. And he ain't gonna and he ain't gonna out outbox Shakur. All of those top one forties is gonna beat that dude, man. He don't need to take that fight with with Matias right now. He don't need to take that fight. Yeah, I ain't, I'm not gonna lie he, to you, bro. Like, um, from what I saw tonight, based on what I saw tonight, uh, so he doesn't go twelve rounds with Super. Da like, if, if Super da Matias gets him hurt the way um, Gustavo Lemos got him got, yes. got got him hurt tonight, yes. he's done. Yes, done. He's done. done. He, he he'll he'll cook goose, man. You can stick a fork in him, man. He's done. Yeah. He he done if he, if you know, you know and 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 because of his IQ, Tiafimo gonna have a gonna have a, a wonderful time with him. Gonna have a wonderful time with him. And see, like I saw little small things that kind of disturbed me about him tonight, Coach. If you notice, remember when he would do that jab to the body and bring that jab right back up to the head. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
every single time he did that jab to the body, man, he stopped that boy dead in his tracks. The man, he and he didn't even have an answer for it. Mm. So you know how it goes in boxing, coach. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep working with that same thing and make and force them to have to make an adjustment. Force them to have to make an adjustment because they might not be smart enough to. I think what it was. I think what it was when he when he shot the jab to the body a couple of times. Um, mm -hmm. He he got he got clipped. He got clipped one. I think a couple of times he got clipped uh, with the right with the with the with the overhand like the overhand right look like a right cross he threw. He shot the jab. Yeah. And he kind of like left his left his chin out there a little bit, and then um, mm -hmm. uh, Lemos is coming over the top, and he caught him with that. He caught him. Um, pull it because he was trying to jab and pull back. He caught him pulling back, and he got mm -hmm. he got rocked uh, with a right with a right hand. Um, so, mm -hmm. uh, but but I no, but I get what you're saying though. It was times where he was going to the body, and they most was just in the high guard, like he'll like embrace for the shot. But I, I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Coach, man, good talking to you tonight, bro. Great show, man. Glad to watch a little bit with you, but uh. Keep doing your thing, man. I'll holler back at you some other time. Come yes, sir. Shout out to Sugar the Bell, man. Sugar the Bell. Um, yeah, it's just, bro, like, like the sense of holding. Like if you are, if you are, okay, let's say, uh, let's say if, um, if, if, if um, Hitchens and, if Hitchens were to fight, let's say an A-side fighter, a fighter that's an A-side, they are going to request a referee that would not allow him to hold so much. Say, listen, this dude hold all the time. Obsessive holding. Is there a way that you could, uh, we need a referee that, because uh, you, you can study these referees. You can study them. And you can study the referees and you can see, okay, what referees like, like what referees do in certain fights. And you just got to get a referee. Like if you somebody, if you find someone like a Tank Davis, He's going to make sure he's going to have a ref. Um, Carl, hold on. He's going to make sure that he has a ref that's more, hey, the ref ain't going to allow a lot of holding or a ref will let us bang on the inside. You know, because when you're you know, when you, when you the guy who dictate whatever, then you're going to make sure that everything is slated, you know, towards, you know, smaller ring size, whatever. You get what I'm saying? So um, he's going to be in there with someone, hey, I need a ref that's going to, Warn for excessive holding and this and that. This is what we see, you know. Um, Carlin, what's your name you call from? What's up, Coach? It's Jerry from Bmore. Jerry from Bmore, talk to me. Uh, I almost wasn't going to watch this fight tonight, this main event, because I I, I knew, I, I just had this gut feeling this was going to happen. Those Argentinian dudes are really tough fighters. And um, what we've seen here tonight was nothing new in boxing. Just another garden variety robbery for the house fighter. Just that simple. Hitchens is a good fighter. He's got a good pedigree. He didn't win the fight, man. He didn't win this fight. If there was a one seventeen one eleven score, it was it was Lemos. Mm. He was he was all over him, man, from the beginning of the fight, throughout the fight, even the rounds that Hitchens and won. He, they could have been swing rounds. I don't know what the fuck. I've had, I've just about had it with Sergio Mora. I, I've tried to like that guy, man, but his commentary seems whack to me. I, it just he he he's a house shroud. He 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 knows where his bread is buttered. I'll give him that because he started making a case for Hitchens, even when it really wasn't much of a case to be made for him. Yeah, he landed some punches. I mean, it's a fight. Um, he landed some punches, but. To me, it, it, Lee must control the whole fight. The whole fight. Um, hurt him badly in the one round, stunned him in other rounds, had him holding. He was moving, clinching, holding. Nah, it's just, it, you know, it's just a disgusting thing to see. But for me, I've seen it plenty of times before. Yeah, I, that's that's why that's why I, I, that's why I like the fighters who stop you. I like the fighters who, you know, look when I go in there with you, man, I'm stopping you. We ain't got, we don't have to worry about no judges. You ain't got to worry about you getting robbed by the judges because you think I'm a house fighter, or I don't have to worry about getting robbed. I'm gonna stop your ass, and we gon' we ain't got to worry about that. So that yeah, that, but that's, that's an easy thing to say, but uh, not not an easy thing to do. That's true. Lemos was trying to stop him. It looked to me like he was trying to stop him, but 
you just can't do that all the time. I mean, it's not like Hitz isn't a bum. Plus, he was holding, and he was he was running at times. And you know, it, it, it's easy to oh. say I'm I'm going to stop him, but that that you know that's something uh. you say. That ain't something you can always do. No, 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 I, no. I, I was saying on both ends. I was saying the type of fighters that I like. I'm not saying you know the type of fighters that I kind of uh, be, because this is the thing, right? Um, um, we saw the fight tonight, and you know Hitch, Hitchens held a lot, uh, especially the, the first three rounds. That's why I didn't give him the first three rounds. I said he holding too goddamn much. He started out holding. Um, so um, the referee never warned him for. I felt which was excessive holding. This is the same thing that people said that Devin Haney did when he fought George Cambosos in the first fight. So I saw a little bit of that from Hitchens. And then you said, like you said tonight, you said he was running a little bit as well. So you felt that he was running and grabbing and holding. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, I think he was. I don't know if it was what I would call excessive um, but he definitely was doing it, but I think he lost regardless. Um, they kept talking about he was landing the cleaner punches. I didn't see that. I mean, yes, he landed some clean punches, but Lemos outworked him and landed lots of clean punches himself. And we've seen how badly hurt he had. It almost looked like he had him ready to go Who? in that one round. Ooh. You know what? Uh, you know what? Um, I wonder what round that was, Jerry. Was that the eighth round? He heard him, yeah, how almost had him out of there? I think it was the eighth seven, round. Eight. Yeah. I wonder who the judges gave that round to. I wonder who the judges gave the eighth round to, and I wonder who the judges gave the twelfth round to. Because the twelfth round, um, um, Hitchens ran around the ring. He just he avoided any kind of contact, really. You know. They had, a, they had a little spat here and there, but he kind of like, because he knew in his mind he had to he had to fight in the bag. You get what I'm saying? Do you think he thought that? Really? You, you, could, you could tell the way he was moving. Look, look, at, look at that 12th round. Look at that 12th round. <clears throat> yeah, but that also could have been he didn't want to get stopped. I don't know. I mean, it's yeah, very no, likely he thought that because he was the house fighter. No, no, him out. No, no, no. No, you're right. Even if he... Move red because he didn't want to get stopped. How do, how do you know that you don't need that twelfth round to win? Like he didn't he didn't, he didn't fight to try to win the twelfth round. Was what I'm trying to say. You don't know how the judge is going to score this card. You might need that twelfth round to win the fight. He didn't come out and say this the twelfth. Let me go get him. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But like I said, you know, and you know as well as I do, we've seen it. Time and time again in boxing with yeah. house fighters getting house decisions. This was just another one. But, you know, my, what, what can you do? Uh, Eddie, Eddie Hearn said Limo is going to have him back. Uh, I'd like to see him again. I, he's my kind of fighter. He comes to, to really throw down. And he can box, too. Mm -hmm. He showed me in that fight that he could box. His opponent was taller, longer reach, had a good jab, but he was getting around that. And his pressure uh, was was winning in the fight, in my estimation, and uh, I like that style. And we'll, we'll see where Hitchin, Hitchinson goes from here because it doesn't look like he does well against uh, pressure, pressure fights. fighters. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, a lot of times you find out that these unheralded guys, like Alimos, because I had never seen them before, a lot of times you find those those guys are better than the, the house fighters or the headline, you know. A lot of times they're, they're, they're better. They just haven't gotten the opportunity to show it. He took full advantage of his opportunity tonight. I think he should have won the fight. And from what I'm getting looking around on the net, the consensus is he, he got robbed, and I, I agree. Yeah, a lot of people saying that on Twitter. I see that. All right, shout out to Jared for being more. Salute, fam. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, a lot of people saying that on Twitter, that they feel like that um I'm looking on Twitter. A lot of people feel that um, uh, they saying Hitchens. Hitch, they saying Hitchens. They saying Lamos got robbed. A lot of people saying that. Shout out to um, Stephen X. He say um, on my scorecards, I gave round 12 to Lamos, and he won. Okay. Um, shout out to Taylor for wealth. Hey, okay. For dropping that half a dub. He say Hitchens been fighting tomato cans in his shows. <laughs>
He better stay away from jail. He loves a top fighter. <laughs> he said, these new school fighters only fight one, two times a year and spar 50 times a year. He said that. He said that man don't fight that big cans. He said, he said, listen, he said the man don't fight that big cans. But you could call me the can man, cause anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it. <laughs> well, you can call me the can man, cause anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, <laughs> tomato cans, uh, 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 pork and bean cans, sardine cans. <laughs> Anybody can get it. Oh my God. G5 say PBC card was much more entertaining. Absolutely. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. The only thing is the PBC card was pay per view. This 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 here this here wasn't. So the PBC card was more entertaining, but you had to pay seventy but you had to pay um seventy dollars to watch it. Unless you streamed it. Like me, I didn't I didn't pay for it, so I got a chance to see I got a chance to see a stream probably like three four, probably about three, four days later. But um yeah, man, um it is what it is, you know. <laughs> Keith Bull all say damn do a sister daddy like that, coach so I just said. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, G5 say thirty dollars is pay per view. Um, I mean that's your opinion on it. Now it's a subscription. You gonna pay thirty dollars regardless if you have to, if you have to, if you have the subscription. Like me, I, I have I have a subscription to the Zone. I have a subscription to uh, ESPN. I have a subscription to Fight Fight. Was it Fight Something, Fight Club TV or something? I have a subscription to Bare Knuckle Boxing. Well, Bare Knuckle Boxing, what that is? Is that Fight Something? Man, I, man, I did, bro. I, bro, I have so many subscriptions, but I think, I think the highest subscription that I have is the Zone. Like out of all of the apps that I have for ESPN Plus and all that stuff, there, the Zone is the most expensive. I will, I will say that, fam. Like for real, though. Shout out to fans matter. Hey, okay. Dropping out half a dub. Hey, for on the real, the zone. That's a. I don't, I don't know any other subscription app that I have that's thirty dollars. I'm saying that's that's for like sports. And to be fair, to be honest, I hardly watch it. Like I'm there. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I have, I have, I have that BKF, BKFC. I have that. I have that. I have BKFC. I have that. You know what I mean? So, so um, yeah, I have that. I think I think that's the most expensive one. Shit, I man, I have I have I have so much stuff, bro. Like, <laughs> and I don't even watch the zone, bro. Like that. To be fair, like I'm paying, I'm just paying for it. I really don't even watch it like that. They have a lot of content on there. I watch some um, darts every now and then. I do catch darts. I watch darts every now and then, but um, to be fair, uh, shit, I watch more YouTube than anything. I really don't. I really don't watch TV. Uh, I don't watch tele. I don't watch television at all. I can't tell you, but I haven't seen none of the. I haven't seen anything on TV. None of the new power stuff or uh, just nothing. I don't watch the news. I don't know what's going on on the news because I don't watch it. I don't watch the news. I ain't watching that shit. Uh, I call I call the news bad news. I call the news bad news. Like I watch more YouTube. Like I watch more YouTube than anything. I watch more YouTube than shit. Like YouTube has become cable to me. YouTube has become television to me. YouTube has become like I watch YouTube. That's it. To be honest with you. And when I, when I watch movies, it's gonna be Netflix. It's gonna be I watch next ne Netflix. If I watch movies or something like that, it'll probably be Netflix or Amazon Prime. I don't watch Amazon for sports at all. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, shit. I, 
Nigga, I'm a, I, I'm a YouTube watcher motherfucker. What you say, Nate? You say we on the same boat, coach. Hey, yeah, Nate, I, I'm, I'm a YouTube watcher motherfucker. <laughs> I watch YouTube every day. I be, hey, Nate, hey, Nate, I watch all the Country Wayne skits. I watch, um, I watch all the Country Wayne skits. I watch, uh, man, I watch Angry Man. I watch, uh, the Divested Zealot. I watch Tasha K. I watch the lead attorney. Pocket watching with JT, uh, Sarah Suit and Sadie. I watch Dr. Umar, Tariq Nasheed. I watch uh, uh, Hassan Campbell. I watch, uh, you know, I watch a lot of funny stuff, skit. Like, man, I, 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 watch, I watch a couple of Boston channels. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, you hear what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I rewatch my shows. Hell, I watch me. I'll go back and rewatch my show. I'll go back and rewatch my show. You know what I mean? And uh, see some things I can improve upon or whatever. If I need to edit some stuff out so I can re upload, you know, and uh, whatever. I do that. But yeah, I, I, don't even, I don't even watch that shit. I'm paying for the zone. I don't even watch that shit, man. They keep, they keep, they keep going, up on, going up on the subscription. I'm like, man, why, why, do, I, I'm like, why do I have this shit again? I don't even watch this shit. You know, I don't even watch it. Like, the I, I, only time I watch it when they have fights, when they have boxing. When they have boxing, that's the only time I watch The Zone, when they have boxing. So, you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I just watch boxing, and I don't, even really, I don't even watch ESPN unless it's boxing. You know, so I don't watch football or basketball. Um, I haven't watched basketball in a while, so... Um, you know what it is, Nate? I just, I just be so damn busy. You, you know, that's what it is, Nate. It's just too much stuff to watch. And I'm so used to picking up my phone in the morning. I get up in the morning. I wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning, right, during the week. During the week, I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, I wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning. And... Uh, And um, I'm looking at I'm looking at I'm looking at messages right now. I wake up at like five o'clock in the morning, you know, brush my teeth, stretch, whatever the case may be, and then I'm looking at I'm looking at alerts. I haven't even looked at my emails in the past three days. I got a lot of emails, so I got to check my emails. Shit, man, I'm man, shit. I be looking at video. I be looking at video tutorials, like when it's stuff I'm trying to learn how to do. I look at a lot of video tutorials. And we have more people watching on Twitter than we have watching on, on YouTube. What you say, uh, Ms. Paul? You say, I got rid of a lot of apps because YouTube have everything that I like to watch. Yeah, I like, man, I be, you know. Shit, I watch, I watch all the, I watch all the, you, I, I watch all the hip hop blogs. I watch MREC TV. I watch, uh, Getty Radio. I watch, uh, man, I be, hey, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, shout out to G5. He said, Coach, you ever called the bank and thought someone hacked your account because you forgot you had a subscription? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, th I think I did that before. I think I did that before. I think I did that before. Um, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back and look at some of this stuff. Like, you know what, man? Do I want to, you know? I got, I got, I got, I got to reevaluate this relationship we have, you know, like, you know, um, you know, is, is this, is this relationship beneficial? How is this relationship beneficial to me? Like, I see, I see how it's beneficial to you. You getting $30 every month out of my account, but I got to mitigate, I got to mitigate the circumstances for a minute. You getting $30, 30, but what am I getting out of it? I'm hardly watching you. And the only time I do watch is when you do have some fights. And I'm like, okay, all the fights don't be fire. So it's like some of your fights do be trash. But, I, you know, it is what it is. So, um, But that's all the apps. Uh, that's all of them. ESPN has some trash fights sometimes as well. And uh, PBC, all the time they throw a fight when it's a pay-per-view. So you hardly seeing any fights from them. Um, they shot they shot they low last year. You know, uh, no, no Diddy. They shot they low last year. So... You ain't getting no non-pay-per-view fights from them. And this last pay-per-view they did, 
That shit did so bad from what I'm hearing. I heard it went triple copper. So they don't even want to release the numbers. They don't even want to release the goddamn numbers. So it's like, man, that, that I heard it went that goddamn bad. We ain't heard nothing from Booger Ray. We ain't heard nothing from Dan Raphael. We ain't heard nothing from the from the usual suspects. Dog on hold on. What? Y'all, oh no. Y'all look at this here. Hey, shout out to Two Tone the Superstar. Two Tone the Superstar sent me the um sent me the scorecard. Shout out to Two Tone the Superstar. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. She can upload this up. Anyways. Hold on. Let me go back. Hold on, guys. Let me go back here. I got, man, I got a lot of people. Here you go right here. All right. The first round, the judge gave it to Hitchison. Hitchens. He lost the second and the third round on this judge's scorecards. After that, this judge gave Hitchens fourth round, fifth round, sixth round, seventh round. He lost the eighth round. He gave him the ninth round, the tenth round, the eleventh round, and the twelfth round. That's the one that had 117, 111. <laughs> hey, listen, check this out. Check this out. <laughs> the 12th round, where well, Hitchens pretty much did not want any contact at all. All three judges gave him the 12th round, and they had the most uh, losing the 12th round. Let me go to the eighth. The eighth round was the round that that, that um Lemos hurt um Hitchens real bad. So all of them say all of them gave the eighth round to Lemos. All of them gave the eighth round to Lemos. Bro <laughs> This is the score. Oh my god. But this was now check this out. Check this out. Remember I told y'all that I gave Lay most the first three rounds. This judge right here agreed with me. He had Hitchens losing the first three rounds. You see, he scored him a nine for the first, second, and third round. He had him losing the first three rounds. Remember what I told y'all? I said, look, I gave the first three rounds on uh, the Lemos. Because Hitchens was, was running and grabbing and holding, right? So this judge agreed with me. And then he gave, you know, 10th, 11th, he, wait, he gave him the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th. He lost the 9th. He gave him the, uh, he lost the 8th. He gave him the 9th, the 10th, gave it the 11th round to Lemos, and gave the 12th round to Hitchens. Bruh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me say I ain't, got, I ain't got nothing to say, dog. I ain't got nothing to say, dog. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say, dog. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say, dog. I'm just going to keep my mouth closed right here, man. I ain't got nothing to say, fam. Uh, I ain't got nothing to say, fam. You get what I'm saying? Just another day. Nothing to see here. I ain't got nothing to say, fam. I'ma just, I'ma just, you get what I'm saying? We just gonna, we just gonna charge it, we just gonna charge it to the game. We gonna charge it to the game, fam. That's all we can do, charge it to the game. You get what I'm saying? Um, shout out to, shout out to fans matter. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, I knew they would give it to Hitchens to judge with the 117, 111 was as high and drunk as Benavidez tonight. They went to the bathroom together, and I'm hit a bump, man. Bro, he gave the 12th. I'm like, how, how you gave the 12th round? Bro, like literally the man ran and grabbed in hell. Literally. Like that's what he did in the 12th round. You know, you get what I'm saying? Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People primping, pimping, sharp as raise of blades. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that was Tim Cheetah. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Let me let y'all see this. Let me let y'all 
see this? Y'all see this down here? That was Tim Cheatham. As a matter of fact, no, let me do this. Let me do this. <laughs> Tim Cheatham. He got the right name, too. <laughs> he got the right name. You got the right one, baby. Uh-huh. This man name is Tim Cheatham. <laughs> you can't beat a nigga like that, boy. Well, hold on. What your name here? What your name here? My name is Tim Cheatham. <laughs> oh, Tim Cheatham. Bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> listen, what a listen, y'all check this out. What a referee, what a referee named Tim Cheatham. Hey, what a referee named Tim Cheatham. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hold on, let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. The man name is Tim Cheatham. Let's blow this up. I want y'all to see this. <laughs> Tim Cheatham. I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see this. Y'all see this? Tim Cheatham scored the fight. <laughs> Look, cheat. C H E A T. Tim Cheat Ham. Tim Cheat Ham. <laughs> Tim Cheatham. <laughs> He's going to fight 117, 111. Look at motherfucking Tim Cheatham. We going to put Tim Cheatham on there. Man, come on, man. Bruh. 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 <laughs> you can't be the no Tim Cheatham. Man, come on, man. <laughs> he scored the fight. He scored the fight 117, 111. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> His name <ain't> Tim Cheatham. <laughs> what the fuck is name Tim Cheatham? How you gonna be the motherfucker name Tim Cheatham? <laughs> hey, man, look here, man. I'm gonna go to bed, man. Hey, man, I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, man, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Before we go, we got to say all praises due to the most high, the most exalted, the greatest human being on the planet Earth, Mr. Al Heyman. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and sing Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know. Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. Is, the bro. names need to be but named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Um, I must love to everybody in the chat, man. Uh, shout out to all of the callers. Shout out to everybody who gave a super chat. As a matter of fact, I got to give a shout out to the cash appers. Shout out to Fans Matter. Hey, okay. Shout out to Taylor for Wealth. Hey, okay. Shout out to Stephen X. Hey, okay. Shout out to Raphael. Hey, okay. Shout out to New Country. Hey, okay. Shout out to Mr. Nice. Hey, okay. Shout out to uh, Raymond Moore. Hey, okay. LJ Wright. Hey, okay. Alfred McKinney. Hey, Shout out to um Keith Bulldogs. Hey, okay. Shout out to um uh, Long Slice. Hey, okay. Uh, no Diddy. Shout out to uh um Henry Brown. Hey, okay. And um let's give them round of applause. <laughs> and shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to the tender owners, the PYTs, and the Honey Dips. See you guys at three o'clock. Hey man, I'm gonna see everybody, man. Uh, shout out to La Jessica. <coughs> hey, okay. Uh, shout out to Miss Connie. Hey, okay. Shout out to um Hey Miss Parker. Hey, okay. Summer in November, Food Revolution, Garfield. Shout out to uh Daniel Agnew, Keith Bulldogs, School of X Man, Jimmy from New York. Uh, shout out to uh, Junior Spark, Preacher Joe. Shout out to uh, Keith Bulldogs, P.D. Russell. Uh, who else we have? G Daddy, G Five. Shout out to Payday, Daniel Agnew. The Martin, uh, shout out to Dex 2024. 
who else we have? Omnipolar, and Lisa Bells, Pauline, Unbiased, Unbiased Brim. Who else we have, man? Um, Knockdown 305, Passion for Beauty, Vinny Vegas, uh, Rick Timms, Fans Matter, and that's all I'm seeing right now. That's all I see right now, man. Shout out to Elena, G Dog. Shout out to uh, Tim Notch, um, Stephen X, North Carolina. Salute to everybody, man. I see you guys uh, later on the day at 3 o'clock. You know my motto don't meet me there, beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.